Oh, he's back, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that what? What was his name? Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. What was his yeah, name? Bobby. 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 Yeah. Bobby's back. Bobby. Yeah, Bobby. 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 Yeah. Bobby's back. Bobby. What's going on, everybody? Cali Death Podcast back yet again. Episode 138. And now I don't feel if that's right or not. Did we fuck up on the flyer or is it actually 138? It is. It says 138. Yeah. I don't that's know. Cool. We'll just go well, with numbers. It's just my, yeah, I'm starting to get into that Wait cycle of not remembering which episode I am doing each week. But what's up, guys? I'm your host, Anthony Trapani. As always, with my resident homies, I got two with me right now. And I didn't check to see if the professor was going to be on, but I hope that professor is going to be on. But I got—I think he's out of town, right? He is out of town. Oh shit! What's that? Fuck it. Environment, environment tape. Less than decapitated tape. One thirty-eight. Nice. Damn. Dude, or was... no, one thirty out of one thirty-eight. But still, the devourment number is one thirty-eight. Come on. Still What's sick. that probably worth? Wasn't uh, there? They did a compilation. Know with 138 something to do with 138 well that's yeah is, that's their thing it was the i got the story from sasha which shout out to sasha he sold me this when he was doing merch for him on that last run uh so i don't know if it's worth worth but to me in my heart it's worth a lot Hell yeah, <laughs> um dude. yeah the guy from gorgasm sold me a devourment tape um dude, nobody has that story oh, Sasha, shout yeah. Out to sasha. <laughs> yeah sasha's the sickest uh, and um yeah, I mean, he gave me this and i was it, it's sick that it's in the 130s i know it's at the end but i'm stoked about it uh Sick, but their dude. story he said it was like it was a single and then three songs and then a and, and then an eight thing it was like they put it together the whole album was just one three eight that's mm -hmm. what, what that was that, the meaning was misfits or something we are 138 one third isn't that like a maybe song yeah. song? um re i'm making that up i feel like i've heard that before or danzig or something i don't know i might be the wrong guy to ask for that yeah i don't really know either it could just be a uh parallel thought this thing. guy likes kiss look at that piss shirt dude <laughs> no always with the parody shirts dude i love it yeah, dude i can't out of the lot dude i can't not buy them i don't know when i see it it makes me laugh like by myself i'm like that's being purchased unless yeah if it's over like 40 bucks i'm like ah, okay how much does it make me laugh unless it's like like the the pantera one this uh what's the fucking vulgar display of power one that says smash mouth yeah, that <laughs> and I was like, That's "Oh, that sick. one will pay whatever." It and makes you that. read it again. You're like, "What the? F what did that say?" <laughs> but we were giggling at that shirt, and then it brought me to the realization: "Sorry, guys, all of you Kiss fans that listen to the show, I I can't get into that band. Never could get into the band." And I said, as as a joke, but actually still serious, I'd rather listen to Twisted Sister, even though I hate that band as well. Long Island baby. I hates a strong word. Sorry, guys. I I respect yeah, yeah. all artists. I, I shouldn't say the word hate. I just can't enjoy the music, but oh, shit, all you that do rock on. Uh, but Kev was telling us go. a story and I'd love to hear a quick little version for, uh, for us, listen, the listeners before we get into the plugs and all that shit. Cause it was funny. Yeah, dude, we were talking about, we brought up twisted sister and I was just like, yo, the coolest thing I ever saw about twisted sister was that they're from long Island. When I used to work at computer stores, I used to help his D Snyder on his fucking laptop with any little issues he had. And his son had a hardcore band called Sever to Us. And they did a cover of We're Not Gonna Take It at the Center H VFW in like, I don't even know what year, probably like 05, 06 or something like that. And the whole venue, they covered We're Not Gonna Take It with D Snyder on stage. And the whole crowd was like on the microphone. Like, you know, when they do pileups back in the day, it was just fucking mm -hmm. insane. It was just, there was no room on the stage. It, there was no one on the floor anymore. It was all just a, a, it looked like a pile of dead bodies just trying to get this microphone. It's the sickest <laughs> it was shit like ever. World War Z trying to get over literally, the wall. Literally, literally. Yeah. That's the best analogy right there. <laughs> How was D taking it? Was D just like, fuck it. Yeah, Loved it. Like, it. Whatever. Really? It was cool. sick. Not worried about like, all the hardcore Blonde kids? ponytail, leather, 
sunglasses inside like that oh, vibe with the leather vest it was sick yeah 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 i'm sure that Holy shit. anytime you're you're from that perspective at d snyder seeing a crowd being controlled by you on stage that's always gonna feel good no, yeah. his child his offspring is controlling a crowd yeah, too it's like dude, that's how, weird dude that's gotta be weird he's watching his next generation his bloodline doing the same getting the same feeling he did you yeah know? You got to think around that time he was doing those like VH1 tapings for that whatever show. Uh, he would always be the guy like behind the scenes. You know, I, I forget what they called it. It was VH1. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Behind uh, the music. Yeah, behind, that's the, what, yeah, behind the music. Yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. Imagine being like, hey, honey, I can't tape today. I got to go see our son's show. I'll be back after <laughs> right before dinner. We'll do that. And dude it's not every band every band on that fucking show would be like fucking the most random band and just d snyder going like, dude they were fucking sick dude yeah they're like fucking brought this different vibe yeah <laughs> it's like why is d snyder commenting on this dude like also day? that show had like full-blown chaos and like like it was it was a heavy hardcore show it was fucking so much fun hell yeah so so violent and then it was beautiful that's rad dude um i am uh a I'm here having a good time with you guys already. I'm just <laughs> yeah. watching the chat. I'm just, I'm, I'm like, just like, I keep right picking up. I haven't even looked. What's up, homies? No, you guys? Are, you guys are talking about. It's funny. You're, you're telling a story I already heard, and then I lost my. I was like stuck. Oh, I'm watching the just, chat go off. Sorry. We should just have like no structure at all to this episode. We should just like yeah, because we've already we've already gotten your history. So it's like I was actually messaging the guys no, earlier today. I'm like, what do we do differently with this one? Like, should we ask it like have a different vibe? We all get drunk. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anthony, Anthony, you're not drinking. No, I'm not. That's okay. Uh, I'm really, really clown Anthony the whole time. That's what it's what the the red the red lights are all about. That shows that we drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's drinking over there. You got to get a red light, bro. Red I'm light district all the way. Still here to party. Mine's little, yeah. I'm in my, I'm in my I sandals. the color of that light. Apart, but, uh, <laughs> I'm teasing. No, nah, dude. Uh, we, we still need to do the plugs before we let this thing completely go off the rails. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and then right. once we do the plugs, I'm, I'm, I'll let you, uh, let this thing go wherever we let it go. Dude. Drinking on an empty stomach, too. I'm fucking excited. Oh, Same. Uh -oh. Let's do it. And, and by the way, uh, we're here with Kev Muller from uh, Alluvial, dude. I'm very excited about this. Uh, it's been a long time. We were just talking in, in the post you might have seen if you're on our social media, which, by the way, if you're not, go fucking follow us. Um, it's been over 100 episodes since we've had Kev on, dude. That's that insane. insane. Dude. I didn't know that. I, it, I, don't, I don't even remember which uh, episode Alluvial was, but I, I saw the post and I was like, holy shit, dude over a hundred episodes That's no i saw crazy. i saw like a, a, a like a memory that said like oh two years ago you had alluvial on i'm like what the really? fuck like, i want to see i'm looking right now if we posted it on our page i'm looking yeah. to see if there's a date uh i don't know if we did yeah it's, um, it's Egg somewhere in, my face. in there either either way it's still on youtube too go check yeah, out yeah, the first yeah, 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 yeah. if you haven't already we do this live on Twitch every week as well. We never plugged that in the beginning. I remembered tonight, guys and gals. <laughs> um, please uh, come hang out on Twitch with us live, and you'll be able to interact. I'm prepared. Um, Murray, Murray. Got the we got the Mersey. I got, the Mersey, uh, I got, baby. I got Mersey. I'll I'll I could do. I know. A, I felt a bad. Wardrobe. I no. I could literally do a wardrobe change some point in this episode i'll be yeah, able to too. get into some, to a mercy <laughs> very soon it's very it's just a 10 uh, foot walk away i can do that um episode yeah. 36 damn it was so, yeah 102 episodes ago it says the, damn that's the, actually crazy episode 36 june, whoa. june 25th 2021 that's isn't wow. that crazy how we yeah, now, it was but we ago. naturally this naturally ago. happened like crazy. very quick you know semi quickly you know we yeah. had an opening for this date yeah. and and kev was available and and it just happened and we're like literally two episodes over a hundred episodes ago 102 episodes that's crazy yeah it's not i love having i love having like other fellow twitch streamers on here because your fucking chat just like pops yeah. up and i'm like oh cool. <laughs> usually we're just like talking like yeah but what's your, what's your favorite <laughs> yeah they're dominating guitar. they're just in there <laughs> i know i'm like fuck yeah it's like a lot of a lot of activity I love it. I can't we need read to because we've already interviewed you about your fucking what got you into everything and blah blah. blah. So now we, you know, we can work with the crowd. Hey, now more, we got to shoot the, the shit. Work. Now we got to be boys. Yeah. We got to catch up. Right. <laughs> Real 
real yeah. quick let's do the plug things we always do uh battleforgecoffee.com that's where we get our coffee that's where you should get your coffee that's the homies and deeds of flesh and oh, uh yeah. yep yep they got merch they got uh, we got Cali Death Podcast Big Cartel. They're putting up really fast. It actually feels like <laughs> we're ending the episode right now. This is how it happens at the end of the episode. Yeah, we take it easy, guys. Thanks for having me. Sometimes, sometimes we take too long. We do long-winded ones, and we're just like kind of all right. Where do we go? What's going on? Uh, <laughs> it's like good yeah. to like run through. Them. We we should just re- oh yeah, dude. Generator Rehearsal Studios. I, I haven't said that in a while. <laughs> Dot com. Go to that generator rehearsalstudios.com that's where you can uh get a rehearsal spot down in socal and i already said twitch.tv slash cali death podcast all of it's there all right we said it all now kev mike gilbert oh yeah shout out to mike gilbert real quick if you would have uh seen me if you watched last week's episode me and casey were at gilbert's uh pad thank you so much for letting us use it anytime I can use it. I'm going to be over there. Uh, his uh, Twitch. What's his Twitch handle? Let's give him a little plug on that real quick. Just M Gilbert, is it? I think it's M With Gilbert. Underscore. Yeah, probably something like that. I'll put it on the screen. Okay. Joel, throw it up in a little bit. Um, check him out. He is a is. rad fucking underscore. guitar player. M Gilbert underscore. Boom. Check him out. Subscribe to all this shit, guys. That's that's that I'm on Twitch ball. mobile trying to do it. It's fucking me up. Getting Twitch one mobile subscriber stinks. right now officially. <laughs> I'm already following him. Hell yeah. Boom. Oh fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're a gangster. So so everybody <laughs> right now take a second to go follow Mike Gilbert. We'll wait yep. for you. <laughs> yeah. Do yeah, right do now. Do well, do yeah, do let's do, 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 do a moment of silence do do while, while you guys follow. <laughs> <laughs> do it now! I swear to God, I'll be so pissed if you don't do this. You know, he wasn't on the flyer, but I'm very, very happy to have him as well. Bobby is back. With How you know what's going on, kids? <laughs> Daddy's got a little juice in him. He's a little tired, but he's a little delusional. But we're having fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed his company last time, dude. He oh, came yeah. out of nowhere last time, and he's coming out of nowhere. Oh yeah, I'm never sleeping. <laughs> did you, you? You didn't know our friend Silly Kid, Kevin, but you remind me of like the East Coast Silly Kid. Like, oh silly yeah, kid. yeah, Do I know Silly Kid? No, uh, you don't. I don't think no. you've ever met yeah, him. Yeah. But, like, but yeah, he just. I'm sure, you guys would enjoy each other's company. If you yeah. guys had like a, if you guys got like a podcast or something together, it'd be like the most oh, insane geez. thing like, yeah. has ever happened. I think. Might have to Anyways, set it up. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's he's insane, man. He's just call yeah. him randomly. He's like, hey, he's got his, his silly kid. He's got like a kind of a little high high voice. He's like, hey, man, what's going on? And he's like, so, <laughs> he's so insane, dude. Like, like it's the yeah. funniest dude. Like, so like the wittiest fucking guy. He's a like, constantly. You're like, well, you're just getting barraged. Like, yeah. you can't even like. There's so it's many. It's overwhelming. Jokes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he's he's like, hey guys, I'm at the Grammys right now. What the hell? It's like, fucking, <laughs> he's like insane. He's insane, dude. But I, I love him to death. He's one of my shout out. Dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the kid. Yeah. All right, are we done with All the plugs? Right. Yeah, we didn't. Out of plug we, we didn't do alluvial plugs or anything. Yeah, um, alluvialofficial.com is where you can get our new new tour dates for our newly announced Tesseract tour with Intervals and ourselves. Hell yeah. uh, Hell North yeah. America. T- I think there's two Canada dates, and uh, all I can say is keep your eyes open for the fall. Oh, Just for a, a bunch of fucking chaos. Which is right around the corner, by the way. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Pretty much what we got going is my favorite shit we've ever done so far. Whoa. Okay. Well, I already think yeah. I know what it is. I won't say it. <laughs> 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 we'll get to it. Um, but the cool thing about like what I love about uh, Alluvial and like the how you guys have like a you could do like a death metal tour or you can do an animals as leaders tour because you have you have west to kind of bring you like all the guitar players respect the fuck out of west that are mm-hmm. on that like prog side of things and all like the brutal metal guys respect because it's like hard and they got like mm-hmm. sick ass mm-hmm. vocals so i'm like mm-hmm. you guys are like the most malleable with tours like i feel like yeah they could i mean that's the mission dude anything. like we want to yeah, yeah. we want to play every tour like that that tour went out and we saw also the 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 dying fetus despise icon tour and yeah. like right away, we're like, that's the next kind of tour we want to do. Like right after Tesseract, you guys just throw people for a curveball, you know? You just, you just announced it. What's that? You just announced the next tour. In the yep, fall, next tour done. I mean, no, no, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> that'd be sick, dude. I mean, like, dude, I, like everyone in chat knows, like, Fetus is one of my favorite bands, and like oh, they, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. even Fetus knows that they're one of my favorite bands, and like, <laughs> I, I love those dudes so much. I can't wait for their new album in September. But uh, <laughs> oh, that's yeah, right. dude. What? 
What's it called? What's the new album uh, called? Will Beg for Mercy or something like that. So it, okay. they, it, they did it in like a cool, like, I remember the artwork. It was like a yeah, wrong one to fuck with, kind of, but they, they went down like a horror movie look. Like they did like classical 70s font and stuff like that. Mm. It's pretty dope. Will Beg for we'll Death. Beg That's for what it death. is. There it yeah. is. Yeah. 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 Does it make them beg for death or? I don't know. Make I feel like beg. Make Them Beg is, or no, was it? That's a Cryptopsy album, right? Oh, or, and, and then, then you'll beg. beg. I was just about to, in, in okay, my yeah. head. Alex right. says Make Fourth Them Beg wall, for Breath. In my head, what was going on right now, <laughs> right now was Cryptopsy and Dying for that... should go on tour and everybody should beg for death. Or yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can mix up so many of these album names. Well, <laughs> Cryptopsy tour just got announced too. They're doing that uh, Carnival That's of Death. Right. That's right. We did a Carnival of Death too, didn't we? <laughs> I think Casey and I did one. I think it was a Carnival yeah. of Death tour. I don't know in Europe. I don't know, but uh, no, know. I love the fucking, I love the the names of these albums. Sometimes like with Cannibal Corpse, it's all like fucking punch him. I don't know. It's just <laughs> yeah. like, it's just, it's just one like, of them was just kill, right? Yeah, kill, kill, kill. It's one of my and favorites. The like, album art is just like Cannibal Corpse, kill, like just <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. massive. Fuck yeah, yeah. dude. That always That's makes so me perfect. think of like there's that Suffo DVD for Pinnacle. And they're just in the studio and they're discussing lyrics. And Frank's like, What's with all these fucking words? Why can't we use a word like fuck it, kill? <laughs> <laughs> it's so yeah. sick. Oh, it's oh, back in the day, with, touring with James King, like uh, he would always be like, Remember, we were in Europe with the same tour I'm talking about, but he, he'd always, every time anything would like sick happen, he'd be like, Fuck yeah, kill. Like you just, <laughs> that was like they're like, Bro, like, what up? Or like, Fuck yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah like, all, yeah. that was a whole band that's like, Kill. I was like, fuck, we greeting. all start saying that for yeah, a couple it's like months. A word yeah. of affirmation. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Greeting. It's like multiple Killed things, him. dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, fuck yeah, man. So, uh, so how was basically since the last tour, last tour, Jesus, I'm drunk already. The last uh, podcast, you've I saw you guys on tour and it was with yep. uh, Rivers, Rivers, oh, you yeah. guys, uh, what else? Jesus, what's Christ. the name of that, that place? A while ago, uh, in Berkeley, yeah. Uh, I like that place. place. It's like a brewery. Cool. Corner, yeah, Cornerstone. Cornerstone. Yeah, yeah that was awesome. I, I like that place a lot. Like it's like it's not like oh bougie green room, but it was like the perfect stage, perfect size floor, and a perfect fucking food and brewery. drink place That's attached to the saying. fucking place. Like, you want that? Yeah. That, we're getting older, guys, and just to That's have what I want. Bang like that. It's like um, good beers on tap, good <laughs> menu, and good company. Like. Like we're all just there to have a couple beers and and Warfare. watch some metal, you know, eat some good food. That like literally to have it all in one spot. That that's the quintessential. It was a good entry. It's like you walk into the venue and it's like that's when I met up with you and Pat. Like I walked mm -hmm. in the venue and like it's just a huge bar. All these like it's all fancy, like nice tables and everyone's eating good food, having good beers. And then like, all right, let's go to the sick death show now. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's like, yeah. It's like, dude, like usually it's like this crusty old place with like fucking stickers exactly. on the wall and like you know. So it's like it was it's a cool a like fantasy oh, this is nice. that is brought to reality because that literally is like you've checked off so many boxes right there just in yeah. that one sentence. Nothing's you know? missing. No, totally. Nothing's missing. Yeah. I hate venues yeah. that you feel like something's missing. Like, oh, there's no outside area. I can't go outside for a second. Like, I'm yeah. just stuck yeah. inside. Yeah. I gotta hold all my fucking shirts and my records. Sick. Thank you. And you're just watching your favorite band like this <laughs> yeah you know i, I just uh, i love when you can go get something to eat or go to your car or like it's the simple fucking things right exactly, exactly. you're not just stuck or locked in yeah or like having stairs so loaded and shit jesus yeah, yeah. Th yeah. those are my nightmares like I, uh, viper room baby was in, yeah vi i think mm -hmm. it was viper room that's right <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple rooms that I went to that I played in that were just like up, like with a base cab, a fucking a yeah. four, a four ten. I'm sorry, a six ten, and having to like bring a refrigerator up it with like three <laughs> yeah. people. I'm like, this is yeah. I, why am I even playing music? This is yeah, we're moving. Sport. We're a moving company. A with, sport. Yeah. We're a moving company that's trying to trick you to buy our shirts. It's like, please. <laughs> yeah. But here I am talking about the fantasies yeah, and awesomeness true. as a, a spectator, and you're like, here's the realities of yeah. this players i'm yeah, like, me yeah. on angie's you, list you just pulled me off of my cloud nine that i was just having with yeah, yeah. Dude. What? yeah. <laughs> you, you're supposed to leave that part out so the the people who come and enjoy the show don't know that but but you work hard show. for the days like cornerstone where you park a fucking like 10 feet away from the stage where you just yeah. roll off roll yeah. into your van and get the fuck out of there and it's the best night exactly. ever exactly Still, as a human, though, like, I mean, you're, you know, we like totally, we get used to things. So, like, imagine being like a, a tour bus band, just like, you got the fucking, the 
fucking VIP service every day, you're still gonna be like, fucking the goddamn water. There's always something to complain dude. about, bro. You know, like it's like if it's always. like always the same, always over, like over and over and over. It could be like, you know, you still have to fucking yeah wheel your cabs a half mile. Now it's like, dude, they're doing it for me, but like, dude, my foot doesn't have like a place to like warm <laughs> itself, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Like you start getting like foot, <laughs> just he one keeps, foot doesn't. He have keeps one like foot wrapping my XLR foot. to the right. I like it to the left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's what are you I've doing, always noticed man? that about uh, being a human. You start like once you start acclimating, you're like, all right, what's the next thing? I'm used to this. So this yeah, isn't basically cool you're saying now... no matter what, we just get spoiled no matter where we're at. Yeah, we're a disease. Yeah, yeah. Don't do anything, don't have any <laughs> dreams, don't have any aspirations, just give up. I just live at home as long as you can. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, every other like one side of your body or whatever is bigger or smaller than one side might want to be a couple degrees warmer. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, so is that hard to ask? Like, I'm just fucking coming to this venue. Like, I want like three degrees warmer on this ass cheek. Yeah. You got a fucking fan blowing two more decibels on this side. It's bullshit. Yeah. And it's so funny because we're speaking from a place where we're like, dude, they gave us pizza and <laughs> yeah. yo, <laughs> like we don't have to go. We don't have rotisserie to chicken for free out to fucking McDonald's or whatever. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. There's, yo, he gave me ten euros. <laughs> I'm getting drinks. <laughs> That's where I go. Where's your liquor exactly. store, kind sir? Yes, kind <laughs> sir. <laughs> I Top remember it, I saw you guys play at the Brick by Brick in San Diego, and like, hell yeah, uh, it was a great show. You guys were sick, and you know, I had done the pod with you, but I hadn't met you in person. I'd seen you perform with Suffo also, mm -hmm. at the, you know, we talked about it, but at the uh, Oz Fest, whatever. Yeah, um, I remember I bumping into you. Caught me just as I was zooted up, like just getting yeah. there. I was like, "Yeah, what's up, dude?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. And like, it was cool because I like I saw you at the bar, and like, you know, sometimes you like see people and you like recognize them, but you're not sure. Like, and you, someone doesn't recognize you and all this shit. And like, you like turned around, and you're like, "What's up, Casey? How's it going?" <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, "What's up?" <laughs> it's a good it feeling. Just, like, it was rad. It was just like, "Oh yeah, totally." Like we've already. Been oh, there. shout out to the shout out by the way, because he fucking on stage at the birthplace he made the whole crowd like give it up for fucking cali death podcast motherfucker oh, really? yeah. like the whole crowd was stole yeah. it and everyone was all and i was like yeah. whoa people know about this, this is weird. yeah he <laughs> over there like yo chill hold up stop <laughs> <laughs> and actually during uh your set too i was uh hanging out with some friends and i was like sitting there and i was probably three people deep and like away from the pit and then I'm sitting there with a beer, and before I know it, I am airborne. <laughs> like, airborne in my face. Oh, the and I'm famous. Like, I remember the story, dude. Yeah, yeah. And I like literally was just, like sitting there, go, yeah. I, I was safe. I wasn't like on the like right. The pit wasn't like about to hit me. That was during anything. our set. I think it was during your set. Fuck yeah. <laughs> and I, like, just got I owe you a beer. <laughs> I just, like, it, like, but the the way the guy hit me, it caught my elbow, so it just poured it on my face. <laughs> I was falling, <laughs> and I was like, I didn't even know what happened. And like, people got hurt behind me, and they're like limping off and shit. I got behind you, like, yeah. People got, but like, no one helped you up though. I know I was fine, but I'm, I'm, I'm a big guy. But there was like, yeah. I think there was like a wrecking ball crew of like two huge dudes or something that went in, just went right into us, and it just fucking oh. took us out. Oh, but like, oh man. That was at, in that was PK, post tailbone break because you broke your tailbone at a show like that too. Right? Oh, that was a Gojira show. I broke yeah. my tailbone. I was like, you know, I was like, they're playing my favorite song at the time, and I was like, I'm gonna go backwards in the pit at aftershock <laughs> at seventy thousand people, like, and I was doing fine. I was like, fuck yeah, because I was like drunk enough. For I was like, were yeah, you holding fucking, I'm big enough then too? No, no. Yeah, and I like I fucking. Just... I was doing fine because it was like a huge festival. It's like one of those open air big festivals. And I was like, "Fuck yeah, I'm killing it." And then just one dude that was like a linebacker for like maybe a college team just <laughs> fucking lit me up in the air backwards. Ooh. And I was like, I landed. I was like, "Oh, oh, that felt weird." And I stood up, and then I I stood up, and then the drummer threw a stick, and I caught the stick right away. So I was like, "Oh, this is cool." And I still have the stick because I remember like this is such a weird my favorite song at the time. I was like, "Fuck yeah!" I like caught the stick. And I'm like, something's sideways in my ass, though. I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there's, like a, there's, like, there's something. But I was so drunk, I couldn't feel. I, I didn't know that something was broke. And I, that I was sentence alone. Just like, wait a minute. When you look at that drumstick, do you still think of your butt every time? You look oh, at yeah, it? yeah. Oh, that yeah. was the most painful. Like once, because as the night went on, it started to hurt more and more and more. And then I was like, so I was starting my first IT so job. Swat, like, like, get out of there. <laughs> I know. It just felt like something was like this in my ass. Like There's it was just sideways. Sideways in my ass. You go to the that's doctor's like next day, like, what's wrong, that, kid? Dude. Like, just, just this. That's all something I got. Sideways in there, dude. Something wrong, dude. It's got like a boomerang. Yeah, in there, I don't know, brother. dude. Yeah, someone yeah, threw no, a boomerang and didn't get it back. Help. 
No, I literally on on, mon- on Monday that that week I had to call out sick because I couldn't get out of my chair. Uh, <laughs> yeah. that's how painful that it was. was. I had to roll really the ground. Fucking gnarly. Yeah, I looked it I up. Mean, it I was the third hospital break. Jeez. I was driving. Oh, driving. I couldn't. I mean, driving, sitting in the car was like super pain, and you're cool. And like getting out of the car is <laughs> like, like you need to like help. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Like, I was at the hospital to get a to get an X ray, and they I were, just want to like, see I like flick the out the one of those like walkers, like <laughs> hard <laughs> just, like, or just have you roll out just like yeah. do a roll in the handicap parking, just <laughs> help me. Yeah. I know. I should have fucking been allowed for handicap. I mean, I've, yeah, I've actually my, I've pulled a butt muscle that Joel wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah butt dude, muscles. I've had, I've dude, had my I... back be out so gnarly to where my wife looks at me like, "You can't even fucking get out of bed, you pussy." Dude. Yeah, like, get the dude. Fuck up. There's I'm certain like... things you can't complain <gasps> about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Action, there's certain sure. things that you could be dying in your bed, and no one's like, everyone's like, "Come on, just man up," you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, God forbid you have a spasm, dude. I have this weird new clicking in my back in the dead center that I oh, yeah. swear is something bad. Like, it's just like <laughs> if I breathe in a certain way, it goes like. I feel like I'm giving myself scoliosis and like, I'll always have this feeling of like, I'll tell Wes that, right? I'm like, oh, I got my back is fucked. And this is a man that's served our military. He's <laughs> yeah. like twice the size as me. He's older mm-hmm. than me. He's just fucking lifting shit. No problem. And he's just like, yeah. you pussy, get over here and help me out. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. dude, on the last day of tour, on the very last lifting of anything, we played Germany on that last Revo run in Europe with Goat Whore. Dude, he's like, help me just get this cab off the stage. An, an EVH cab. Just, I went like this, picked it up. My wrist went, and I was like, uh, what the fuck was that? Like, I, and I crack my wrist like this all the time. Yeah. Just, I feel like I'm on, a, I'm a computer guy with computer finger, hands. You know what I mean? So, and too, I, yeah. I, dude, I, I picked up the cab and like my hand stayed, my arm went, and I felt something like rubber band like pop here. Mm-hmm. And then the whole flight home, my wrist was a balloon. And I, mm. to this day, my wrist still fucking hurt. Like, I can't, I don't have all the dexterity in my wrist like I used to. He's like, what the, f- what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Like, I didn't go to a doctor. It wasn't a sprain. I don't, I don't know what the fuck it was, but it's one of those things that if I ever talk about, it's like, shut up. Just come on. Help. <laughs> yeah, I know. Singer problems, I, huh? You get, Come here. I don't want to sound like a, like a gnarly feminist or anything, but I do think dudes are like way more bitches with getting like sick. Cause oh, hundred percent. It's like women step. like have like their period yeah, yeah. and stuff like they like they're used to like getting like feeling cramps and shit. Like I had a stomach issue a couple of days ago and I was like fucking gnarly cramps in my stomach and I was like immobilized. And a lot of people are like a lot of women are just like, oh, f-, you know, I'm all sick and they're like drinking Dayquil. And I'm like, dude, I wouldn't go to work if I were right, you dude. I'll find any way to call out, dude. <laughs> I'd be like, I don't feel weird. Uh, I don't feel good enough to go to work, and my my head kind of hurts, and I have like an ache in my side, and yeah. I can't go to. Our you know, pride like, gets damaged. It's like everyone's going to talk about us at work if we look like this tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this will be the joke of the office forever. <laughs> I know, but then it's you still totally, get the guilt yeah. of not. And then you finally call out, and you still get the guilt. Like I feel like shit, but I should be somewhere else because, yeah. you know. But oh, I, I love calling out. <laughs> <laughs> i guess maybe because it's a family business so i get oh well that's that. that's a whole different thing your, your uncles are calling me like what the fuck man what are you doing <laughs> i you saw you at dinner last night you fucking pussy yeah, all yeah, my yeah, uncles yeah, yeah, i work yeah. for hell uncles dude ah uh, no yeah <laughs> i almost but made no. that i almost this, made that mistake my uncle works in electric union and like he wanted me to get certain jobs at certain times where i'm like i'm not opposed but I have yeah. to cite this out first. I have to right. see if this takes me to the top. If it doesn't, then I'll be 40 and sad and just be like, all right, I'll let me cable some tires, t- t- uh, cable some wires together. Yeah. Holy shit. I feel that, though. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get a special guest in here, but he, speaking of someone who doesn't know how to use... Real special. Oh, another uh, P-Town head that doesn't know how to use a computer? I was like, I was like, I was telling him, I was like, it's kind of like Zoom. But like he's in he's so like oh, he's so like I down he's all I downloaded Zoom. What's the code? <laughs> I'm like brother. <laughs> like, quick, quick yeah. link. <laughs> I mean, I know I do this. I know oh, I do no this way. every week, so it's easier for me. But it really oh, there, is no, easier really than good. Zoom. You just gotta click. Yeah, I even texted Joel today. I was like, I, I, I oh no no that wasn't you. Never mind. Uh, I lied. I was on a Zoom call <laughs> earlier today, and it fucked me up. It fucked me up. The drinks are hitting, boys. Yeah, <laughs> that's good, dude. I, mean, no, I was like, I, I literally was in a bit. I was waiting for Casey to come on. We we're doing a little a pre-pod thing, and I was like, 
I was like, oh yeah, I think I have to text the fucking guest the link. I just expect, <laughs> yeah. him, to, I expect him just to appear. Just like, dude, he's been on it before. It's just gonna, he's gonna <laughs> he appear it. on, dude. It's, yeah. He's good with those computers. <laughs> yeah. It's just, an, yeah, it's an idea that you put into the ether and then that means it's gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that happens to me too. There's been times, definitely, that's been multiple times where like five minutes before we do the show and I'm like, <laughs> I didn't send the link to the actual guest. <laughs> Dude, I was in the Where shower the just a little bit ago, and I was just like, oh, God, I'm going to be in the shower while they're like, where are you? You want to <laughs> set up? All right. Yeah, I can't get him on. We'll see. Oh, really? Can, he, I mean, it says, it says devices not connected, then Pete, there's uh, the Pete Sandoval. All right. I'm going to go back to him real quick. <laughs> Just get him like uh, you do it from his phone. Is there not an app for this thing or what? There's gotta be. Yeah, an I mean, app. It's it's a web based thing. You just have to click a thing and go like allow and any then you browser. Just allow it. <laughs> yeah, just allow it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like wait, like an app downloading is ten times harder. Than I'm gonna this. call him on the side. Like, what are you? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I know he was like he actually earlier today it cracked me up. He was uh he's working on his like outdoor like patio thing. I like how we're dude, talking he and we haven't told the crowd who it is, but not that they care, but <laughs> no, we, we care. Haven't. We're we not gonna yet. say a name because we if he can't get here, he's not gonna get the glory of saying his name. Oh, oh, you're just this shit. Person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like you it. Better, oh, you shit. better get your shit going. Yeah. Yeah, you Come on. I know you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. You can probably hear us. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to get I'm gonna try and give him just I'm gonna take okay. see what happens. He, he is so bad with electronics. He is so bad with electronics. Okay. I'll tell him I told him he's like, I got an iPad. I'm all well that'd be sicker if you use the iPad, and I was like, Oh shit, that's gonna be more this kids grabbing it, trying to play Candy Crush. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just use your phone. Click the fucking allow. Yeah, and I'm come gonna, in, dude. I'm gonna hit him Murray. I love you, but this jersey is hot as fuck. Uh, <laughs> all right, let me. I'm. I'm gonna take two seconds to go get my jersey. Hold on one second. They up the quality so much. Oh, dude. I mean, yeah. I have. I have some sick shit from Murray. Shout out, Murray. Shout out, Murray. I'm sorry, we all. Just, God, yeah. I'm doing like doing like tech support on the side of all. Fucking hit the the button, brother, and fucking. <laughs> We gotta get him. Uh, I love this live podcast format. Yeah, it's fun, man. It's I know just, you should. Uh, I love off the rails. I, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, come on, dude. You know what's fucked up? Me and our secret guest planned forever to do podcast stuff. <laughs> then he went out and made a family. I was like, you moron. Could have been <laughs> fucking loaded right now. No, I'm kidding. You are loaded though. Nah. Alcohol. I'm low. Hold on. I'm on <laughs> yeah. my way. That's my dad's term. My, my dad was like the chairperson of Narcotics Anonymous my whole growing up, and everyone's just like, "Oh, dude, the guy was loaded, dude. He was the guy came in, he was so loaded." Yeah, so I'm just like, <laughs> so it's like a dad yeah, I term now. I so him, I use it now. Yeah, yeah, I use loaded all the time now. Just, I'm fucking loaded, dude. Fucking <laughs> loaded, bro. You can be loaded on like meth, on alcohol, on whatever. You're just loaded, like you're just <laughs> a general loaded. <laughs> yeah, it's, all, it's all about hockey being jerseys. Loaded. Run kind of big. Hey, but... look at that. Oh one. damn, yeah, yeah, dude. I, I was just thinking about it in the shower today. I swear, I was. I, well, I had that right there because I knew Murray was gonna be here, and I was like, I want to wear this the whole time. And I was like, that. Whenever he sends me a jersey, it's like that is unofficial. Oh no, I'm sorry. That is official severed savior custom merch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to me, yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah totally. Anybody who's got a mersey, it's actually severed savior. It's shit. the hardest <laughs> severed savior. Even, merch if, you, I can even hit. if your logo's on it, that it's mm -hmm. oh, oh, as a severed okay. savior. Makes it extra custom. But yeah, yeah dude, this is the fucking sharks colors, severed savior right. logo on the fucking front. Hard. Dude. Come on, dude. Hard. So hard. I think he might be a little lit, but let's see. Let's bring him on. Uh -huh. Oh, that's the best kind. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Baby, how you doing? How he is, dude. I'm fucking famous. <laughs> He's out of. Are you at a bar or a basement? He's in his garage. Oh, okay, okay. It's, uh, it's, it's the dojo. Uh, <laughs> it is the dojo. So, All right, give the, the man his welcome. Or yes, for the listeners and the watchers, this guy right here is a little brother of mine. He goes by the name of Patrick Kenny. What up, Pat? Hi, guys. Hey, dude, buddy. Dude. Very he's sexy. From my hometown. Um, he's the younger brother of another close friend of ours, Dan Kenny from Suicide Silence. Um, I grew up with these guys. I literally watched this dude playing guitar since he was 
11 or 12 years old you know and he can I, beat your ass which sucks yeah, because when like, i was a kid he like when he was like fucking like 14 or 15 i was like oh, really scar, and he beat me up that's a that's a gay man reference <laughs> <laughs> me and me I'm and an Pat ass he was my gym partner for several years. Uh, uh, That's a sick I got bomb, lots bro. of history with this homie. And what's even cooler about that is that we had all that history. Hold and on. then you naturally get hooked up with Kev. And then Kev's on the show. And now we're all fucking, it's a brotherhood. Dude. Bro, I was meant to move out there. It's fucking pissing me off. Yeah, Kev, he's just clicked, dude. dude. Like, Assistant. I've met thousands of people and kevin's just a dude that just clicks dude oh yeah yeah no. he's a straight homie i was told i have yeah. golden retriever energy do you agree <laughs> mm. I, I, yeah. i've never disliked any golden retriever i've ever you know seen, what i mean it's so. just like you're the sickest dude man let's hang out bro let's fucking <laughs> fuck shit off dude you're the yeah, man dude, dude. let's fucking wasn't lassie kind dude. of a bitch i'm just kidding yeah lassie no, was not a golden I retriever <laughs> Dude, dude, I just heard this story. Yeah, what's what's this fucking story? pussy dog, dude. I don't know what the fuck that thing was. <laughs> was hey, did you guys hear the? Nah. Did you guys hear the year? story about the Penn State professor that just got caught fucking dogs? No, Jesus no, but that sounds. Like, like, I tried. I tried. I, I tried <laughs> here's a, you guys said something while I said it though. It's because. Uh, they were, they were all uh, the weeds here. Yeah. The guy, Welcome, someone, my best friend. Hey, you hear so, about this guy fucking yeah. dog? So, <laughs> so someone off the leads out with. Hey, listen. Somebody <laughs> on the job site was like, "Well, what kind of dog was it?" <laughs> and I was like, "Wait, was like, what does that fucking matter, dude?" Because it was a fucking lousy dog. Oh, and then oh, this other guy goes, "Well, it's up. a pretty, it's a pretty good looking dog." <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, wow, dude, that's dude, our reality. That's, a, that's guys. kind of a hot dog. There you know, we go. It's, a, dogs. I mean, it's, it's a it's a rough collie. It's the Michael Bolton of dogs. Fresh <laughs> sh shampoo and thank you, Mike. Uh, yeah, that's great. Oh, Jesus All right, Christ. Christ. Anyway, so hi, friend. Wait, let's really quick. Right. Let's do a little Pat history real quick. Let me just give him the oh, rundown. Yeah. So you guys don't even know about this band called Remorseless. You don't even know. You don't. <laughs> and this was uh pacifica my hometown band that uh was my younger brother vincent and uh dan's younger brother pat and they were playing with each other since 12 and how long did you guys play with it in a band or band formations of that same it was kind of the same lineup almost well me right? and, no, well me and uh vince have been playing music together uh since 13. Him and I, and we had many shitty bands. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. we, they're all they're all real shitty. <laughs> uh, Rampage. But uh, oh yeah, dude, Vince did every was instrument. That? He was yeah, the he, singer. Yeah. He was the bass player. Guitar player. And he player. was a guitar yeah, player. Drummer. And then he was the drummer. Isn't we just try to keep him. We try to get him farther in the back. <laughs> so we started the front, started like, farther, in the front. farther. <laughs> just keep working them back. Love you, bro. Just yeah. fucking around, dude. <laughs> but no, that is funny how that worked out, dude. It totally did do that. You guys, he was in the front, and then yep. you worked him all the way to the drummer position. Slowly, like then... massaged him to the back. Yeah. <laughs> and then he, they were like, dude, what, what do you think of this fucking mask to put on your head, dude? Put this mask on. <laughs> you were just, you were just too early in the game, dude. Sleep token took it, bro. They took it all the way to the top. Yeah. Sleep oh, token? God. Oh, don't. I like, he says, like, what? What is sleep this? token? A sleep token? Is that when you get an arcade, or is that like when you're tired? <laughs> it's, I need, yeah, a, I need no, a sleep no, token. You earn in the new <laughs> Zelda game. You get a sleep token. Oh, I haven't. I haven't even. Oh, I haven't even opened it yet. Don't Dude. even get him started on Zelda because that was the last video game conversation me and you had, Pat. Well, Breath yeah, of the Wild so was. Uh, I know, but I'm in. I'm family. in the middle of God of War right now, and I can't be bothered with anything else. God yeah, of I mean, War. I don't know, you were you were I'm halfway it God. through. You didn't uh, even call it God of War. You're just like when I'm playing God, and I was like, wait. Do you play God? In the God of War. It's the fucking ghost of Sparta. Of He's a fucking maniac. <laughs> yeah, I'm halfway through Luigi's Haunted Mansion. Oh, dude, which one? <laughs> it's oh, the seventh. The third one for the Switch. Oh, it's, been... it's the new one. The one, yeah. third one. All right. I have, I, have it. I have all of them, but I haven't touched any of them. Oh, all right. I have something to say. I have to sure, introduce how I fucking met this man. Yeah, let's yeah, 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 yeah. 
dude, Ozfest 2017. Oh, that that was, was when we met, bro. Isn't that insane? Is that when we met? Yes. Are you sure? 110%. Hundo P. And Wait, which there. is the one that you performed at? The only one I fucking went to, which was <laughs> Ozfest 2017. And Pat, we blazed one on the grass later that day. Yeah, we did. Dude. Yeah. That was so, dude, that was an epic day. Dude. dude, it was my favorite day to live. Like, I it literally that, was. I wish I Kev, I just felt like that wasn't the, the first time we met because I Bro, remember being was, so stoked that, like, this is, okay, we were all fucking like, okay, how in the fuck is a day going to be where I can see suffocation and Deftones in the same fucking day, dude? Doesn't yeah. even make sense. But then I was like, dude, you guys can't. I, you guys need to hear fucking Kevin Muller, dude. This is gonna be sick. And the whole fucking time, I had no I'll be idea. Pissed if I'm wrong. I have no idea that Frank was gonna fucking perform. I thought yeah. it was just you. Yeah. And then Frank came, and I was like, we we all fuck our heads exploded. I'm and trying to think where we would have met though, because that was I think that was my first states run with Suffo. Did you play with Morbid Angel? Yeah. Did we meet at Morbid Angel? We met at Morbid Angel. Fuck! I'm so <laughs> pissed! No, yeah. Have Bobby Fuck. yell at you now. Yeah. Fucking! So, are you kidding me? I met this cocksucker back in fucking... <laughs> was that before? I, that was before no, Ozfest, right? I think that was the same tour. Am I fucking shit up? No, was that Black Dahlia? Yeah, Black Dahlia was 2017. Fuck. Damn. I just, yeah, I just Morbid. Think Morbid was I, 2016. I think we already were vibing, <gasps> and then we were excited yeah. to meet up. Yeah, and that's why I was with uh, Hartman. How about this? I was we with... hung out for a very little bit though at Morbid. This is what I remember. We had a little bit of enough, time. I was enough to get horned up, dude. Right, right. Yeah, enough to be like, I'm stoked to see the fucking dude again. But here's what I remember. You know what? Maybe this is maybe, maybe this is where my this is where Jerry's thoughts come in. Jerry's my dude. drunk alter ego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. dude, hold on. I even show you the best part of that fucking jersey. Hold on. Yeah, we'll I should put on one of my Jer seven Murray jerseys. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Jerry is I my the theme. my middle name is Gerald. Okay, laugh now. That's and, Mine's Franklin. Dude. Mine's Franklin, you. dude. My, my is my grandfather's name. Kevin and Gerald Muller, dude. It actually rolls pretty nicely. Ah, oh, Jerry. Hey, yeah. you know what? That's yeah. Justine's uh, grandpa's name who passed away, and he was a bad uh, motherfucker. Dude, that's Hell a. Yeah, these dude. are gentlemen's names. Okay. Murray, I have zero I, chuckles for so any of that. I made, I made this. I, I, I hit up Murray about this jersey. Ooh, cool colors. I got it in the Jameson colors mm -hmm. on purpose. Just, nice. just for Jerry's personality. Personality. That's mm -hmm. my shit. So oh, yeah. anyway, shout out to a, to a Jared from Archaic though. When he, his drunk personality is Jerry too. Uh, uh, when he, when he when Jerry we went camping two weeks ago and like Jerry comes around he just like wants all the alcohol and just goes like Whoa. he just turns into like this like fucking zombie. Yeah. Like, fuck it, I'm I've fuck met it. Jerry. I've met Jerry. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. Tim's he's in chat. Hella, Cheers, boy. He's all hella bad at telling jokes. He's all Jerry can't tell a joke. Oh. <laughs> God damn. That was uh, good for Tim's me. Your bass player. Yeah, Tim's the bassist of alluvial. Tim, Shout out, gentlemen. Tim, Tim shreds, dude. I love Tim. I love that him on, dude. He took 420 and made it harder with 7620, bro. He does 76 times more 420 than anyone. What? Is that a, a pop thing? That sounds like my <laughs> It's homie. just me making it up right now and <laughs> hoping that it's funny. No, that sounds hilarious. <laughs> I'm on a new school. That's my first go go story. Times, dude. I got to go mean, Joel, Joel does 360 seven times, at least seven times. Dude. Yeah, yeah but I was, I was blacked out at a, a skinless and like we it was like on oh, <sighs> tour with uh, Deeds, Vile, skin, or skinless was there. The band was there. I love skinless. And I it was like my, my second blackout of all time. I was 22 years old, so it was my 22nd birthday. And was sure we're doing Anthony, vocals or, or fucking. Uh, yeah. That, yeah. I think I want to look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. God. Wait, He's a skinny man, Trample so fuck, out? you make me feel... Kev, maybe you might have this for me. When did Trample come out? Do you remember the year? Trample? Trample the week? The skinless album without that... Sherwood. You're fucking East Coast. That... You have to tell was us that right away. So, um, it might... Wait, you might be right then, Kev. It might not be Sherwood, because we toured in 06. And if Trample came out in 06... Well, it was we... either Sherwood or fucking... What's his name from Origin? What was that... that... Why is my name my name bank is empty oh, no, they, right they now. weren't they weren't playing they were all at the show they were oh, all okay yeah, yeah. yeah they weren't and playing. where were you where uh, saratoga springs saratoga New York. springs oh so okay so then it was okay so uh, and that they, must have been fucking what's the name i don't fucking know bro well, the bass player i was so, so erlin most of the guys are from, from like, new york all the guys are from new york and then sure would move to fucking uh uh detroit okay no color no no denver 
Really? Oh, it agrees. Time. Dude, you guys, you guys have seen this one, right? <laughs> Where fucking Murray made me a jersey, and I was like, dude, this is the most racist jersey ever. It says it says zombie on the back. <laughs> So I was like, all right, from the front, I might get murdered in this, dude. Do you know what that is, dude? That's that's the old seven up shirts, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the one I've never heard of. Jersey, he has a jersey I've, that says white on the front yeah, and then I've on the back says zombie. So I've, I've never even ridden a motorcycle, dude. So that 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 is that shows how OG of a Mersey that is because the dude, first run dude. of Merseys. It, it, we had those same exact colors, everything that Pat has right now for the watchers. Yeah. You have to. I watch have. I you. have one of those. I have that generation. I, too. It, I had one of those. Mine said severed though. in the front and then saved <laughs> on the back. So <laughs> mine and, says. And, does oh. it say? Does it? I just want one that says "Forced to Bleed." Dude. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Mine says that all and uvial on the back. <laughs> I feel all better. I feel, yeah. I feel better wearing this backwards. Dude. Yeah, yeah, must, that's, yeah. That's better to, but that's on your back now, so you got to so keep it behind you. you. Like, you I, it's not, not thing, dude. Don't worry about it. You're, you're on the so line at Walmart. I need my garage. I'm going to freak the fuck out. <laughs> and you, you guys better a... say something first, by this fucking motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we asked for a white zombie jersey, and uh, <laughs> that's what you get. I asked for a white zombie jersey, and I got beat up by a black guy. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah. It's but that, that, that's to all the black are the, uh, those are the uh trials and tribulations <laughs> of what the mersey has become and now <laughs> yeah. now he's got a product to uphold the is mersey, that a shark's jersey it, uh, well Color? It, so this it's is probably like colors right teal yeah so this is i think my newest mersey that i've gotten and it was i, I had tons of baseball and basketball ones and i'm like dude or he he had mentioned hockey. Or I saw somebody with a hockey jersey. He mentioned hockey jersey. I was like, dude, San Jose Sharks, bro. It's got to be the Sharks colors with the severed logo, dude. And boom, here we got it. Mm, there you go. Looks good. It's perfect, dude. dude he that. made he made me a hockey jersey, and it's the biggest thing I've ever worn. I didn't like. I got XL like the basketball ones, and it fits mint. The hockey ones, I know it's meant to be big for like right, gear right. and stuff, you got it, but yeah. holy fuck, dude. Well, you're I, supposed I, to like be able to wear a sweatshirt underneath it because it's so cold at the fucking places. I gotta roll up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say still, it's still, it's fucking like a foot and a half past my hand and shit. I gotta roll them <laughs> 10 times, and, <laughs> yep, but it's, yep, it's, yep. it's worth It's still sick. Murray, I love you. Thank you so much for oh, everything yeah, you've done. God, got. I love Murray. Uh, he keeps saying SPK about the jump in, bro. He told me today, and I was like, We're not talking about that. <laughs> nah, nah. Anyways, it was a young encounter. So, anyway, with... the story was like, oh, Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. pretty much. It had to do He's... with big boobs and a stuffed alligator. <laughs> <laughs> all right, an angry man. I love it. Anyways, uh, Okay. I oh. thought it was. I thought when he said jump in, I thought it was a reference to that one uh, picture of him flying through the air across the hotel room onto the bed. Do you remember that one? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's how I'm at like, Walk like, Fest. He's like right? a foot away from the ceiling or something. It looks like it's his. No, head, no, it's something way worse. All right, there. so here's but, what uh, I have to say. No, he I wanted me to do that. No, I know, I know what it actually <laughs> is now. I'm just saying <laughs> when I originally. <laughs> this is, this is a bro. long time ago joke, and now it's, you know, Pat's a family man, so we're not going to go into it. So, wow, <laughs> fuck off. Yes, because just, he's going to listen to the podcast. I haven't seen you in years, and I'm already sick of it. <laughs> hey, nice shirt, by the way, Joel. That is pretty cool, dude. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah we all really, like it. We all I like it. It piss. definitely brings compliments. I we all yeah, he got his pre pod compliments from everybody, and now you're. I mean, you're, for me, actually, I I saw the reason why I found this shirt is I saw someone that had a mug that said like on on it, it said like this is piss. <laughs> like, like I'm drinking piss or something. Yeah. Like on the, on I hated how hard mug. I just laughed at that. I love that. <laughs> well, I love that. I have a and I joke where where you, wanted where it, you... and I went to like I went to a certain website like Red Bubble or something, and I saw a kiss that said piss, and I'm like, "Fuck Gene Simmons, I'm fucking down with this all day long." <laughs> you know what shirt that makes me think of? You know the move. You know the game Doom. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's the Doom font, but it just says "come." Yeah, it's just yeah, it's a one, good. I know. It was an emote that someone made, and that was just everyone has a shirt that just says "come" in Doom font. It's fucking hilarious, dude. That fucking got Such me. Such a dude. weird me and, shirt to wear in public, dude. 
You're this wearing come? a shirt that says white, white right yeah. now, dude. <laughs> white on, brother. I'm is your head public. buzzed too, or what? I'm not in public, he says. Anyone who watches, oh it? fuck's sake! I want to, I want to, I want to anyway. wrap up that Ozfest story real fast because I just yeah, want to yeah, like yeah. reminisce on a beautiful fucking day that was. Yeah, wonderful day. This is my ADHD just fucking zipping. No, dude, we, no, yeah. that actually because it's, it's like two in the morning. You that not let you finish it. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We had the sickest day. I remember it was me, you, your brother, and V Man in a circle, okay. just chatting at Ozfest right after our set. And me and you looked at each other and we were like, "You want to get fucked up?" You're we like, "Yeah." And me and you split off. And yeah. then we bumped into Doc. We bumped into like all like it was a homey stumble and fall. Like we just kept walking. Like, Oop. oops, I fell at the Jägermeister booth, and yeah. I'm fucking ready to party again. I'm confused. And then. Yeah. And Kicking it with Casey while watching Suffocation, dude. Oh, dude, the you whole know? day and was like, just amazing. And it was just, it was Nighting. just also, it was like, Kevin, as much as I love you so much, I don't like where that goes. I know, right? Seeing, it's gonna be being, but, but being surprised to get to see Frank Mullen, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like the yeah. combo Frank of that. Frank threw out just for like, that, and it was sick. like, oh, because I thought he was done. I thought it was over. No more Frank. Yeah. And that is like, he comes you're like ah! yeah and then you what come in i was like yeah, like, was, there, yeah. was there well, any part of you while you were doing the suffo thing to just change your name temporarily to kev mullen bro do you know how many people oh ask me if God, i was his son Jesus. like it's not even funny like oh. so like they know my name's kevin muller and they're like frank mullen they're like yeah he's like Ke he's like frank's son or nephew or something it's crazy it's, crazy. <laughs> it's like it's obviously not the same last fucking enough. name yeah, yeah like it's just not but in, but, but in frank's family they change the they change it to er yeah it's the, generational we switch yeah. it every generation r e r n r n r n r n dude it's, it's your stage name nuts. dude like it really is mullen like it's like let me see your license <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah it gets me out of shit I, long island shit i'm like hey listen i'm frank mullen's son <laughs> i'm like I, I, they, they fucked up on my at the DMV. I don't have to tell you. You know they changed it in Ellis Island. It used to be that. And they yeah. Like, Let's cut it. yeah, they cut it. <laughs> like it's too like, German. They cut my yeah. fucking. Well, they actually, cut the half the N out. They were like, you yeah. can keep that though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, actually, I, I went to that Ozfest show with Joseph, the professor, in 2017. Before you know, we did the pod and all that stuff, and fucking, uh, he, uh, we were like, dude. Ozfest and like all these bands were playing and fucking Children of Bodom, all kinds of shit. And they're like, fucking Suffocation is playing Ozfest. We're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> At noon, we're, never we're, like, we're just like, we have to go. Like, we're, yeah. We have, we <laughs> yeah. Went, and like, I didn't know of, of you at the time, Kevin, like, like, like your work and stuff. And so mm -hmm. I was just going to see Suffocation. I, I wasn't sure what was going to be going on. So I had like a different experience, like, or just going in at least. And I was just like, Oh fucking! It was so sick, and Frank sick like, singing all the shit, and then like they bring you out, and I have no idea who you are or anything like that. And dude, like I was like super impressed. I remember just being like, "This guy fucking is killing it." This like, guy, he fucks, dude. Yeah. He fucks. He comes. And I knew about like Frank not continuing in the group, and I was like, "If this is the guy they got, like, damn, this guy's fucking sick." So I, I've always remembered that dude. Like, like back that performance was. And I remember like hanging with you, Pat, and shit, and being like, "This guy's fucking sick," you know. And, you, you, I think you might have mentioned something to me like, oh, this guy's sick or something or something like that, you know? Um, yeah, because I thought he was doing the whole thing. And that's what we had a totally yeah, different experience. It was just exactly. like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Because yeah. you, know? yeah, yeah. you the guy comes out. Ah! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And you're like, oh, my God. Dad, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. No, it was it's sick. Awesome. It was sick because Go like in my yeah. in my window with the band, it was it was very much I, I felt that the torch was passed on in like a very cool way dude frank went up up and about to like in decibel magazine there's like three different articles and like the front page where it's him and hobbs they 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 gave me a big whole credit and all that stuff and, and i think the one I, ha I actually have the digital version of that and i have the physical of the immolation on the front where it's us in the studio and there's me doing the whole thing and it just keeps going like frank said he's the fucking man like frank's <laughs> this this that and the other and it was it's crazy to think that's part of my history and i'm very stoked to have that in my in my death metal resume and it was sick to do a whole tour and then have him come and play all my favorite songs <laughs> instead of me no i'm kidding he came first he came first he said what's that 
He said, "Have him come and then play your free song." Like, so he yeah, yeah. He's on my nips first, and then we moved on. I was like, "Don't ever tell anyone." Ah, fuck! I told you guys. No, I mean for I mean for me actually. actually oh, Pat, you, Pat was involved for uh, fucking me meeting Ke- uh, Kev. We went to Nam. We went to Nam, and remember oh, we all dude. like we all met up at Nam. Remember, we, it was like our little group it was me, you, Dan, Kev. Nam was, was like a good fucking guy. time. Oh yeah, then I, yeah, I yelled at Derek Boyer and slept in my car. That's a whole different <laughs> night. That's, a, you, that's yelled, a, yeah. you yelled at him, but uh, uh anyways, God. <laughs> um <laughs> uh, yeah that was a, that was a pretty uh extremely uh v- really loud yell but um <laughs> i just think i just name is not for pk dude like Nam is not... a, Nam's a different animal that was my only time i've been so far and i mean I, it was I, a lot of fun you, you couldn't pay me to go again you we could had, pay but... me double <laughs> that, you could that, pay that, me I, i'm sorry I that love is, Nam. To me, yeah. Nam is like you know it was cool at first when we saw you know Audrey's kisser and we kind of cruise around, but it's just it's it's so L A. Kiss kiss. Mm-hmm. I like you. Just kidding. I don't. Well, I love him. you know what? I'll, I'll it's agree. Just, it's just a just weird vibe. I'll agree with you there, but like mind you, I'm an East Coast hammered kid at the Hilton, just walking yeah. around, and I'm drinking. Like like I, I think the funniest Which is part, right dude, there. The funniest yeah. part is I was. I think my night and actually I have a funny history wrap this up kind of thing. Look kind of buffer now. <laughs> <laughs> it's you Murray don't giving this you jersey the... is. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants? <laughs> now I'm gonna take off my hockey jersey because I don't feel as buff as you. <laughs> well, it's probably cold in that South City they don't warehouse. Like <laughs> I funny story met Wes that night. Oh shit! Oh, that's yeah. why you're well, saying it's a different shit? experience for you. Yeah. Well, well. Here's the thing. So it was like I went to Nam on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna laugh right now and say on behalf of Heil Sound microphones. Don't look at my microphone. It's not a Heil Sound, but this is. <laughs> this thing is. Um, my other one's over here, right here. Check it out. PR40. It's a great microphone. Oh yeah. It's just. It's just it looks. I sick. gotta clean. I gotta clean it anyway. Um, so there's people playing Mortal Kombat in the back of your. You deal? like? I got my. No, it's an arcade, oh, bro. Insert coin, Sickest. motherfucker. Yeah, dude. dude. Sleep the tokens. Or... <laughs> yeah. If you got enough sleep tokens, we'll get it in there. <laughs> um. So it was at the Hilton at Nam. Fucking beautiful place. It's like the green room of all green rooms. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. you are. Like for someone like me, I'm not a guitarist. I'm not a producer. I'm not a fucking. I don't have any gear to be like i'm a musician and i yeah. i do this for a living it's like yeah. i'm just a vocalist i scream and make monster noises exactly. with my best friends and now i'm at a bar surrounded with all my influences in one room it's mm-hmm. fucking it's kind of crazy like i remember ending up in a circle where it was just like like it was like it, me hate breed machine head and like all these other dudes in a circle fucking shout out to Volvadine, you guys they were out from south africa hanging out with us uh, we shout out to Boyer. Kicking, is kicking yeah, it. Just was like in our groups. Yeah, it was fucked up. Just everyone is kicking it, and then there's this moment where I'm like, I'm like, Jerry's gone. Jer- like Jer- my drunk alter ego is gone. I'm like blacked out at this point where I'm just like, this is the best night ever. Yeah. And me and Wes have been texting like for you know, let's say, call it a year and a half now, almost just back and forth. Once I left Suffo and we, I was a free agent, and then uh. Yeah, dude. We it was like, hey, I'm going to Nam. You go to Nam? Yeah, I'm going to Nam. And then we he meets me at my lowest. <laughs> <laughs> he just comes down. He's like, I'm gonna come down to the Hilton and check it out. And I just behind I'm talking to all these dudes that I'm admiring and I hear, Hey Wes, what's up? And I turn around and me and him just like hi, like handshake, chest bump kind of thing. And I'm just like, Oh no, I'm fucked up right now. This is hilarious. <laughs> like this is fun. And Funny retrospect is we went outside. You know how there's a front of the hills in there. Yep. And we had our moment of like, let's make shit happen. And it was in front of me, Wes, Greg, and Elliot from Car Bomb. Wow. And then oh, a bunch of years later, we're on tour together. And then I'm talking Damn. to them like I've never met them before. But I, I remember no- meeting some of them. But mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, we're going to have fun. They're like, yeah, we know. <laughs> we- <laughs> Kevin, you could be you could be so drunk and you were the most fun guy ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Man, I know. Like, don't don't worry about that. <laughs> no, Me, I'm not, I, it's I not a worry. I, t- <laughs> I turn it upside down, dude. Hey, man, dude. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'll bring I'll bring we it home. We can eat t- on this table, or we can flip it up and yell at everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring home a small story, dude. There was one time. Well, nah. Should I? Eh, 
I'll bring up two percent of it. Two percent of it. Pat almost two percent. Pat almost saw my angry drunk side. We were at a bar in that old town you used to live in, Fisherman Papu Town. Bay? Yeah. There was that time Ooh, someone mentioned okay. I was ta- I was talking to you and my friend about a pe- friend that passed. Mm-hmm. And I was talking actually about for the death metal listeners, I was talking about uh Bill Tully from Internal Bleeding. And I was oh, like, yeah, yeah it's just yeah. uh, fucked up. It was around that time. Right. And then this drunk dude next to me is like, who fucking cares? Ooh, and I yeah. fucking like I don't know him at all. I'm yeah. in a town I don't know. I'm in a city I don't know. And I remember yeah. going. He doesn't, know, he doesn't know Bill Tully at all dude, either. He's just ta- dude, he's just Jerry shit. just came out hard. I was like, who yeah, the yeah. fuck are you? And I, I, I'm not an angry guy. I'm not a fighter. I, I'm not a. I'm not any of those things. Yeah. But Jerry yeah. is, and I don't yeah. know him. And in in ways in other ways, and that almost came out. And to the point where Pat and the the bar owner and another guy all had my back. Like it was just like a circle of sickness. And yeah. then that dude left. And then that's when I was gifted a hoodie of that bar or whatever from the yeah. owner. Was Old Prince of Landing. Half a yeah. day brewery or was it oh, oh no. Prince and Landing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That was that's a beautiful that's, that's actually gotta- that's you where I met Murray. Hoodie, bro. You got an OPL. Hoodie. That night, I yeah, I met Murray that night. It was yeah. your birthday, Pat. It was my birthday. And you you came down for that. And yep. uh, that's where I met fucking baby mama, dude. Was that bar? Man, you guys made some core memories that night, even through that's, your drinking. Dude, holy <laughs> shit, that's an important that night. That was a fun, that was a fun night. That was a crazy night. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because you're never gonna remember that that altercation that you you know, even though that dude, I almost killed that kid. That I'm dude, not even kidding. A, like there was a moment of like, holy shit, I'm enough. black. I'm fucking. You know what? There's I know, like, rage. Uh, there's there's a lot of uh, drunk assholes that come around sometimes. In that I was going to say, dude. Um, in hindsight, that dude means nothing. Meant no, nothing. No. You know, no. And but and, it was the heat of the moment. I was just like at like so halfway to tears brain, talking about human, feelings. The human brain gets like it, like the like so I've learned about this recently. Like when you get pissed. It goes like to the core, like your fucking like primal core of your cortex oh, or your brain. So you just get like just you see red and your head starts beating and like you don't get to think about it. It's like primal. And like if you can yeah. like there's... fight through that, then you'll probably stay out of jail. <laughs> that's pretty much like the best way to know that. Moment. This is the best way to do it, is you realize that if you don't punch that guy in the face, you're probably gonna get a free beer. <laughs> yeah. And that free beer. I think we stayed there for like two more hours. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it could be like and the bar was almost closed. Oh, I want to punch you, man. Oh, so tasty. Ah, get out of here, you asshole! I'll take another JMO Coke. Thank you. you know, come here, I'm gonna tickle you instead. <laughs> that sounds oh, like dad mentality, bro. Dude, yeah, why punch smart. you? You could tickle, dude. <laughs> it's logical. It's just logical. It's why like, hey, do you want to fucking want to pay all these? I want to pay all these fines and go to jail, or like get a free beer. Like you have to think about that, like in hindsight, when what's happening. Like, like, dude, and I've I've punched people at bars, and like, <laughs> I know you have. And, <laughs> his fist is ready, but look at that arm, like, Murray. Look at that arm you created no, he, for him. Yeah, dude. This is all, dude, my arm looks <laughs> twice as big with this jersey on. Hashtag Murphys. When you when you hit someone, it feels horrible. It does. It horrible. Feel good. It is not a cool feeling, dude. And like, when you like. <laughs> Tickle someone and get free beer? <laughs> <laughs> like a bad feeling I heard it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Murray, That's jump the... in, bro. Yeah, Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, you, just, you just gave a bunch of ha ha's right there. Murray's <laughs> like, no. Murray's nah. just like, no, you got to just punch the guy. Just fuck. I know Murray was punch the, the puncher, guy. dude. Jesus Christ. That guy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh oh. Like, I, I love that. I was like, my. I've seen, like, I've seen I, Murray fuck beer. I've drank terror already. Dude. I'm going to punch him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, Murray would just be like, I'd, I'd have to hold Murray back. Like, dude, let's not go to jail what tonight. <laughs> let's not do, like, you know. What was the whole thing with Mike Marinkovich? Like, in the oh, dude, like we were playing a show, uh, like in L.A. at fucking some shitty place, and I remember the star, like, like a buddy of like Odious was like sitting there, but he's kind of like he's weird, and he started doing this. Like, going, like, oh, yeah. stand next to Murray, and Murray just took him down in a headlock, like, in the middle of the pit, <laughs> and, we're, and was just like, holding him, and I was like, don't kill him, watched, don't kill him. <laughs> we were on stage performing, and yeah, just some, I just put him watched down. the the guy that Joel's talking about, who we know is just a spaz at shows. He's just oh, a yeah, complete yeah. spaz. But we love him to death. Like, I love seeing him front row doing his spaz. Yeah, 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 yeah. Know? But yeah. Murray's like, I don't. That night, and then all of a sudden, he's all like, he, he was hitting Murray doing it. It was like a mafia move. Like the guy just disappeared. Oh yeah, it was a murder. It was like, oh, it's like, dude, Jesus, how many times have you done this? Not to talk like, was he moshing or just being weird? 
Nice. He's being weird. He's I being weird. He, he he mooned me. He like you know. He's well, that's like that's a, that's he's halfway like, to weird. If, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like this. That's like, full ah, way. That's ah, pretty. Ah, this yeah. is like, is he tripping space. on acid while watching you guys? Is that what's Probably. happening? Maybe, maybe. And then he's getting <laughs> choked. He's like, oh my god, this with is with awesome. this person. With this person, I would say that might. Yeah, might that, be. it's not uh, out of the uh, realm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Barry's like, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> all bold. Okay, I god. love when it shows up all big on here. Okay. Dude, Murray, dude, Murray all, made, it's all up dude, to everybody involved that I'm from my perspective. Dude, you gotta realize, like, we started going to the pounds so fucking young, and like, I was in eighth grade when I started going to the pounds. So, mm -hmm. what are you, 13, 14? Yeah, and I would yeah, be yeah. driving you guys and, in the escape. I would be driving in the escape. Remember the and then you escape? have you then you have Edward Norton from American History X that is somehow <laughs> the nicest guy in the world that's not racist. And he's, he's also not, not even white. He's like Portuguese. <laughs> but he would just stand there with his fucking his bomber jacket and his Cortez's dude. And you're <laughs> yeah. like, right. and he's the nicest guy in the world. And he felt Brazilian. so fucking Brazilian. safe. He's Brazilian. So fucking safe around him, dude. And like, I remember one time. Remember that gentleman? Were you were you at the Deeds of Flesh show when the guy pulled the gun out, Anthony? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Were yeah, you there? I was, yeah. I was right in the corner with there. you guys while Murray was protecting <clears throat> us. Murray's like, dude, my brother, I'm gonna kill this guy. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, dude, I'm like, so. And he's like, I'm gonna kill him. It's fine. <laughs> like, I got it's it. It's fine. I, I'm so sick. It's fine. It's that like, was it's actually. Fine. I've I've said it's it on the show before. I'll say it again. That was the night that like Murray became like true family because he grabbed my our little brothers and threw them in the corner first before you know himself so I was yeah i went like, protect mode that's yeah. crazy yeah. and then the, the, yeah. then the epic story of him like i don't can't totally remember what it was but he's like beating some dude's head in <laughs> and he's like and he's not even from pacifica and he's yelling pete down beat down <laughs> yeah. he's sending the like, message elsewhere he's like hold on yeah. if you got a problem with this so go like, there just like what a g man like south yeah. city just rapid beat down beating some dude up mm, like, i love it dude <laughs> and yeah and because we showed him p-town and then he fell in love dude and he's like yeah i'm repping p-town now i don't know why oh, yeah. murray, i don't know on. why murray never sold his his place and just straight up moved to pacifica it makes no sense Murray, why did you not move to Pacifica? <laughs> Didn't like, he move to Pacifica? Yeah. No, he he's owned a no, house in Pacifica. Oh, yes, he did. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Like, no, but I'm talking no, 10 years. Just like, 10, we're going to blow up a spot, and then I have to like correct that. Uh, yeah, 10, year, 10 years prior to that, he should have he should have bought a house. <laughs> like, we used to party at the Sea Horse, in, or before that, Winners. It was and four he would Ps. Just, oh, he four would just Ps taxi and tax. Well, no, it was winners. We partied at winners for hell. Yeah. 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 So <clears> and he would taxi in, yeah. taxi out, taxi in, taxi out. Like, God, those are the best times ever. Yeah, dude. It's really good stuff. All right. So we were talking about your guys' history. We got that out of the way, Kev. Yeah. Just, while we're hanging out, um, Pat, you're. You can hang out as long as you want, want dude. Chime in whenever as you, you want. want um, dude, I didn't even, I didn't even hit the went. max of it. I, I got to hit one more thing. One All more right, thing before it. we segue. Yeah. How yeah. sick was it? How sick was it, Pat Kenny? Hmm. We made a VIP booth on our own without anyone's regard. It was it was me, Mark, Eddie, you, your brother, and another friend. And we we found an empty booth. Get the, all right. So Ozfest 2017, uh, San Bernardino. They have that fucking outdoors oh, yeah. whatever. And there's like the floor. And then there's like 20 rows of no one and then everyone else. And we were just like, fuck it. We're going to sit right here. And we had so many people of staff go, you can't sit here. It's like, but we played the show. And they were like, okay, hold on. I don't have a rule for that. So I'm going to go <laughs> and, and ask someone else. And then, and then someone else would do the same. And we're like, well, we played. Like, this, yeah. What are you doing? They're like, all right, all right I also don't have a rule for that. I'll be right back. And then everyone just stopped bothering us. And it was all of us. and. Cheech and Chong's weed supplier. What? It was unreal. It was. He was just like, oh, by the way, I have all this weed. You guys want to hang out and smoke? So and we're just like, oh, yes. and and Deftones is about to play, and uh, and then after and that, then Ozzy. Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy oh, Osbourne. oh, oh, and one more, and one more, and one more. <laughs> this is the one we don't talk about. But Green no, <laughs> <Exclusive here. laughs> no. <laughs> uh, profits of rage. 
Yeah, I, I oh, left. Oh, oh wow. But I, I hear me out. I'm not like a big one or another. Like I'm not a rage. I'm not a big one, rage one fan. But, but I'm not a big. <laughs> but but I'm a Cypress Hill fan from my my yeah. my ghetto youth. But now, Prophets of Rage was Rage Against the Machine with Cypress Hill singing. Yep. You know, it was Be Real and fucking uh, what's his face doing the shit. And yeah. then all of a sudden, they just stop and they play like a stone. With the mic empty with a spotlight on it because what's his name had just passed. Oh, Bro, the shit. whole crowd is crying and singing. Oh, I'd be I cried when he died. Like the whole crowd oh, is going nuts. Who just, who just, oh who just passed? Chris um, Cornell, you Chris fucking Cornell. fart knocker. <laughs> fart knocker. <laughs> <laughs> that still looks confused. He's like, who the Quit. fuck is that? Quit Quit Chris Cornell. Cornell. Soundgar the machine Sa Soundgarden. And yeah. You know, Soundgarden is rage with a different singer, essentially. Audio, but then, oh, audio okay, set. What that, am I saying? Sorry, okay. Oops. Oops. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. You know what I'm saying. <clears throat> okay, that makes sense you know because he joined you know up with the dudes from Rage. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Audio Slate, they did Like a Stone. Yeah, but I for was, him, I was, right. a, I was a stone on that one, dude. I was so freaking <laughs> blitz, dude. Everything. Dude, I was I, hammered and then I, stone. Like, it was the no, best was, day ever. I, I was eating things. I was smoking things. I Bro. was drinking things. I was just, oh, it was the best day yeah, ever. Best that is, just, sorry, I said Soundgarden, everybody. I think I might have been doing When they started doing that, I was going, oh, zoo. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, dude. Okay, real quick. I, I don't want to make it a bummer, but man, it got I got bummed this week when you know Ozzy has to you know yeah. bow out of the power trip <sighs> and all that. It's like, I don't know. Well, I, mean, I don't I know. This it was news and I'm forgetting I, I to he hear was it. Done. I'm still I putting. He was done I know. Already. I know. I thought he was done, but well, then now it's like happened. It, like this it's official gonna, now, dude. How many? It's times not official. Did Black, Judas, no, no Judas listen. Priest took over. How many times? Yeah, Rob did. I'm out. How many times did Ozzy and Fuck Black you. Sabbath say they were done? <laughs> Just let me fucking Bro. say it, dude. No, no, no. I'm saying so. <laughs> like, he said, I'm, he said, said it's me. He's not saying me. fuck you, Anthony. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, Jesus. Yeah. No, I, I, I drink a little bit. That makes me. It makes me sad, me. but I, I, you get it out, and I'm gonna. I, I have something ready, cocked and loaded. <laughs> No, I I mean, it's it's hard, hard, hard. we've been waiting for this to really happen because we've been teased so many times. Black Sabbath Bless you. said it so Bless many you. times. Thank you. Ozzy said it so many times. And then they keep coming back and we're just like, fuck yeah, dude. You know, the godfathers, the 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 man, the myth, the legend, he's still doing it, you know. And now it's starting to feel like holy shit, dude, the candle's starting to peter out. A I'll bit. cry on the stream it's, if you keep it's going. making me it's making my I actually do have anxiety about it, guys. I didn't know anything was happening until you said something. So now I have a problem. I wouldn't be surprised but, if he died no, three years ago. And everybody just said this three years ago. How are we supposed to really know, dude? Hold on. Hear I me out. Hear I me feel out. like this one's real, dude. Hear me out. So it's like... Cheryl! <laughs> Dude, that was that was twenty years ago. He was doing that. You know what I mean? Like, no, 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 no. But I'm but I'm I'm just saying. Like, remember his show, The Osbournes? Like, that was twenty oh, yeah, yeah. almost twenty five years. That was the first ago. reality show. I hmm. maybe I'm still. Yes, it was. I don't maybe think I'm that's true. Rock of fucking... Love or something? Come on. No, there no, there was a bunch good. of shit before yeah. that, bro. There's no the way Osbournes, that's the first one. The Osbournes is two thousand and three. That's not a fun topic to talk about. Well, that's a long <laughs> what I'm gonna say. What I'm gonna say is, <laughs> I'm so I'm I I like listen. I have my I've I've talked about this on other podcasts. So we're like, of course, like everyone's in metal influence. Ozzy's one of them for sure. Right. Number my one. mother bought me my first metal record I ever owned was Black Sabbath. We sold our soul for rock and roll. Mm. And my mom bought it for me with the intent of being like, like. <laughs> she listened to a lot of basic rock stuff and I stole her meatloaf CD at mm. Bad Out of Hell because I kept just oh, looking yeah. at the artwork going this is fucking sick it was right, just right. that motorcycle fucking ripping out of a grave and there's this and giant bat and fire and all. Thing, yeah, my mom saw me fucking looking at that and goes I got an idea and she saw Black Sabbath as a kid and said I have I think he's gonna like this because I dude I, as a kid I didn't know what the fuck I, I liked everything my it, all right, the same year I got Black Sabbath's album, it was in the same stocking in, for Christmas as mm -hmm. Will Smith's Millennium, right. Some 41 yeah. Fat Lip, Jesus. Lou Bega's Mama Number Five, and <laughs> there was one other one in there. But and uh, but and then Black Sabbath was the other one, obviously. The broader so you're all the yeah. Dude, bah, once I heard War Pigs, I was like, this is it. This is I need and then I asked Jeeves, yeah. who's Ozzy? 
And then Ashton it's just like, Jeeves. yeah, I asked, it was Ashton Jeeves. Who's Ozzy? It's like, oh, Ozzy Osbourne, Ozfest. Mm -hmm. Oh, who played Ozfest? Pantera, Meshuggah, Machine Head. Da, 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 da. I was like, oh, hey, I'm ruined. Uh, I'm ruined for life. Kevin, that record's, uh, is that only five songs? Which one? Our Soul, a Soul, Our Soul? Yeah. No. Are you sure? Yeah. Am I tripping? Because the first, I thought, well, like, I'm confused about what the album. first is it a compilation album? Or live or something? It's not like an actual it's a comp album. compilation. It, it might compilation. be a compilation. It's, a, it's yeah. black and just the it's writing. It's black with the, the writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, not Either like way, bro. My my point is, I got a pit. Yeah. I'm a fucking yeah. like twelve year old, and my mom's yeah. like, "Here's Black Sabbath." No, but that, I think that is the first fucking like legit like right. Am I tripping? What are you talking Finish about? Finish the sentence. The legit black. Okay, Sabbath so the first. <laughs> That's the what I was first, thinking. Was it only five no. songs? And that's first the whole one is self titled, and it's like yeah, the self titled and like paranoid. A, you could totally yeah, tell it like early year. Cradle of Filth. So, yeah, what is that? Re what is that record? Some, I had that record that. too. Yeah, it's a comp. What it, when did that record come out? It's a comp of some size, Tim's saying. Yeah. Um, I don't know when. I do. One is a, or, oh, sure. I know what one you're talking. I think it's about, pretty fucking dude. old, dude. It was a compilation that you're talking. We should get Ozzy on the phone. Hold on, let me ask. Yeah, you. They had, they had, the, then they had like Master of Reality, and then Volume. Oh, four it did. Oh, I'm just a really fucking started. poser. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm just. Dude, it, had go. Every, it had the bangers on it. That's what, like. Yeah. I, I heard that, and I was just like, like, oh. Greatest hits. Yeah. yeah, I learned yeah. that, dude. And I, all right, so that spawned a whole new beast in me. And then, like, I was skateboarding then, and and this is back oh, yeah. when skate shops had like compilation cds on the counter when you pick up your spitfire yeah, wheels yeah. you know and it was just yes. like i had all these different cds i was and, and in new york i was picking up like i found sworn enemy that way and i was just like oh my god what the fuck is this and i found all these new bands and then my brain was like i want to find the heaviest fucking thing i can find and now yeah. i'm talking to you guys you know totally, what i mean like totally. so when i played ozfest in 2017 it was like a day where i was like i remember being annoyed at our guys and all this stuff and i was just like everyone leave me alone I'm going to go walk this way and see where yeah. it takes me. And it was like, right, right after I, I think I was hanging out with you, Pat, I, I broke off and I was actually hanging with big buddy, Nick in the chat. Shout out to the boy. He was tour managing us with Suffo and he's a sick tour manager. Shout out. And, um, me and him went to the Ozfest like behind the stage bar. There's like this VIP bar you can hang out at. And I'm meeting all these like different reps, ESP reps and this, this, that, and the other. And I meet this one guy and he goes like, yeah, what's your job? Oh, I'm a I work for this company. I work for this company. I'm a roadie for this guy. And this last guy is like, oh, I'm a bassist. And I was like, oh, nice. Nice to meet you. I just did vocals for Suffo. I plug my headphones back. In. And then he says, oh, yeah, let's go get a drink. And me, Nick, and this guy are getting a drink. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm so rude. I didn't ask you, like, what band you play for. He's like, oh, I play for Machine Head. I was like, oh, sick. Yeah. And I just, like, hugged him. <laughs> I just hugged him and I was just like I, I know I don't know you at all but I was like you're ban I know he was a younger guy I forget his name right yeah. now I'm fucking spacing he's a sick dude we play Call of Duty together why is my brain tripping Jared thank you Nick he's a sick dude and and uh, I remember having that bro moment of like oh this is why I'm here like this is dope yeah. this I is haven't met a dude really that can't say that machine heads burn my eyes isn't somewhat Dude, that and there. Ten Ton oh, Hammer like, is just disgusting. Town, you know, I mean, I talk yeah. about it, but Roadrunner had these VH VHS compilation music video tapes, and I got one for two bucks at, Ami yeah. at Amoeba. And that was such a sick download. I love Amoeba. Sepultura, <laughs> Obituary, <laughs> Typo Negative, um, machine head obviously and all these like cool Sepultura, soulfly slipknot yeah well soulfly wasn't even this was like a tape from before soulfly so it was like refuse resist before your time music, son yeah 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 well it wasn't am i tripping or was suffocation on roadrunner for a second they were yeah. they were yeah they were dude and you know what makes yeah. this all crazy like mm. shout out to monty connor for he's the guy who signed us to nuclear and he's like a head. He was a head dog at Roadrunner, signing all the bands you just listed. Yeah. So like for me, I'm just like fucking. I'm not religious, but what is this thing, dude? Holy shit! You're just the goat. Like yeah, I'll do whatever. Like, I'm stoked do to be here, bro. I'm <laughs> I'm stoked to be like in this pool of names and like keeping the thing moving. You know, it's such a good fucking time. I uh, I'm even from. I I could say that I'm from a generation where I'm at a 
Target or a Walmart and I'm going through $5 bargain bins and I found bands that were on Road Racer record. You guys remember <laughs> Road Racer? It no. was a subsidiary of Road Runner, dude. And it was just like it's more a Kirkland like, Road Runner? It it's was like, it's like, like Blood Walmart. Blast. You ever, you ever heard of Blood Walmart Blast? Meta. Blood Blast. Blood no. Blast? Blood Blast is nuclear blast digital distribution. Whoa. It was like a, yeah. it was like this weird this side like, label thing that like I remember seeing. Metal versions of <laughs> well, what was it, what was on that record, Anthony? Or what what bands were on that? I don't even remember, dude. It was it was I kinda uh, wanna look it up. Yeah, I Road Racer Records. That actually would be a fun. I've never heard of that in my life, dude. Road Racer, guys. So it came up right away. I right. Know, I typed it in. What well, so who's the biggest okay. road racer act to come out? Okay, I'm looking right now. Discogs, oh, oh discogs. wow. Hold it. No, no, no. King Diamond, I... Sepultura. Well, no, no, no. This Hold is on. like re-releases. It's, it's re-releases. Yeah, it's re-release. It's it's Sepultura, King Diamond, Obituary, Sepultura, Obituary. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's like uh, Sepultura, King Diamond. It says, <laughs> Road Racer Records was used by Roadrunner Records since December 10, 1984 for markets outside of Europe, yeah, primarily the heard, U.S. Uh, oh. So um, it's kind of like another company yeah. to do the same thing. Which trips me out because I just realized that Roadrunner has been doing shit since before I was born because they started that thing in 84. <laughs> I was born in 84. Oh, yeah. Wait, what was the first band? Uh, the first like King Runner Diamond, band. probably. Oh, no, they're, re- they're re-releasing stuff. They're not. I don't think they're putting anything out. No, but, that was no, but Ro- Roadrunner itself, what was the first? Well, 84 was like the first thing they used. Gotta be King Diamond. The right? first Roadrunner. I mean, no, they had to start small so, for sure. I'm just trying, Nick I mean, and Chad is saying it. Roadrunner had to create a separate chat. Uh, they had to create a separate company to be in the U.S. back then. Oh, so they, okay, so they made a, a thing to be like, oop. Shit's all right. Yeah. Sick Drummer like, Magazine says so. Instead of, um, what is it? Uh, yeah, because Candlelight does a lot of European distribution for a lot of, for certain labels over here they just decided to make their own thing yeah it's like that's nowadays like, that's like prosthetic sign, sign, and like sony isn't it aren't yeah, they you tied together to label, you get signed to a label and they're like cool you're signed to this and also that and yeah this. yeah <laughs> so it's like it's like yeah. kind of like for europe you distribution realize for, got like south american distribution and, yeah yeah it's yeah. like anim- animosity was on black market activities not metal blade yeah mm. right? oh, wasn't right. that, that was guy, guy from red cord had his yeah, own yeah. deal yeah off yeah. metal blade yeah, yeah, which was a really exactly. solid label. That. Like yeah. all the A and R and and guys, um, um, in intuitions with a lot of those bands, I I felt they had a, a nice little signature thing. But how does on. that how does that work though? Like if especially if we have people in the that have worked in you know with record industry and stuff, like how does a subsidiary work versus like being signed to the main thing? You're just uh, it's probably okay. a smart move, you know. Guy yeah. guy fucking has an ear, and if it gets sick, like Empires was, I think on black but market, you, and then does your no. distribution animal suck? was on. No, you get the same like metal blade distribution, but you're basically it's almost you're not like hyped as much? I mean, if I, if I want to, probably not. It's like the yeah. It's not. I don't know if it's necessarily like uh, black market was signed to Metal Blade, and then they sign other acts. It might be something kind of similar. It's like baseball. Yeah, it's like baseball. Maybe that's a minor league. It's licensing type shit. You know, it's like a minor league. It's like it's like it's like if you're in the D league for NBA or the minor league for the. You just gotta get your numbers better, and then you end up in the better one. But what's the better one? That just means you get more numbers, or you get more distribution. Well, wider they probably, distribution? They probably up your contract to the to, to the full label or something. I bet you signing to black market was you know two to four to six thousand signing, you know, and then this was no more way would be double that. that you well, know? I remember when when Danny was, was lower money then when he yeah. did Empires, they only had like one advertising at one time in a small one in thrasher magazine yeah, yeah. Like if, it was, from metal blade. if it was in metal blade i guarantee you it would be in your metal hammer uh your uh chip I don't okay, know. it's I literally metal hit blade so it's metal blade saying we're gonna we're gonna mess around in the smaller pond as well you know mm. like, i mean it, it's a perfect opportunity for them to sniff out anything that's happening and they go i like them yeah I like them yeah, they're you know, trying to fiddle they, some tadpoles. I mean, into the moat was yeah, kind of like that, right? Into the moat. Psyopis, into the moat. Um, yeah, yeah. 
I think, I mean, Guy, I mean, Red Cord is one of the sickest ever. Don't, I'm, yeah, I'm, love. I'm avoiding all topics of Red Cord because I love them too much and Guy knows it. <laughs> and I yeah. and I don't want to go too hard into it, dude. I well, saw as, their co- as as, as he should know it though. That hey, motherfucker, yeah. dude, 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 that is so good. I we met in their flowers because I enjoyed a lot of that band. Well, they got me like during like the my fucking technical metal thing. Like I remember they they came out with the uh, revol- revolving doors or the fuck. I can't. Is that fused together? Revolve? Is that? The I would just skip to uh, to track revolving. nine, living in dog years or whatever. Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one of that, 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 that was, breaks yeah. out, dude. That was right out of high school, though. That was right out of high school for me. That was two. Did any of you? None of you were there at the comeback show in Philly. I was there alone. Yeah, because that's that's uh, five minutes yeah. away from you. Well, yeah, yeah, but you show. shut up! Don't we're sit there praising so hard and not fucking W's, get dude. here. We're too busy over here throwing up the W's. You guys just want to go fast. You don't. You guys don't want to slow down and check out the good stuff. I saw them at the misery. I saw them at the. Not gonna go there. <laughs> I saw them at the I saw them at the come show, not the comeback show. So like the early stuff before that, like it was I was a private the back show. show. Private show. Yeah, it was, <laughs> you had no, to come to the back door to get in there. <laughs> there was no comeback. It was just come. Bro, they 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 fucking dude. I I had dude. The last two metal and beer fests have had me like half almost emotional. Like yeah. like yeah, almost yeah. like oh my god, and this you, is so sick. That's, that's You're crazy. crying that's the memorable shit right yeah because dude like the the one not this year this year was great it was black dahlia and then gore guts oh, open for black dahlia playing considered dead like mm. i was just fucking i was insane and like I, like what, yes there's it, a lot this, of people there this year this year this past this yeah this year this spring oh, that just was, oh god i know dude, dude i know dude. 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 That road. Don't, that road. hold on that's Don't a road we'll go down us. yeah we'll go down a road in a bit if we want to, yeah. but what I'm yeah. gonna say is, dude, I know, dude, I was at Trevor's I know, last I know, show. We're not I know. gonna we do this get it. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, we've <laughs> oh, we better friends. I don't want to start dude. crying right now. I know. I know. <laughs> you just said the fact dude, that you said out. Gore God. Oh, sorry. I know. Like, that I know. Been, that would have been. Tight. Shout out, Big Buddy Nick is their tour manager right now. He's fucking killing it. Um, I'm proud of him. So, so, awesome. but, the, but Gore God's played. They played half their set was considered dead. The second half was Obscura. Like they're they're understanding what their people like now. Like not yeah. that they didn't know. I think it's more the fact that they're making the strides. Where my my first my favorite Gorguts is the first two records. It's considered dead and uh, corrosion of sanity. And yeah. and I was dude. I'm that nerd. I was that nerd at the Gorguts sh- at that show. They played their last song, and I was like, I'm going to the merch table. And I was alone, standing like this for like <laughs> 20 minutes until they packed up their shit and came out and fucking he comes out i'm just luke kim comes out i give him a high five we do a little he does that little canadian snap at the end of his high five and yep. we're chatting and he's got corrosion on the table for sale and i was like bro are you are you gonna play these songs ever he's like i'm learning them now i was like stop Dude, like they're gonna play live like corrosion of sanity songs like ah, that makes corrosion, me very excited sorry, I, I don't mean to um uh correct you but you're saying corrosion it's i am erosion, the drinks though. are coming in corruption <laughs> is it corruption it's erosion erosion what's i'm all fucked what's that what's that i'm being a nerd so no, no 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 it's you, no, it's, explosion. it's explosion fuck it's, you guys it's Dude. it's it's <laughs> What's impulsion the of, of it's it's like a bunch of people shoved in TVs and orange and it's, gotten, dude. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. all Dan Seagrave <laughs> shit, all that yeah, shit. Yeah. It is. Yeah, that's <laughs> all right, that. that it was Morris Sound Studios, Dan Seagrave. If you had those combinations in the early '90s, you were a successful death metal band. So, totally. Kev, I want to ask you. So, if you if you're really down with like erosion, um, have you ever heard atrocity? Yes. The but I'm be- don't two, quote me now. I'm I'm no, I'm gonna fuck fine. shit I, up. I, that's fine. I'm googling it right not, now. I'm not gonna quote you. I'm not gonna tell you anything. <laughs> I want you to. I want you to go listen to those first two records, dude. The first atrocity, A T R O C I T Y. Yeah. Listen atrocious. to uh, hallucinations and um the first, the second ones in German. What is it? Translate? Just keep the fuck with me, dude. Something about the rose. Something of death. I. It, but that second record right there, if you if you're down with erosion, dude, you'll you'll yeah you'll atrocity. A lot of those vibes. And the that. reason why I always say corrosion is because my favorite song on that record is "Condemned to Is Obscurity." Yeah, it starts with the pianos, and I always see the sea, and I'm like erosion, 
see corrosion no, it's, it's just good, fucking dude. adhd things. and i didn't i didn't want to be like one of those guys like, yeah hey, i have a disability you, way you to go man show, <laughs> you show, you gotta fucking that shit right but i was you said it like three times and I was no like, no no thank you I, I do but i do it all the time i've, yeah, I've yeah, i think yeah. i've even probably said that to him with the yeah. record in front of me i'm like yeah cor- <laughs> I, I, love, I, love that shit. I love corrosion That's my i'm spilling my beer all over his table i fucking you guys are sick dude yeah, that's yeah, the feelings no, that, that we get when we meet our heroes, right? It's just that creepy, crawly, fucking evil carnival death metal that I miss. Yeah. You know, it's just like it's in that, your soul shit. Yeah. Ripping your no, rib cage sure, open dude. and fucking with shit. And I'm Malaysian, dude. Nah. Immolation, you like immolation? So weird. dude yeah. that's the one new york band that doesn't stay with me but they're very nice dudes i've I've met them a bunch of times it's just like someone made a joke to me once that i can't forget and they said every time i listen to immolation it's like the cd's skipping mm-hmm. well, well i mean you have to see them uh, live though for me I, I don't listen to them i don't listen to them on album i don't i'm not really a big listening to them on album band but live they fucking are one of the best live death metal bands i've ever seen and i wouldn't i'm not even i'm again i'm not insulting the band i i think i, I don't even know the their songs at all i don't know their songs at all but i see i, I like because i never really like taken the time to a possession and all things but like live they crushed like uh psycho fest i was there with, dude this is how i know uh, rehab I would jo- be sick with, with you guys with that you guys would all grab me you guys would all grab me and be like, listen, listen, just give it a try. You know? Go <laughs> like this. If you're like this, if you're like this, it's like, uh, okay, whatever. But if you see them live, it's like, oh, no, shit. They you're, have like a cool, weird Kevin, my brother, my brother has an emulation tattoo on the back of his leg. It was the first tattoo we ever got. Brother's got a lot and of I bad remember, tattoos. And I remember <laughs> thinking, like, fucking, this, 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 this band sucks, dude. Like, yeah. it's not I, tight. Like, I, I want, you know it? And then I just went to the second fest with Joel. Holy yeah. fuck. Yeah, dude. okay. Like, well, I they, think they're they're really more on that. Watch, dude. They're they're on that they're on that like space of like they're they're, they're I'm uh, listen I I'm in a I'm in a very I'm I'm in a weird place in my life where I'm in a band that I'm so fortunate to be in and my guitarist is fucking out of his mind yeah. and, and plays so sucks. In, yeah <laughs> <laughs> no but like do you know how fucking painful it is for him when i say hey do this i'm like zang 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 and he's like what about like i was like no go no. <laughs> zang 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 <laughs> and it hurts him but we find we have this medium of like he knows the ignorance i want with the technicality he's able to provide yeah. but and Wes I, is obsessed with pantera and dimebag and but let's really just talk. So let's bad. if we're gonna go yeah, right that you're seeing the middle ground, baby. That's exactly that's so that's, when he sees what like, there was one day we were driving, we were driving and talking about bullshit, and he was uh in the front, and whoever's driving has in the van, whoever's whoever's driving has full control of the radio, and I respect the whole fucking thing. Yeah. So there was one day he was driving and he was playing a bunch of stuff. And I kept fucking with him. I kept being really mad at him. He kept playing Meshuggah, and I hated it. I, I'm, I'm just not. A, I don't Shout know what it is. Murdoch. Yeah, yeah, Murdoch. Murdoch hates me. Yeah, I don't uh-huh. get it. I think I think Carbomb does their job ten times better. I think it's. Ooh, I, I like think that. that's you know a what? very they, they, real they, take. I, mean, I agree with that. I agree with you, but it's because they took the rules of Meshuggah, and it's like Black Sabbath. Someone took the Black Sabbath and then made it sicker. Yeah, Someone dude, like took Carbomb like, plays they, like, to make, no click. Are you kidding? Well, I mean, no, cl- no click, no like, no fancy bullshit. It's well, obviously they don't because it's so fucking. It's human. It's like a Carbon breathing machine. But they, they took, like they, but they took, but they took, they took him a sugar thing that was like, it's like fucking like for musicians listening to it. Like, what the fuck? How are you even counting this? I don't understand yeah, how you're. Yeah. Thing, it's like it's, it's an open it note, but it's an open thing though. But it's an open note the whole time or something. It's like, I don't feel like. When it's I my alarm Meshuggah, clock. Yeah, when I first heard Meshuggah, I was like, people are going to take this and then it turned to Gent. But like, people are going to take this and they're going to be like, all right, they're going to do something cool with this. I think this is like a cool like baseline, like a, a blueprint for a cool new style of music. I like for Meshuggah itself, like for me, it's just like, I don't really like the music so much, but I, I just don't understand. I'm like, how how do you memorize? Ugh. Like, it's well, like a, here's, it's here's like a math equation that's kind of ugly. Yeah. I think, I think, I think. There's there I guess there's a limit, right? It's not that I'm ever throwing shade. It's just that I can't get into it because like everything I look for, everything I look for, yeah, yeah. Tim hit me up with like I know the er, the earliest of Mashuga is probably the most interesting of their their thing. Dude, Hobbs. The when I was in Suffo, Hobbs 
has a tape that Meshuggah gave him as like, hey, please check out my tape. And it's the most brutal death metal shit ever. And I heard it and I was like, that is actually sick. But then they mm-hmm. went, they found their like sound and they just ride it to it's death. It's hypnotizing. Man. It's hypnotizing. It's not like an actual yeah, cell. But, like, but, but, yeah, but yeah. like it's, 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 I guess there's you, the way I make these, I make stupid bonehead analogies and I know it. I love it. I love it. And, and it's, it's so East coast of my brain. I know it. It's like, we don't watch. It's Triple like a X. fucking pizza pizza. Bro. It doesn't have any fucking. Pepperoni. We don't watch triple X for the sex scene. We watch it for the Corvette <laughs> doing a backflip off a fucking bridge. Okay. So it's like, we know what we like death metal fans. <laughs> nope. No, <laughs> no, no. But with with, with death metal, I think for me, I want explosion. I want mean. I want anger. I want veracity. I want fucking craziness. And then, when, Kevin, do you have a Spotify? I'll send it to you. The yeah. good shit. They have so yes. much bullshit. Oh, they have so much bullshit songs. Yeah, but that, that I'll send you the dope ones. You're describing the thing I don't like. Bullshit songs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they have a bunch of dog shit. Let me show them. Yeah, yeah. Dog shit. yeah just scoop the dog shit. <laughs> nah, scoop the dog shit. No, nah, but I, the, I need, shit. but I need, I need actual writ. Like, there's, you know what the, you know what kills me? I, I, I make the joke in the van. There'll be like a seven minute song of like. And then there's yeah. that one part is like boom 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 ka boom 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 ka dun 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 dun. I'm like, there's the rhythm. And you're like, you're going like this and it's time. one bar. They do one no. bar and they go right back to the other thing. I was like, just, you got me. What the fuck happens? Skip that song. Go Murray's, to the next song. Murray's <laughs> loving this. Right, Murray's this digging. I, I, I'm, he's my audience right now. No, but I, I but I, like I said, dude, like, like Tori with Carbomb was like, like it was. You want to talk about hypnotizing, like. That Animals Car Bomb tour we did was life-changing for me. And it's funny because Wes and his wife make the joke about it converting me, where I was just like, I don't know what a prog tour is going to do for us, you know? But our we're opening in a, out of a one of three, and we start with our opening track, and there's just a wall of death on its own. I was like, oh, <laughs> I know nothing about this world. Okay, I'm seeing yeah, yeah. dudes in Get the involved, pit with vital... Dog. Dude, there's people in the pit with vital Romaine hoodies just fucking clobbering. And I'm like, you were not here for us. Like, that's crazy, you know? And and I thought that was the most exciting thing. But I, I went home with this, like, refound, like, oh, like, maybe I overjudged. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Zoom, let me get this. I overjudged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what I, what I think was so sick is that, like, the car bomb dudes, they're all Long Island guys. They're all New York Long Island guys. And, and yeah. I got to learn their history and talk to them and, like, I've never met more dudes that are so like the same mindset as me, but evolved. And they're like later in their careers. And I was just like, Oh my God, this is where I'm going. <laughs> these guys yeah, yeah. know the, these, these guys know the real shit How old while are also they? playing crazy shit. How old is Carbon? They're they're uh, I, I, I don't want to speak on the history. Probably 10. Right? No, you're not probably that 10, old, yeah. right? Dude, Bro, they've been, ar- they yeah, been around. They've been around. Let's just say that. It was. Dude, they've, they've been, tor- been around. Dude, they've been playing with Gojira. They've been playing with all these fucking uh, bands and, Ke- and Kevin. Have you seen Mashuga in an in- indoor uh, building? The fuck sure are you Ian's saying to me, Pat? Me to it. Have you seen Mashuga in an inside building? No, it's funny you ask. I saw them at the Wawa. Across from fucking this really cool <laughs> fucking the Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> yeah, what, what are you that? talking about? I saw him inside. Yes, I. Uh, are you asking like? It is the heaviest shit. The first I saw them at the Hammerstein in New York with Black Dahlia again. That was. And it some... do, if, it did, if it if they didn't do it for you, you don't like them, Fuck. bro. I because... saw I saw them and it was very. All right, look, it was very cool, but. When I I don't know if it's just if you're in the in if, you guys are all part of the industry. Let's just say it. You guys have all played shows. We're all we've all toured. We've all felt the itch. If you're playing shows and you have a syncopated light show, syncopated drums, syncopated everything, and everything's just digital and just locked in for you, like yes, it's fun. Yes, that's the show. But like, there's a part of me that will always be like favoring the raw shit like for alluvial we don't play to any tracks other than like background atmospheric things nice my, that's sick actually my that's cool. fa- my favorite thing is like dude I, I left brutal death metal bands to be with this awesome fucking band 
And now, like, we are in a place where I have a guitarist that can shred his face off, a bassist that yeah. can slap the fuck out of it, and a drummer that beats the piss out of his drums. Yep. Why the fuck are we going to layer it with any garbage? Yep. I don't want any digital, any like, anything. I want it to be the no. realest fucking thing ever. No fog machines? No fog machines? Talents. Nope. Out of here! If it plugs in the fucking AC, done. Gone. You don't have no dragons <laughs> dripping out of the leaves. No. Nope. Turn off the back display. Turn that fucking no. Nah. No. Well, the cool thing is that you're, you're literally you're, you're literally touring. Like your guitar player is Tosin or a Dimebag. Fucking what's House? Or no, sorry, Tosin <laughs> House. It's Tosin, Tosin House, it's Dimebag, and then it's West. <laughs> it's, 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 no, it's, it's, it's like no, I fucked it up like, the third time. <laughs> but it's like Tosin House. It's like it's like a it's like a prog. Dime bag, like you're, you're like, dude. Like, I just want it like to be once... real. Like, like so, the thing that saying, makes like... us excited is that, 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 like, you went, you've been to a show. You, what's the coolest feeling is when you fucking like see a breakdown. Like, think about like stronger oh, than so all, East Coast, right? Think, yeah. think about yeah, yeah. But no, no. But think, but think about it. Think about the essence of. Imagine I've never seen Pantera, but imagine the essence. I've seen three times. Fuck mm. you. All right. well, so okay. here's the so essence. Talk to me you you, you walk into Pantera. the venue, you're like, I'm going to see this band I've been listening to a bunch. And then they play yeah. Stronger Than All. Then they go, da, 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 da. What a wet, what a You're just like, what the fuck is going to happen? And you're like, this is insanity. Like the fact yeah, yeah. that they're not following a grid, they're not doing this. Like, Yes, we follow click because we live in different fucking states. We don't get to hey, rehearse. Why, why do you think podcast? that riff is the heaviest riff? If you think it's like if his distortion was a little less gnarly or the do you still think it would be the sickest riff ever? Um, dude, like, that sickest riff because, ever is hard. I think it's number one. I think, but there's so many. Or not though. sick, not sick, not sickest riff. Sorry. Like then you have Heavy, slaughtered he heaviest riff, and then you have, and then you have suicide note. And then you have like, there's so many though. But that you think that's the heavy one? I think it's heaviest riff of all time. I feel, but I I, I want to agree with you, but at the same time, I, don't. I get mad. <laughs> I, no, no, but I get mad at myself for agreeing. There's two people in here going, mm -mm, I don't know, I don't know. Well, what about no, this one? Uh, this is the thing, and for everybody listening, when you get Pat Kenny in a metal conversation. I know you're fucked. The heaviest. Yeah, we rip. ain't no fucking pantards. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Be be <laughs> the, the domination <laughs> breakdown is heavier than any stuff. Over. No, I didn't say domination. Listen. Fuck you. I literally said that rim. If we, if I get more long hours <laughs> than me, it's gonna rip. be trouble. Dude, I went to a fucking all day punk fest, and this is how you know this is the heaviest rip. Between every song, that rip, it's all day punk fest, and yeah. between every song, they were like, "Okay, thank you." I just heard da 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 da. Yeah, I but like, like I, we for that and it never happened. Yeah, I want to agree. I do want to agree. I want to. I want Anthony's to. gonna say it's some obscure fucking Korean band that has the sickest riff ever. <laughs> Actually, it's Amputated <laughs> Generals from Columbia. Yeah. They have this yeah. one riff that's like, like well, fuck you, dude. Right they wrote no. it up like, <laughs> no, 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 he no. put, dude, he takes his uh, detergent uh, powder, puts it in the microwave. Oh my god, shit, <laughs> start popping. That's the riff I want. My reference. Chat, what's the heaviest fucking breakdown? I need to know, like. Cause that's like an obviously that's like a childhood one, like knowing like a Pantera one or something or something like, like easy like that. Like that's uh, no offense, Pat. Easy because what's the one we first Fuck fucking that. heard that when we were a kid? <laughs> well, well, we no, it can, it's gonna be it's gonna be E Town Concrete. Whoa, okay. let's go. Suffocation. The dude, Take suffocation. Both of the bandables of the bath that shows that like the incredibles. I'm rolling like an animal. Dude, I fucking love E Town, dude. Don't even get me started. I do too. I do too. Dude, I, I do all right. Too. So, so look, look. Suffo's got the heaviest, probably. I, dude, for death metal, for death metal. Overall, no, I don't, don't say that. Don't say death. So overall, fuck you. I, you didn't say death metal for me. <laughs> overall, no. no you just, I'm you just, just. I'm overall. saying overall. I, I'm. I'm still in the overall. Like, like it feels heavier. I think. Yeah. I think there's some crazy things out there. But I do Death agree. Probably the new, the new fucking what's the Lorna Shore breakdown? Oh, oh, no, 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 That's a different. Oh, we're talking different. riffs. We're talking riffs. That's the heaviest like breakdown Ooh. of like for hey, a hey, breakdown. Hey, hey, Joel. Hey, Joel. Can, hey, Joel. Can never you heard. Hum me He's the, never, Joel, never even heard of Lorna Shore. Joel. Joel. Can you, Joel. Yeah, just, Joel. Can you yeah. hum me the riff? Which one? The one you just said. Lorna Shore. The one you're referencing. Yeah, because then that would be the heaviest riff. Hold on. 
This is already too long. You gotta take out the keyboards, take out the screamer. Yeah, it's, it's like a dumb Wait, fucking East Coast rap. I know, I know it's a dumb East Coast rap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now you're, yeah, making, yeah, now you're yeah, making it hear. coastal. It's just the riff, Joel. Oh, just show us the riff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's, 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 he's attacking me in that. Of, of Joel Harness. No, I'm saying a deathcore, heaviest deathcore is what I just said. I said it's Lorna no. Shore. No. Probably the new Lorna Shore I one. I know no, it's popular I still and you guys can't do it. You guys don't do old school. First of all, Joel, you said I'm saying that it's probably the heaviest one I've heard. But you're well, no, I changed cool. around. You can do it for it. The de- <laughs> All right, now you're, now you're fucking. Around. You know what you're doing. No, oh, Pat doesn't God. have headphones in, so he's not hearing the conversation. He does have headphones in. Look at him. Yes, I do. Joel's oh, hammered the nice right now. I, AirPod, the most AirPods. expensive no. headphones you could possibly own, dude. I have. <laughs> well, I'll hear you. And I keep washing them. But um, <laughs> no, I mean, for overall, they're in the washing machine just, right now, dude. Break, Listen to me break when downs, I come back. Breakdowns right, are not. Riff came from. <laughs> so, you think breakdowns. So breakdowns are not death metal. So let's get right, that dude. straight. You're, are fucking not making, you're making me so upset, dude. Weren't you into Crippin' Birth? Don't yeah. you know what a breakdown is? Yeah, I know, Joel. What are you talking about? What are you saying? Like, I poisoned the. He just said Lorna Short has the best breakdown ever. I mean, the heaviest one I've heard with like 808 drops and all kinds of fucking of all time, of production and bullshit and shit. No, and I was stop, like, stop. okay. Oh, all right, all right. So you're doing too much. You're doing yeah, too, he's much, too much, Joel. Joel's opinions are under the influence. I have to you're, yell over you're, Pat. Yeah. I have to yell over you, Pat. So I'm you, trying you're to. You're half I running. Said Pantera, okay? <laughs> uh, Pantera is still a goat. You know what I mean? You guys could be stranded on an island for 20 years and in your fucking head, you're still going to hear Pantera. Okay. That wasn't the question. Uh, I already have no idea what you're saying. That was the question, dog. No, no, no. If right, that was right. the question, no. then that would be way something like more memorable, something that I've grown up with from like I, a fucking uh, nostalgia if thing. If you got to get in the, the heavy... deathcore police here, I think I yeah. still think the early 2000s has a beat, no matter what. No matter what you yeah. touch. Like, Ion Dissonance, Despise Icon, Whitechapel, yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, even Oceano, bro. They, they, they're they fucking nuts. Like, they, they had that really one song on called The Taken. The, I ne- they had that I think that's the song I'm thinking of. It's like it's just a fetus song. It, you know what I mean? Like it's just like sex, 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 just brutal. Fetus, God, that's probably got the. All right, yeah, fetus, do fetus in their old booklet yeah. of not uh, what record was it? Pure it was killing. Uh, it was one of them. It said like Baltimore Deathcore in the booklet. That was before it was a fucking thing. It was before it was a a a a a, a, a tree of bullshit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like before it became choirs and everything else it's just it was just raw like hardcore and death metal fused together you know fetus was repping that shit and then they're like oh no you guys took that never mind we're back to death metal. Oh, fetus fetus was a crazy thing core. for me because it, uh, like, like, they're the g's of it dude that yeah, that, this, that is the sound was created the the bad the the bad 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 the uh, that the band is Cannibal Corpse, but that makes me so sad. That's how is, I actually tell people are too is, young for me. There is this one thing that has happened multiple times with people, and I don't know where they get the reference, but they're like, "Is that that kill your mama, rape your dog shit?" Yeah, isn't that crazy? Multiple people say like, "Kill your mama, kill your dog, rape your dog, rape your." Well, mama, hold on, let's argue. Did it? Did that phrase come first? Is that why I Fetus wrote the that's song? Wanna, that's uh, kind of where I'm, I'm yeah. opening this uh, up. Do you think? Do you think they're happening. embarrassed about it? No, was, fuck no, dude. That, that made, song is so sick. Did the fact that they, a, they're talking shit? Song, they're the shit talking Fred Durst in that song. Do you realize how sick that is? The first thing that Pat came on. And, like talked about was like dude this guy fucked a dog like well like, that's, a, that's like you already started off with the rape your dog part yeah, yeah. No, but that I'm guy's saying, in like, that guy's in prison outside, dude <laughs> of what? i'm sure he's embarrassed <laughs> <laughs> what are you in here for he's like well <laughs> and now i want to talk about it yeah. so it must it may have been like a saying before all this i think it is i think that is yeah, yeah. it's it's, it's you like know? your aunts and uncles going what, what are you like that stuff what are you gonna have topic? Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I can see that. No, I, that's it's definitely kind of no extreme. All right, listen. It's let's just extreme. think about it for Look, real. I'm you think your aunts and it. uncles heard dying fetus? They go, ah, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna bring that right. up to my no, nephew. Uh, very good point. <laughs> you say we we as if you're a death metal head, you forget when you say dying fetus. Like you yeah. say, like they're already out. We're going to who are you saying? Dying fetus. <laughs> and like I just remember still like yeah, bro like yeah. like you don't forget and then like my brother just toured with on the marquee it says 
dying fetus <laughs> aborted <Yeah>. suicide <laughs> silence uh, yeah, yeah, I just yeah, couldn't yeah, imagine yeah. being an old lady walking your little Yorkie yeah. Yeah. Like, oh my god yeah. Yeah. like what is is this a, a, a and a you know what, what the what the topper off of all that is is the old lady with her Yorkie walking into that club she would have been welcomed by every single person that walked oh, into totally. that place she, yeah, but she would have put a bullet in her head after the first band started. Five minutes. Ah! Like, this lady's here with her Yorkie, and you're about to experience what we have a blast doing every time we come out and do this thing. <laughs> of course, I'm going to buy you a drink. What do you drink? A vodka Collins lady? What do you drink? <laughs> you know? I mean, I feel like I do feel like death metal in general and like all kinds of like extreme metal, like they have the chillest fans because they get their fucking, they have a, they found a way to get their fucking piss shit out. They're like, they're their piss, piss shit, shit out. Dude, dude <laughs> like, I, I, they, they, they found a way to get like, they're, they're, they're like angry about stuff. They're like, oh, angry music. Oh, it's cool. And then like everyone's like, oh, what's up, dude? How's it going? Everyone's like, gets that fucking anger out and everyone's chill. Yeah, I gotta like, get this out. Yeah, because there's no, there's no, there's no girls there for guys to argue about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Right, right, exactly. yeah, I, know. <laughs> I made a point. statement. Uh, I made a statement that they were talking about Limp Bizkit in their song, and I lied. Ooh. I thought, dude, forever. I thought the lyric was "fuck your Fred Durst and fuck your fucking Pearl, Pearl Jam." It's "fuck your Spice Girls and fuck your fucking Pearl Jam." <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> He's dude. He talks I was about. Pretty close. In that song, all right. So the the lyrics, can I can I read them out loud for Let's everyone? Hear him, dude. Dude. It's it's like like not a lot of lyrics. Kill your mother, rape your dog, fuck the corporations and their fucking record stores. I don't want a f my fucking paycheck feeding money whores. These bastards flood the market with their fabricated shit and laugh as as this pathetic fuck gets them rich. Stay the fuck right out of my life. I don't need your fucking advice. You don't know what our shit is about. You, so don't even try to figure it out. Fuck your Spice Girls. Fuck your fucking Pearl Jam. I know that. that thing, 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 thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's all bullshit. I say fuck it. Fuck your Dave Matthews and fuck your REM. Fuck you, goddamn bitch. Fucking clueless. Dun, 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 and that's it. That's the whole song. Dude. That's, that's it's so genius. Just bro. an instant clap. Yeah. He, he, yeah. Like, look, the, everything how... he's talking about is irrelevant now. Isn't that is a dated my piece? business right now? Like, god damn it. Not me. Sorry. End that shit up. This is your business now. What year was, what year was that song? Bro, that was... Let's like, find Killing on Adrenaline, which is 98. Damn. 90 fucking 8. In, nope. how about this? It's 2023. Oops. What was Kevin Mullen doing in five doing years? Year? In five years, that'll be 20 years old. What were you doing Wait, in 98? No, I'm, I'm 30 years old. 30 years old. What was I doing in 98? I was Getting playing. Some 41 in your fucking, I was playing uh, backyard <laughs> baseball on my mom's computer. Ooh. <laughs> dude, your mom sounds so rad, dude. I want to be your mom. Nah, that's my dad's whoa, computer. I made that whoa. up. What's a... Well, he's she, dude. Her, his mom <laughs> put Black Sabbath in the fucking stock. I mean, listen. Yeah. Listen. yeah. It's 25 years old. Yeah, sick. I'm sorry. I said I, I meant to say 30. It'll be 30. What about the breakdown in Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, and like? I mean, dude, there's different kinds of breakdowns though. There's that, like that, the that heavy, the like the, there's like ignorant, like, dumb, slow bass ones, and there's like. I don't like Jenny, the way you say Jenny, dumb. Jenny, Jenny. Oh, I call them dumb. I don't like the way you say dumb, dude. Like I don't dumb. like it. You put this fucking, fucking like, yeah, those dumb. are garbage. But this one is like actually okay. very dumb. Okay, no, they're about, dumb. Okay, is it a no dumb? Okay, in 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 that first decrepit birth record, that song. Oh, the one that I recorded on. Yeah, yeah. Is that not Sounds which one did you record on? Is that a dumb breakdown? What did the which one? So the first. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, but that would but be I wouldn't considered. Back, uh, then, back then they didn't call it breakdown. Back then they didn't call it breakdown. We 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 took that later, and it's like, oh, now it's a breakdown because of this whole hardcore oh, deathcore stop. movement. I swear to God, they didn't call it Dude, a breakdown. They were they you're from my generation. You like new metal. They called them slam yeah, parts without help. the slam genre. They called them fucking hooligans. They called it fucking like oh, they're, they're, they're so they called it they're a Tom heavy part. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, listen, I, I'm part. with you. I'm with you, bro. I'm with breakdown you. Was later. Heavy part, man. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, fucking that, breakdowns. Breakdowns is like a new dude, school, like fucking no, hardcore. But, uh, no, no, no. A breakdown was traditionally a part in a song where it slows down. That's where the yeah, word yeah. came yeah, from. Yeah. Let's just Definitely. get that solid. It, it, it was not invented part, by yeah. some but, child. But in the scene, they weren't calling it that. They weren't like, oh, here's the breakdown. Breakdowns were like 2005. 
Yeah, I, I, like, well, break down. Down. Yeah, I, he's going off. He's, he's, I don't know he, what the fuck he's talking about. Bill is in his ear going, that's not what we called it back then, dude. We <laughs> had, they didn't call it that. They didn't call it that. They were in the forest. A case when, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you listen to Black Sabbath your whole life and then you make decrepit birth, everything's just a heavy part. It's just heavier. It, it's not down a breakdown at 260. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know? That's too slow, dude. No, now it's a breakdown. But, but back then, it wasn't a breakdown. We didn't this call it a breakdown. This is what I came here for, bro. This is what I came no, for, dude. No, no, no. Condemned to nothingness is the shit. That's my fucking... We should change that's the, my song. So when I can go pee... Can, wait, wait. Casey knows what a breakdown is. When, when I go pee, uh, I can hear you guys still. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny that I... Oh, the audio was really and, and, and then we started this conversation. And, and I was like, wait, I remember. Kevin had that same position over 100 episodes ago about... Why are you guys so tech, dude? Why don't you fucking... <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I got another. I got Pat over here, like double teaming me, like a fucking. I'm some fucking. Listen, man. A hot dog. First of all, a, you said that decrepit part wasn't a breakdown. That is the heaviest. It's, one of the heaviest it's stupid to say that out loud. It's just don't. I I hope that's you, not, like, you guys are, like, you guys are hey, so dumb. Slow. Hey, Joel. The dumbest people I know. <laughs> hey, Joel, the dumbest people I've ever met. Your fucking head is a Cali Death logo. Yeah. Can you tell me right now you ain't got no fucking breakdown. Is that what you well, said so out loud? So, so, no, I'm saying in like ten years Our they called a flipper flap. Then right we have a flipper flap right there. Like oh, they're they flipper flap. <laughs> Thank you so much Casey, for having me. Casey literally just said <laughs> that Black Sabbath, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, may be the heaviest breakdown of all time. Is that fucking yeah? Using you, yeah. I mean, you were saying that a flapper flap. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm saying we didn't call it that back then because you guys. Use your goddamn right, ears bro. from the West Coast to the East Coast. I bet you break down. You guys right, use your goddamn ears. We weren't like, what's the do you wanna, breakdown? Do you, we right, could do right there. We you want, do want? All right, Joel. What do you want from this life? Yeah. What do you want? Well, yeah, do you what, want to be happy? Do want, or do you, you want, want to be sad? Gang banged by a bunch of fucking loudmouth fucking East Coast to West Coast pieces of shit. <laughs> Come on, uh, buddy. Uh, yeah, all the ghosts. All the ghosts. Meet him in the middle of the country. Joel will yeah. be sitting there. Get over here. Waiting for all that. <laughs> no. we, didn't, we just didn't call it that. We weren't like, who's the break? That's fine, the, dude. Like, I can, but like, well, he's, not the hardcore people. he's not the understanding the hardcore that I can hit him with the same conversation from Hobbs. You don't think Hobbs is not in my ear going, that's not a fucking breakdown. This was fucking what we used to. Like, I heard it I all, think, bro. Like, what are you talking about? Thank you. Like, thank you. I understand right. what you're saying. I stand, but with, I stand speak, with Hobbs. I stand but, with Hobbs. All right. So, but I'm saying, speak from your. How old are you, Joe? How old are you, Joe? I'm 92, dude. Huh? I'm a 38. 30, you're not you're not 38. He's a 48 year old woman that's never heard that battle. How old are you? For real? I'm 40. 38. I, I turned. Are you uh, actually 38? 30, 39 in fucking uh, two weeks. Okay, yeah. Casey. What is the? What Don't is, tell what my parents for, I'm drinking with you to guys. Someone, to someone Christ. that is so goddamn good at music, <laughs> Casey. Can you tell Joel what a breakdown is? Oh my god, this is boring. This is so <laughs> boring. Kind of boring. It's the most uh, boring conversation I've ever had in my well, life. I don't even kiss oh these god. It's like no, calling a shit a dump. Wait, why you, you know what? This, this, is why, this is why death metal not, never got off the ground. Because guys don't want to call it a breakdown. They want to call <laughs> yeah. it a... We call it a toppy loppy fucking... Yeah. What are you no, talking about? Hey, what are we doing? That's what I was saying no. earlier. It's like it's calling a shit a dump. I wonder why no one likes this genre anymore. I wanted to call it a toppy loppy, and these guys want to call it a breakdown. I want to understand this here. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's I a, never, it, I never did it, call it. Fuck it, Joel. Shut up, <laughs> Casey. Go. A breakdown. It's you could really be calling it like a reduced tempo halftime section. Sucks. Know. Nerdy. <laughs> hate it. No kids gonna get into that. Exactly. <laughs> no, but no, no. I'm not. I'm not just saying. I'm. I'm literally saying it's so, like that is the math music of it. Well, so. But, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude. So dude. Like, All right, so when, I want you to get to the reduced it. tempo breakdown. Or wait, no, reduced tempo halftime part, dude, right here. Sure. Or just break it down. Bro, hold on. Let's talk about something for real. Yeah, dude, stop it. Listen to this reduced No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, need, I, I need yeah. something very quickly to be said. I had to resist. What is the intro to this podcast? What is that music that plays? Exactly. This is West Coast. Our... This is a West Coast guy that uh, <laughs> plays guitar. He put in West Coast on purpose, and I, okay, so. I know what he's doing. <laughs> But it's an East Coast it's, template. Chris B. Okay? He, he, he plays it. He plays in the Zenith Passage right now. He's playing the guitar in Zenith. He's a right, dreamer. But what is it? 
Is it just an instrumental? Like he made it. He for just the podcast? wrote it. He, it he wrote it. He was like, Hard. "Fuck yeah, I'm so yeah." Hard. Joseph's like out of Joseph's band. He was like, "All right, I'll write you a fucking thing." I wrote it immediately and just Hard. fucking. That's what he came up with. I'm Hard. Like, yeah. It's guys, fucking he's hard. A freak of nature. He's a freak. And I was, I was trying to like not like I was like I want to say something about it, but you're doing an intro, and I want to fucking be like, yeah, fucking. And, but it was, <laughs> it's. But that is the shit, Joel. Do you think that's a breakdown or no? <laughs> what part? There's like half nine different parts. The whole parts fucking it. thing is no, uh, the, not the part where they reduce it half, 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 and then that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it play. Let it play for context. Let it get yeah, it going. Yeah, play it all it's, 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 it's a build up and then a do breakdown. It. Yeah. Let's do it. Not a breakdown. Right. Oh, it was, it was just yeah, about to why hit. When the fucking when the half step to yeah, step it was funny time. Dang, 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 and doing that tour with them on the very, very, very last day in Pittsburgh, they sound checked with Soil and Seed, and I was just moshing by myself, like yeah. on whoever's doing merch, like flipping their table and fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, dude, it, it, like he posted this video with the Kemper pack of his shit from that album, and uh, I just remember it being like, dude, that that's it. it, it that's the heavy shit. And he does that fum 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 fum, but the kicks are flying, but the hot hats are hot halftime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sang, 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 sang. And he, and he's literally in his com. I commented saying like, "This is the beef." And he's like, "I uh, I gotta give it up for decrepit birth for doing this the fast breakdowns. Like they were the ones that did the fast." Double time breakdowns with the, with, the du- with the double bass going fast though. It's not like what Casey's definition was. You have the double bass going and so you're talking like guitar are breakdown. The, the drums are oh, so they were doing a breakdown, Joel. Is that what they were doing? Oh, the, the guitars were, not the drums. Okay. Was that what it was? Hold on, hold on. I was uh, I was they, everyone else. Got it. <laughs> the drummer of the like that was all like like that all came from fucking. Uh, you know, despise the sun that came yeah. from Morbid Angel. Too. Oh, dude, despise like, the sun. Morbid Angel. Yeah, yeah. I'll say the yeah, the I'm first. Like, your mic's really quiet, Casey. Yeah, your mic is kind of quiet, Casey. Is it quiet? Yeah, it's yeah. because you guys yeah, talk yeah, over him. Yeah. No, he's, <laughs> you're, you're you're really it's because he's talking him. about breakdowns all of a sudden. His mic's too low. <laughs> I think everybody's talking <laughs> over everybody. All of a sudden, hold on, my ears are not working. What the fuck is this shit? You sure? Should I turn it? Is that better? Oh, yeah. I hear him fine. Yeah. Now I hear him. I now I actually hear him. Hey, Joel, dude. Okay. Fucking. <laughs> See, <laughs> talk to <over> kiss. <laughs> That's why I couldn't get in. My mic was allowed. When Shout we, out to uh... this show, The Scourge from Baltimore. I don't. Yeah, oh, yeah. fuck yeah. When we, uh, when we speak Riffanese. Ooh. shout out to yeah, dallas yeah. for calling it riffanese and i love that. Riffanese is such a sick word for it. Oh, yeah. Riffanese? Um, East Coast, you guys. Your first syllable is different. We usually go with a like a gen. gen or a duh. You guys zan. That's I'm like zang 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 zang. Yeah, yeah. 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 You yeah, 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 yeah. It's the it's, you gotta get the pitch. Gen, 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 yeah, but like it's the heavy part. The gen 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 gen. Gen is for me. For me, it's flump 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 flump. <laughs> you want the wolf of the mesas just fucking yeah, that's <laughs> Jean, Doug. Jean, oh, Jean. Jean is too zh, <laughs> and then in that zh frequency you got there we go chin guy all right I'm a, I, hey, hey anyone from my chat say the word right now get it going spam it you know the word there's a get there's a word i have for those there. sounds is it get it going sa, 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 no it's sa, hard sa. it's sharp it's a word that i use i need i need my real I'm ones to step up on this now. one I'm that is weirdly word. true no it's how... not ush it's not ush ush is a different word all right i see gang. one oh gang 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 
Gank is my favorite word. Gank, 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 I don't gank, prefer gank, the gank term. And then what would be the West? What's yeah, the West Coast? That. What's the West Coast word? Like my more scoop, like you said. What's the West Coast word? Yeah. 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 Gank is fucking bang. It's a stab. It's a fucking boom. The guess is gonna be a nightmare to listen to. So I, the the way I use it is like uh, the band I have to give the biggest oh, shout out to Pat Pat you're gonna you're gonna identify with this right away me and your brother what's our favorite band you and my brother yeah oh uh, Danny's negative or some shit yeah oh Anthony thank you but Danny's been listening a really weak <laughs> uh, not lately but overall uh, what's his favorite Power death Man? metal band Deeds of Flesh mm, all right all right second favorite it's Gorgasm oh yeah Gorgasm yeah. Why did? Why yeah, does he but, know it and you don't know it? What, what's the matter? You know, I mean, it. I guess he's. You know, we're close to blood too. Danny only likes one Gorgasm record. Yeah, ble- yeah he, he likes bleeding. He likes, he likes uh, bleeding a lot, and I don't like anything enough. else. Crazy, I don't yeah. agree that that's the one. I, I'm like, I'm like. So that's where that's where you guys don't click. I love oh. when he, dude. My favorite drunk text from him ever is that like. All right, if you had to pick one, Discord or fucking, and like he'll, he'll give me and two bands, say, and, then, and then he'll say you're wrong. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If if I entertain him, he'll be like, all right, I'll stay up. I'll do another one. Skinless yeah. or or <laughs> he'll do a thing. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, one more question. I want to see my Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gorgasm and, and, and veracity. Which one would you? Which one would you choose? <laughs> Gorgasm for sure. Bro. Yeah, me too, dude. I, 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 but but in veracity's got. Uh, they veracity. got. They got. What's the fucking album? Uh, uh, perversion of whatever. What the fucking going on. Dude, the reason why everybody, I mean, the reason yeah. why anybody would, would choose or you're talking about like, bleeding, bleeding oh, you're talking is about just inter- nostalgia. Uh, uh, my favorite, oh, but I, I'm not, intercourse, Anthony, I, dude, my favorite <laughs> Gorgasm record is Orgy of Murder. That's my it's favorite. It's actually a really good album, dude. The production, every song, every song, I, the way I talk about it on my stream, whenever What's I get orgy drunk, of murder? Orgy of, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Doesn't hold even on. make sense. Sounds adorable. I just texted Damien. Sounds recently. like your party I coming up, Joel. I, I got I texted Damien recently because I had a random dream. I was double dating with my wife and his, him and his wife, and I've never even met his wife in person. Look at the artwork, I, bro. Isn't so that crazy? Beautiful. How social media will just like so put people in your dreams. Yeah, that's so Jesus. great, bro. I wear is this the, with is pride. Is it just like a? Oh, yeah, see yeah. The, show it again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's oh, an yeah, orgy dude. of murder. And on the wall, just so you know, on the wall is a bunch of masks of skeletons, like faces and shit that's been peeled off of other people. And dude. it's the best. Uh, it's, it's, I say this a lot where it's my favorite death metal. Why do record. I have a boner? Yeah, um, dude, you should. It, that's well, what it does. Gorgasm, Gorgasm shirts, the, the actual artwork shirts, you're really making a statement but the the, the thing yeah, is all right hector in chat the hang em and bang em shirt <laughs> i had the gore, gore tory hang em and bang em shirt dude. i yeah, wish so i had that actually uh the first time i ever <laughs> performed at the pound with carnivorous they're gonna say sexually friendly. okay yeah, the first time I performed sexually, I was wearing a hang 'em and bang 'em shirt. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying, bro. Hold on, keep yeah. going. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going harder. <laughs> nah, it was uh, Goratory, and they they it was so funny because they're like Boston Red Sox fans. You have the zip up, Jedi. Hang 'em and bang 'em. Another reprint. Baseball term, guys. I yeah, know I know, you know, but like, come on. No, nah, that's not, not as fucking cool. Yeah, it dude. works with death metal too. But come I know on. Yes, it's, yes, it's yes. not a breakdown. It's, it's a half time. It's reduced, a niche. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't go sense and sense on the hi hat, bro. That album, that album. Hector in chat said it best. He that my my whole energy when I listen to that record is, and it's just all it says when the song ends is "fuck you." Next song, and they go. Orgy of Murder from Gorgasm. Yeah, it's, it's what, that's the album. What's the album? No, no, no. It's called Orgy of Murder. But every no, song, which album? What are you asking me anymore? It's Gorgasm. Gorgasm's bro. Orgy of Murder. That's the album. I never heard it. You You're fucking lying, bro. Get get past. You're trying to piss me off. What's <laughs> that? I don't know. I just found that? That, right up. Is that no. fucking <laughs> Hamlet? Like what? what there might it? be too many. There's breakdowns or something. Oh, <laughs> so get rid of it. It's yeah, we yeah, want yeah, we yeah. want flibberflops. That's what oh, we want. Dude, 
Oh, that's the that's the last album, right? That's no. This is my favorite record of theirs, and it didn't oh, right, right. But that I album art is it. is that different physical versus digital? I don't know, but it's in this uh, jazz album, dudes. Uh, case. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who's listening who just wants the quick backstory, uh, Dan Kenny, Suicide Silence. He used to be in Carnivorous with me, who we met Joel and Casey and all these dudes through that band. So the reason why I'm involved in all these bands is because of Carnivorous and these dudes in Pacifica. So isn't that the sickest thing to say yeah. out loud? Oh yeah. It's, it's so cool, dude. Like what and, life path could you choose that you could say things like that? Like, yeah, because I met these dudes, I played really cool metal and yeah. now I know the sickest yeah, yeah. dudes I know yeah no i know that's it's definitely been like the path like when you're younger and stuff you're just playing shows you're like excited to play shows then you meet these people and you're like oh 20 years later we're still hanging out and having a good time you know it's like that that is, is, you know yeah anthony did i meet vince first or did you meet no i met vince you're, first and then yeah yeah you guys were doing your own little thing so i'm then, the most important person you, <laughs> you and my you and, him, <laughs> you and my brother are definitely uh one of the main reasons why me and your brother met and became best friends, dude. Oh. And it was our bond. It was me and Vince's bond. I over used to come and slip guys play in the living room of your drummer at the time. I used to sit there and watch you guys play while I was doing my shit in high school and just loving watching you guys get the same vibe, feel the same feeling, you know, it, there's no sexual. other feeling like there's yeah it was totally sexual dude we all got naked <laughs> i mean me being it came it like the same and i was used to it because i was, to it cause I was in the boys count feel, feel the vibe <laughs> <laughs> don't stop no but it was a big deal back end back end back end, back end. <laughs> I, was, I was just trying to i was just trying <laughs> to get yeah, that fog going on being the big Fog's brother big here yeah. of like that type of deal you you, you get to watch these guys catch that same vibe, dude. We're all catch. Move on from your joke, gentlemen. <laughs> no, no, we're having a, no, we're go having move a on quiet to the joke. Anyone listening to the podcast should watch the podcast. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just let's get that out of the way. <laughs> yeah. No. I was in the Boy Scouts, and then to hear about how I felt as like, you know, I can. Is it contemporary or just like a? a I don't know. I I felt like I was. One Anthony, your... you need to get drunk tonight, man. You got. Stoned. Are you just are you just smoking yourself up? I am just. No, like, he's high as fuck, and he didn't drink time, tonight. Dude. I remember when I was talking to Kev on the, uh, his uh, stream. He's all, dude, let's have a fucking drunk podcast. Let's get drunk as fuck. And I didn't tell Anthony about it. And he's just like he's sitting there, like Joe, the, what the right fuck, before man? we start. Why'd you not tell? He's all like hitting the thing. He's all, "What's up, dude?" And we're just hammered. And he's like, and then, and "You know, what? Anthony's gonna go. Hey, can you, hey, can you rewind? Remember when when Dying Fetus wrote that lyric about <laughs> not lying or not liking Dave <laughs> Matthews band? That actually I really bothers me. Let, let's clip it. Let's clip that. <laughs> let's clip that Dave Matthews part." <laughs> hey, the song "Satellite" is actually a pretty good song. Guys. Uh, what from POD? <laughs> you know, there's, a, there's actually. That's actually might have the best breakdown in it, dude. <laughs> from who? He's from who? Bro. Fetus? Dave. Dave Matthews. Dave dude. Matthews. Man. Oh, so I don't. I'm, that, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm I don't really talk yeah, about fetus I, right now. One thing about Dave Matthews, I know he's really talented, but I just never heard a song where I was like, I, I could see them playing the chords. I'm like, fuck, I'm never playing those fucking. Yeah, my chords. mom never showed me those stupid songs. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up hard. <laughs> it's just like it's like. Watching him, like as you get older, you're like oh wow, he's playing like hard. Wow, like, he's still bald. That's cynical. crazy. Let's go. Let's so fucking play. Death Actually, metal. what's funny about them is uh, <laughs> my buddy was like, my buddy was like, dude, Dave Matthews is like, they're sick, dude. Check out this like, and there was like a home video, and they're like fucking, they were like getting hammered and like fighting each other and shit. And I'm like, all I right, love that. Dave Matthews is <laughs> sick. cool as fuck, dude. They're sick. <laughs> cool, like, right? Like. Dave Matthews is actually fucking hilarious, dude. He was like fucking the star of that video. Like it's so getting, weird you're like, bringing him up, chugging beer and like smacking <laughs> like people in the face and shit, and like everyone's laughing. And I'm like, dude, this yeah, that's fucking... that's a Dave Smack you, dude. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> nice, Pat. 
Yeah. Real good. Anyway, this is our friend Pat, everyone. Warm applause. Yeah. Get him out of here. <laughs> this is my little brother. He's really I was very like, oh, wait, no. He, I hope he didn't leave. <laughs> <laughs> if he had the it's timing already, to just be like just leave right there it'd be like that'd be the funniest fucking exit but that's that would be fucking, that would that would stun fast... me i'd have to call him after this be like i, I hope you're okay you'd dude. have to like do you're some okay. fucking reconnaissance uh, reconnaissance dude that's too many words for this stream dude it, it's, too many syllables in one word yeah, reco right there, reconnaissance four are you out of your mind anthony i haven't smoked are we writing a, a song and a half, dude and why <laughs> <laughs> This Why? is just like a conversation just to ever try it to see if I can start spelling bigger words than, than <laughs> oh, five letters. Because you're newer dad, newer dad, Dan. newer dad. Dude. You're a newer. Yeah, he's dad. a newer. Dude, dad. You're a newer. I can't dad even. Than he is. Hold on, I have to get into this for like ten. I have to get this out of my. System. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, the you, you room that, that I was supposed to live in is now your child. I'm building <laughs> another one later, bro. You're out. Oh, am I coming? Another in? one. <laughs> I'm building a detached room. That's mine. That's the one. You with an outdoor heat. shower. Yeah. Yeah, outdoor dude. Shower. I'm down. That's what's up, dude. Cameras with cameras I'm on the shower. so down. Can, Don't even walk to Pat's house, dude. I could watch you shower in the morning. <sighs> dude, my, dude. dude, my backyard is so pimp right now, dude. Dude, I, dude I know, I you, 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 you've been sending me pictures. Like, you and your brother. If I... If I ever mention to your brother anything about you, he's like, oh, he's busy right now. And he'll send me a picture of you like like half shirtless, like fucking like just with just beams of wood and tile all scattered. And he's like, oh, he's doing the bathroom right now. That was a while ago, I'm saying. But that bathroom yeah, you know, probably looks know, immaculate yeah, right now. You know what Danny Lobatz is doing, dude? Nothing, dude. Danny what? I call him Danny Lobatz. Low battery. <laughs> low bounce. I like I like that a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna Danny hit him with that. That's his wrestling name, dude. He's even Danny Lobats. He's like he does this. He just tries to he's he like, tries to just... flex, but he's like, dude, that would be so funny if he put them like, in like a thing, and he's like, oh, I'm just so tired. Uh, <laughs> uh, God, so dude, a bunch of hunks, so... bunch of hunks flexing around that, me right though, now. Dude. There's uh. There's a, a universe where Kev moved to the Bay Area. Bro. And, that was going to happen. Yeah. That was going to happen, right? That was dude, actual it, plan that was in the works. Dude, it hasn't fucking left. Man. It's not going to help when Joel says there's no breakdowns in the California. Yeah, <laughs> the more you talk shit, I'm I'm I'm, I'm yeah. stay here, dude. There's plenty he of had, had had shows you can check out. Yeah. Go, Casey, no, Casey <laughs> said there's breakdowns, and he's like, actually, it's <laughs> halftime. Uh, <laughs> it's flop of one. Like, I don't know what he's what doing. What the fuck? What do you even call them again? Jersey, all right white oi jersey like i'm just talking about like actual <laughs> rip <-downs. laughs> okay piss danny lobats i like i like oh, that one a lot yeah, yeah. Danny, danny lobat dude the best name ever it, it makes you think it, it's like it sounds like a look like like lobax it's like lobax it's like i don't know if it's i don't know if it's polish i don't know if it's like there's something in it like, like lovax slow uh, it's uh, slovic it's like it's got a thing to it's it it's definitely slow Vic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's low bass. You put a, you put three dude. shots of fucking vodka in him. He's like, yeah. dude, low bass. Where bro. do I live? <laughs> yeah, low bass. Where is dude. he right Danny now, Lobat. dude? We should add him to the call. Oh, I already dude, hit him yesterday. Up. He played with ice. Cube you hit him up and, and he said no. No, I no. I hit him up like twenty minutes ago and hasn't responded. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I love I love DK, but he should step up. He'll he'll he's he'll find kid. out that he, he didn't show really up. He's scared to come on again, dude. I think he's in a he's like about to play a festival or something with like fucking Pantera and shit. Or yeah, that probably, it, was all, it was on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Oh Wednesday. This is normal yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, play Pantera. Some ice Joe ice Schmo cube. fucking small club. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like in <laughs> Colombia. He's like, I'm playing fucking whatever, dude. Cancer calls. I got low bat. 13,000 people, dude. Low bat. You got low bat. Yeah. <laughs> no one knows him as Danny Lobax. Although, otherwise, it, it'd be a different story. It's low, it's low bat. It's not low back. I'm going to keep calling him low back. I want I want him to get upset. He's going to defend the name I gave him. It's low back. He hated he's low back. But I'm going to say, like, Danny low back. Because you bend over way. real easy. He's like, no, no, it's fucking low back. It's because I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Uh, Danny know. told me, Danny told me, if, if tonight, please don't make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Danny, 
it's, it's oh, never not I have so happen. much material. I'm not making. There's no making fun. It's making. It's 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 inviting fun. This is us. We're not making. It. He made it himself. Making, making pod love. Yeah. Love. Love. yeah. Yeah. We're showing our love for somebody who we wish. Could That's be. going. Yeah. No. Nope. Do this to his face. <laughs> we can't. So we're just. It's like we it. all made fun of him, dude. <laughs> Lowbacks, dude. Lowbacks. <laughs> dude, I, low like, backs. I want all of you guys to change your like. What is the? Is it just Dan Kenny in your phone? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll change it right now. I'll change it right now. So Danny Lowbats, Lowbats. Yeah. I'm Dan, changing to the low back. I have to keep the meme Dan. going. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, what am I doing with my life? Dan, <laughs> he's Dan Kenny. Now he's Danny. Number one, he's he's losing his full. He's losing his real name, and then it's low You're back. Moving him to yeah. Diddy Lowback. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Diddy no uh, ass. Dude. Oh yeah, the phone number. Don't get it. It's blurry yeah, as fuck. Is, you saw the lowback. <laughs> it works. What is he in your phone? Nine, is, uh, Anthony. It's just Dan. He gets Dan, and then Dan Eggers gets odious Dan. There's the two. Uh, yeah, yeah when you get older, you gotta make it like a. You gotta like do the thing, like wh what you know them for, or like the name and the thing you know them for. Yeah, but if like I your phone, if, if I pass, Frank, it's like name. Frankie fucking Danny Thincox. So it's Frankie Sewer. Fucking, you know, it's like it's, like, like, it's all it's all James Stateway. Like you gotta like you gotta like put things in there. Like I mean, especially I mean Dan Kenny. Obviously, we've known forever, but like certain people nowadays, like saving numbers. I'm like, I gotta yeah. put a fucking. I got one the other day. I got text. It's all it's all KC party people. <laughs> was, <laughs> it was, it was, I was I was in Kansas City okay. partying. I flew out there to go see a Kansas City game at, uh, like a, last year, and like I fucking ran this group of fucking party. Like their buddy was going into the fucking the ambulance as I met him for alcohol poisoning. <laughs> as I met them, and I'm like, "What the fuck's happening? This is crazy." And they're like, "Oh, what's <laughs> up?" And they're like, like, "I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> You're like, here, my here, here, here. One more sip. One more sip. Oh. <laughs> I'm the like, sponsor. Oh, I'm here. I'm here with him." Yeah. No, I saw was taking a piss. Me. What do you do? So was sitting next to me. She's all like, she's all like, who's Casey Party People? Like, what the fuck? It's like like some hidden name. Like, I have I well it tells me the story. So I know that Kansas. Who's City Case, who's who's Party? Casey Party People? <laughs> Who is <laughs> Casey Party People? Yeah, yeah. Cause like back in the day, like you have like chicks going, like, what's what's who's fucking Frank that you're saying? Why like, is McDonald's calling you right now? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. 3 a.m. <laughs> this is kind of scary. McDonald's fucking you leave your order right there, you moron. I opened up my contacts and in no, a, never call me again. <laughs> I find Andrew Rear End. What the fuck? Exactly. That's that? the smart. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have said that. Rear out. End, maybe. It's not specific. It's not specific I mean, enough. I, but, I am a. I am a car guy, so he's like a, a Rear End guy. Is that what you call uh, it? The fuck, dude. Andrew. Yeah. Rear end? Do you do you meet him at like the fucking park and go I, or what? I'm gonna maybe I'm gonna text him after this. Is that what it's called? Park and go, stop and go. I, I, you should up, probably dude. text him right now. How do I know you, dude? <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> no, that's scary. I'm concerned. Dude. Is this plumbing or I mean not plumbing? Is this plumbing or <laughs> yeah, is this yeah, you're to is this for my room. asshole health? Yeah, I'm just Ant worried. Antonio Vegas. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. Antonio oh, that's what I'm saying. You're doing dude, the same thing. Dude, I'm doing. Did you get? Did you get married and not tell us? Dude, I have. A, are you just going down the I have a couple of blackouts <laughs> in this contact list. Dude, dude. keep scrolling. I think we got some more fun ready. Pat's on something. He's like, are you in the A's? He's like, no, let's just keep it going. More, dude. I want to find more. Is there any cool? Arnold Butler. Butler. <laughs> no, so far, nothing. Oh, Frankie cool. Diarrhea. Who the fuck's yeah. Frankie Diarrhea? No, no, we're we're not, come on, you got to keep it in the A's. Yeah, where are the A's, Joel? It's, it's, yeah. it's, it actually, it gets it's, boring after that. Andy Cockrings. Uh, it's like, what? Oh, yeah. whoa, hold on. What did Andy do for you? <laughs> Andy, <laughs> Andy Cockrings, cool, too. Oh, yeah, hot beer cool. animals as leaders. Oh. <laughs> That's the man. Don't you, don't you dare put well, started on my boy I don't, No, I, he's yeah, damn, oh, I like, cooler, I it. It, the, it, it cuts Javier out and just says, and it bolds animals as leaders, but it says Javier in the front, but it's in the A section. Fucking iPhone. Call him. <sighs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. There's a bunch of heat on this show. You blew it. You're like, oh, check out. I have all the time. Pat Kenny. I got. We should have had a pack Pat. We we can we sell a podcast as as adults with you with a kid. Yeah, we had a name for ours, dude. Yeah, we did. You you have to remember. It's your job now. Yeah, you do have that New York ADHD brain. Yeah, fuck off. 
Yeah, well, I had a kid. Yeah, uh, built that. House. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> built a house. I saw the house before you fucking got in there. He's like, he's like, I'm a fucking man. I don't know. Yeah, what you I, I'm a man. I got a beard and a hat that I have, can afford. I think your pocket is fuller than so I'm building time. shit, dude. What are you guys doing? Sewing guys? hats, yeah. making <laughs> hats. <laughs> he's got a sweatshop of just himself yeah. working. It's actually all the people at Anthony's phone book. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and, 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 Arnold, Arnold Rear or whatever his fucking name was. Tony Tony Shops is what we call yeah. him. Tony Shops Tony's, Tony's, Tony's little shops. boys. Yo, Tony Shops, you got those kids ready for tomorrow or what? I got a strict fucking s s five AM shift. I need them dead and ready. Yeah, they've Dead been stretching and, and they're hungry. And ready. Feed them their oatmeal and get them on the slab. <laughs> <laughs> they're stretched out and hungry. It's like a. I could use a meal. Right, I, 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 I could use a meal. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. You know. <laughs> God damn it! My birthday's in. Uh, we have a uh, my birthday's gonna be on seven twenty seven, which yes, is gonna be a let's Thursday. Talk about your birthday, John. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck, what man? What or fucking we know? <laughs> like, shut the fuck up with that. Uh, don't tell me about that. We had a episode uh, one thirty eight from Devourment. No, I'm what saying is that, what, a New my, York condom. No, oh, I'm shit. saying Joel, your birthday is the. It's on a podcast. Weeks. I'm saying like this should have been a fucking birthday podcast where we could have got wasted and just talked shit all night. God, wait, is your birthday? Joel, when's Joel, when's your birthday? It's seven twenty-seven. It's on. A, it's Weeks. not next Thursday, yeah. but it's a Thursday then when after. I'm coming back. Yeah, yeah you come back. Come, come all over. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm saying. I'm possible, saying. Like, sure. sure. I'm coming front. How about that? That's what I'm saying, <laughs> dude. I'm not coming back. I'm coming front. <laughs> I'm gonna wear a shirt that says "Pass," and you won't see me. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna see. <laughs> it's gonna say "Not white" in the front. Oh. Murray, look, Murray, you I just, have one. You should just write "zombie" underneath that. Like I have one request from Murray. I need you to make Pat more <laughs> offensive jerseys that every time he shows up, he needs to wear. <laughs> no. I mean, not on our podcast. I don't want to fuck it. I mean, how can you tell? Can you tell everyone about the first jersey I gave you that you never talked about? Me? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was great. So, uh, were you there? Were you here for the Super Bowl? Who, I was my, here. Oh, no, you sent me a jersey. No, you sent me a jersey. Okay. Yeah, so I, I mailed it to jersey, you. So, okay, this is like... Right fucking, before the Super Bowl. Right before the Super Bowl. We have a, one of our best linebackers is Willie Gay. <laughs> and so... What? His name's... It's not really gay. It's Willie oh, Gay. He's one of the... It's not... We, it's, you're you're not saying season. really gay with an accent. You're just, no, you're uh, just saying it's Willie. I, didn't, <laughs> I, I see didn't this. Laugh. I see this. I, I see this jersey show. unexpected. I laugh. No, see this Jersey show. I know. Like, I can't fucking you... laugh at a joke. Whoa, what's the matter? It's like going on. A week, before, a week before the Super Bowl comes over or happens, I'm just like, I open this package and it says, just, I open it, it says gay on the back. <laughs> and I'm like, who the fuck said that? I, I bet it was Danny. I bet it was Danny or Pat or it was my friend James. I was yeah. like, they're, they're like all mad because their shitty teams didn't make it again. Uh -huh. And uh, I was like, cool. Like, it's tight. Like, I'll, I'll wear it. So I wore yeah. it. But I was like, but it was I was the, the mystery though. Your brother Danny kind of gave it away pretty quickly though, because I was like, no it shit, to be you. I was like, it's it's one vodka box. cranberry. He's like, I don't <laughs> fucking know where that came from. <laughs> if you could have seen it, <laughs> open it, I ripped, I ripped open the plastic and just opened it up and just pulled out. Just said the gay part and like right in the front. I'm like, all right, I know this is one of my fucking <laughs> asshole friends that I love, but god yeah. damn, fuck you guys. It's, it's so <laughs> I, was like, I was like, okay. oh, oh my god, who is this? Who I didn't order this. Who? who oh, so this I part? I was watching football and What's I'm watching your, uh, and, and, and they go and they go fucking <laughs> give it up for Willie Gay and I go what? There's no way they said really gay. I thought they said really gay. There's a, there's a receipt then, by the way for like two hundred dollars he spent for it. He spent like two hundred dollars on it. Who? Damn! It was that, oh, just, that was like an you spent two hundred dollars on a seat. Yeah, it was like one eighty no, something. No, I bought him a jersey. Like, oh, I bought him a jersey. That's what I'm saying. That's Wait, what I'm saying. Hold was on. Like am, I, am I fucking this whole story up? Like yeah. you bought him no, a no, jersey, jersey of Willie Gay? No, the jersey was a hundred dollars. I thought this was a Mersey jersey. No. No, he bought no, me a jersey from the sucks. NFL shop. NFL shop. He went online and spent the full max price for like one eighty and bought me the jersey, dude. <laughs> so this guy exists. 
Yeah, he's one of the best linebackers in the league. You'll That's find what out I'm saying. That was the best That's part. That's insane. I just, it just clicked. I thought we were talking about Merseys, and it, it just dawned on me. I was no, like, no, no, wait, no, this no. is a man that no, walks the I, streets? I bought yeah, him. Oh, yeah. He's one of the legit NFL are a jersey. Nuisance. Boy named Sue. One of the best players ever. Oh, yeah. So he has to wear it all the time. Can I tell you guys a funny sports story? And we won the Super Bowl. We won the Super Bowl when I wore it. So. And you're going to win the next 10, dude. Can, can oh, I tell you guys? Is this, this is football we're talking about? But they better keep that player, dude. Uh, yeah, they will. For sure. He's insane. Is he that good? Yeah, he's insane. He's amazing. I need you yeah, to... He's... Willie Gay? You don't know about Willie Gay? Willie Gay? I'm going to say what it all fancy it? now. Willie Sucks Gay. Willie. <laughs> that's, that's his name. Say, just say, like when I saw when I saw his name, I was like, "Dude, they're gonna sign you for a big contract, but like no one's gonna buy your jersey." Well, like, like unfortunately, like no no football players will buy it. Like everyone's like, "Yeah, no, we're cool with like you know like we want all the rights for everyone, but we're not buying that jersey." You know, like everyone wants like, a tough jersey, you know, but they don't want like they want like a dick butt kiss. They don't want to, you know, you know what I mean? They don't want that really jersey, strong. So. And they're like, uh, somebody ordered the Willie Gay jersey. <laughs> this might take a month and a half to get to their house. They have okay. to actually pick it up from Africa where they sent it, where they thought no one was going to buy it, and then pick it up and then ship authentic it back to American, uh, Authentic American jersey. <laughs> no, that was expensive. I saw the receipt. I was like, what was the fuck is bucks, this? This is expensive fucking joke, dude. This is like, dude. I was like, okay, Pat could afford it. So I think Pat did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, was never, it was definitely not a good uh, investment. I mean, it's, but, it's getting brought up now, which makes it fun. That's the investment. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That makes it fun for me because otherwise I would have never known about it and it makes me laugh. I, it's just better. It had and to you're, be. Authentic. And then the jersey you know, talk so like, ends with you sitting here in a jersey with the name white across the jersey. I, I love the jersey because Murray made it. But, uh, and then he made me another one that's so sick. It's I had to wear this one to be funny, but. He actually put the emblem. I'm obsessed with white zombies, dude. Love white zombies. I, I mean, hold on. I can, let the audience know that first. Lost Sex Ratio is sure. one of these sex. The, dude, the one. Me and Murray, sexiest dude. Sexiest Murray, okay. Albums. Murray had three records in his fucking car. Three records. That's it. Severed Savior, the uh, third record. What is it? The one with Anthony? Brutality. What's it no, no. Not my, Why is Severed Savior so sick? Yeah. Yeah, third round. Uh, with so you. Sick. What's it called? Serval. Uh, too Chevelle. short. Okay. Too short. And white zombie. Mm -hmm. And that was it. He goes, "What do you want to listen to, cocksucker?" <laughs> <laughs> and it, most of the time, it was fucking like I don't know. It was just on rotate. Yeah. And uh, white zombie, we just fucking slapped our shit. Dude, that yeah. That's so fucking sick, dude. dude. That's and he crazy. Had to beat in his car, dude. I love you hearing have those to kind open of stories. Graves? Do you always have to open graves to find girls to fall in love with? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, with the good with the good stereo system, White Zombie will definitely change your life, dude. One of the best horror directors, by the way, too. Could we get that? He actually, like, you know, did the whole like. I mean, I know you guys. If you guys are nerdy about horror, you guys will. Devil's fight, Rejects know, is so sick. It's so sick. I mean, the things he like. He like made music, but he also made movies, and I'm like, all right, I mean, really good. Like yeah, we, we, when like a lot of uh son of Aurelius back like brand practices brand practices back in the day brand practice brand, 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 brand <laughs> we're branding we're practicing brands like what, what brand works Which better brand like, will work it, yeah, for the yeah, McDonald's yeah, or the but like we'd always like end with like whenever we would fuck up we'd like we'd sit there and I would go. <laughs> like we'd all just like go into like a jam like that's the west coast and you go east coast i was gonna say aren't they from new york okay yes new york mentality is move quick no and you guys want to slow no 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 slow it's slow your lifestyle is move quick no, it's the city that's it is. the city that never sleeps. You gotta move it quick. If if got a point. Anthony's got a point here. Move quick. I'm sorry, say it one more time. If you're in the hive, move quick. That is New, New York. Trillion people in one Fuck fucking hive, bro. 
That's Get why New York's insane. Yeah, you sound like you're not from New York. Though, I'm from Long you? Island, baby. It's a uh, different yeah, story. Yeah, you're outside of that shit. I'm in the suburbs going, what the this fuck y'all doing here. over there, man? What are, you, what are you doing? So I'm taking the New York mentality of move, move, move. Yeah, so you slow down, slow down, slow down, bro. That, that would make sense. Because you guys travel you slow. You guys are all like, hey, 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 come on, come on, come on. Music, and all of us are like, Beats on Maybe that's why my brother's so tired. Yeah, he just lives on fucking it's D. Meanwhile, that's what's that's what's wrong with Danny now. He only listens to the the new Oh, God, God, God. That dude, just sucks sure? everywhere. I don't know who the negative <laughs> can suck it, dude. Why do people like it? No, no, no listen, listen, listen. Tell me why. Tell me why. They suck. Girls, 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 girls. Oh, girls, girls like to be depressed and want to slit their wrist. I get it. Yes. <laughs> so, so it's the fact of yes, that's the answer. And then your brother yeah, was like, I should put the logo on my leg and be like, I like this band too. No, and then Danny he said, just gets Danny, laid. Danny, Danny, no, Danny said, I kind of feel the same. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's funny. What if you like, go back? Me you go, too. Just go back uh, and start listening. To that real oh, you want to go to? Shit? You want to? You want to go to Duff's? I heard oh, this alcohol place. abuse oh, center. Oh, damn, it's going out. Is it going out? You going out? Dude, uh, yeah. Look at me. Hold on. Actually, dude, kind of crazy. Yeah, it was kind of right of, right of, the center of a food factory from the nineties. I have. Oh, I, you do kind of like Burton. I'm doing <laughs> super joint era. That's 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 super joint fill right okay, now. Okay, like it's heavy on top. I have, I have a pl like, I do the fade on the side. Look at the salt and pepper, bro. Look at that shit. Oh, yeah. dude, my shit's white on dude, the it's, side. Oh, it's almost wanna, there. Dude, it's almost look, there. That's why I use dark lighting because I don't want to like, show. I'm it. gonna, I'm gonna bring a, a fucking kilt and a fucking denim vest, man, like, and just yeah. fucking. That's the show. That's well, all I do. Uh, you, you're, you're, you just need a cut off shirt and you're ready, dude. I'm like, <clears throat> oh my god, I'm in. Just show the guns. I think you're ready. Dude. I don't have the guns yet. I, I have, I have dad bought all the way, bro. What about yeah. the buns, brother? The buns? Hold on. Yeah. Show us. No, Anthony exactly. wants to see the buns, dude. Don't laugh. I unplug my headphone. Every what time I have rookie, extension, dude. I keep what fucking dude, it up. You're wasting so much energy with that video game nonstop playing in the back. Look at this guy's and... hair right now. He's talking about hair right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I could rock it like that, I would, dude. I just can't do it anymore. That's why I'm wearing a Pacific right people. Now. So Pacifica people are just bald? Is that what you're saying? I bald. I started balding. I'm from Pacifica. At like 25. I'm glad Pat Kenny is here with the white jersey representing Pacifica, saying, "Hey, listen, we have hair. We are all not skinheads." So um, yeah, don't mind this American flag. <laughs> I yeah, I'm from the same place. I just have to shave my head because it balds as soon as it grows out. <laughs> Dude, my Dude, whole Anthony, family. Anthony, I would. Anthony, can I give you 200 bucks? Uh, you yeah. need two hundred dollars. What the fuck no, is happening no, right no, now? No, but no, you no, have to no, grow no. your hair out for look three this, months. Look at this. Look at this. Damn. Look how long this three is. Months? You guys have seen me. Two hundred dollars uh, right now. They're they're on so the show. Oh, they're they're pit town shit. Yeah, they don't even fucking. I'll give you two hundred bucks if you grow your hair out for three months. That's long, man. I'll do that. It's long, but it's quick, dude. It's quick. I promise. What is the longest right now? This is what is the longest time you've ever gone? In my adulthood, not long. Oh, two weeks. You've never gone past two. Oh, no, 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 no. What? In my adulthood, touring. Anytime I toured, didn't shave my head. That's it. Wait, are, are, are you one of those bald guys weeks. that can grow hair? No. So, what's your pattern? Do you have a, a, a thing like a, and then a like thing? A, I got a chode what? that. <sighs> An do you have a whole coke show dude, that happens, dude. Do the do the do the, do the do the do the 2005 Devin Townsend fucking. Yeah. Just yeah. 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 No, guys. Well, Wait, let me see what you got. Let me see what you have. Let me see what you have. Let me see what you have. It's not. It's not crazy. Oh, you got that spot in the middle. So how long yeah, is that? How long dude, is that, dude? He can grow the sides off. Is that a week? He's, that he's, married, he's married with a beautiful wife and beautiful kids. So we can get some of the spot. And I haven't done it since a uh, uh, couple weeks. Okay. I got back last weekend. I See, I just don't want to. I said three months. I meant six. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that's that, I, six. Yeah, no, oh, I, I get it. My I'm sorry yeah, about that, brother. Okay, okay Anthony, Anthony. I my knot. I'll yeah. do 250 for six months. <laughs> 
It's fifty more. And a down payment on a new house. Just make sure you do something new in your life, so you don't have to focus on money. Three hundred on the set. Three hundred. Deal. Damn it. Oh, he's right. gonna remember it and he's gonna he's gonna you recant. Gonna he hey man, it. you know what's crazy? I, hey, gonna... Okay, 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 okay. And if you don't cut it, I mean, oh, if you do, okay. cu- if you do cut it, all right. I gotta pee real yeah. quick. Don't leave. Do it. I gotta piss too. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You... he's getting he's getting now. He, he wants to get crazy with it. No, no, let's no, just keep it, dude. Okay, I'll give no, you no, no. I'll give no, you I'll give you two hundred bucks if you don't cut it for six months. Uh, that's gonna be so weird looking, dude. All right, I'll, I'll give you one fifty. You just cut it in half, dude. It was went from three hundred <laughs> to one fifty. The worst by the minute. <laughs> well, because you didn't say yeah. I said yeah. I definitely the, said the yeah. ordeal. One fifty six months. Not sticking around. Ah, that's crazy, dude. I don't know. My hair will look so weird, dude. You won't do it, dude. It'll look weird. Dude, Bryce would not let you do it. She wouldn't care. Bryce yeah, wouldn't would. care. Nah. If if I told her that Pat Kenny bet me three hundred bucks, she'd be like, "All right, just do it and see what happens." She wouldn't care. My thing is, at six months, I know that my hair will only be like an inch long, so I'll look fucking weird, dude. You know, dude. I will. It's all. Let's do it. Do it because I can't think of a better way to spend three hundred bucks. Hey, I can't either. Give it to me, dude. You will not do it. Will you do it? If we really shake on this, and you it's on the po- it's on the podcast. No, it's on the podcast. It's on the podcast. It's, all Starting right, today, yeah. you cannot cut your hair for six months. What is today? Six months, dude. What is today? I don't know. What is today? Jan- uh, January, July, fucking. 13th. Oh, did he just bounce out on us as soon as we said that? Dude. All right. All right so I. Uh, wait till they get back. But I got something funny to show. Oh, did we lose him? Back. Oh. No, nah, he's there. It's the 13th, dude. Okay. So in six months, what is that? What is six months from now? That's that's January. January. Anthony, when dude. they come back, I have something to, to announce. This is going to be great. Whoa, dude. Let's hear it. That's fine. Dude, we figured it out. What do you got, Casey? What the fuck is this podcast? Become? Where's Joel? Where's Joel? Uh, can you? Can we, got, we got an announcement right now. Where's Joel? Where's Joel? Well, it's not like a big deal, but I just want to show you guys something. But uh, also, right. make, tell them the bet, too, start. before this. I will. I will. Oh, okay, go ahead and tell them that, then. Give me the... So I just made a bet, Anthony. <laughs> 300 bucks for the next six months. I gotta grow my hair out, dude. See what it Pat looks texts like. me. Pat texts me. He's just all like, dude, I'm down to step in for like 15 minutes, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need receipts. Like, everyone, are someone's got a screenshot. Joel, this. Joel, this. And then Joel, told, Joel told me to shut up. Shut up. Shut, so, shut up, dude. Yeah, Watch. Pat, shut up. Watch, he's <laughs> muted right now. Shut up, dude. <laughs> we just all <laughs> tell me. Hey, all of us, <laughs> shut the fuck up. I dude. love you. I love you. So, so I want to give you a little bit of. A little bit of West Coast love here, Kevin and Pat and all our guests. And, uh, you know, oh, our you friend, uh, Still the Kid, I was talking about earlier. I found his album Hell on, yeah, uh, that he put out. It's, like, kid's it, it's a rap album. It's a, it, it's a Z- Zanny Claus, you know? It's like the whole, like, kind oh, of yeah, thing. yeah. He's really yeah. into Christmas, dude. Yeah. He, I hate yeah. Christmas and I hate yeah. that. I hate okay, you for up, saying man. that. But by the way, I love you at the same time. Yeah, whatever. But he's red everywhere and just fucking. Dude, Dude, Christmas season Christmas. is the best season. With you guys see no fucking about, green in this bitch. I fucking love Christ's birth. Are we all going to hear this right now? Around, jingle. Oh, I thought it said jingle bits, but it says jingle balls. Balls. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm fucking... in. I'm in. Let's go. Fucking... Look at the artwork. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, dude. He's fucking hilarious. He's the silly kid, bro. I'm telling you. Oh, this is the. Wait, is this the guy you're talking about earlier? Yep. 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 Oh, shit. I, I don't hear anything yet. I know. I I Casey, did, Casey didn't allow audio. Come on. Allow your audio, Casey. Oh, I didn't do it right. <laughs> no, nope. you didn't allow the, the it. Looks like blowing it. What's the album cover? It's Santa Claus with a Santa hat over his cock and balls and a wife beaver beater. A white beaver. beaver. A white beater over his fucking big old belly. 
It works. His wife's way. beaver is hanging over his fucking <laughs> skull. <laughs> Yeah, What's the matter with a wife beaver? Huh? What's yeah, going yeah. on? I didn't say nothing, bro. I, I didn't know. see nothing. I didn't say nothing. Nobody fucking <laughs> rat me out. Go home now. Uh, <laughs> Bobby's be. a straight up criminal. Uh, I won't share it, Casey. No, Dude, Casey, I, I, you made it sound like you had some crazy news. Like you hey, right. up some. Chips. Can you hit this up on YouTube or something that you can share the web page or something? Yeah, I know it's, iTunes it's, might be a okay. dick about it. Gentlemen, I love you. I gotta, I, I gotta be up early. Right. Earlier than hold on, hold now. on, hold on. Before you leave. I just want to point out that I think my favorite stage moment of all time is you hugging me goodbye during the show we played in Berkeley. Uh, that was that Peck, Peck gives some of the best hugs. Dude, that, I'm not gonna lie. Peck it was like not the best hugs. It was the thing I was thinking about because you told me you had to leave during our show, and I was like, oh, I hope I get to see you after the show. And it was like dead mid set, and he just walks up to the stage, the a, a sick venue going off, and he goes. Like, like, picture this. Ready? I'm, I have a mic in a venue, loud as fuck. He goes, <laughs> like, hand ready to go. He's just ready to do a, a dap it up and just be like, "Hey, I gotta go, man." I'm, I, yeah. and I, I crowd. I stopped what I was saying. I just put my mic down, said goodbye to my boy, and that was the yeah. last time I saw you, Pat Kenny. Um, and it's very, ha it makes me very happy to see you here today. Hell yeah, dude. We will definitely hang out soon, dude. Just know yeah, you have my uh, number. You can call me whenever you want, and you can uh, FaceTime me whenever you want. When's that? Uh, <laughs> you guys are coming through Black Mama. Black I'll fucking Mama. hit you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. What was that fucking joke that fucking Murray said I could bring up again that got you all uncomfortable? Um, uh, <laughs> uh, join in or something? Jump in. Jump on jump in. in. Uh, have yeah, you guys ever in, heard? On in. I'm gonna leave on this. Have you guys heard my anthrax joke? No, I no, think they said anthrax. I mean, I probably have, but I want to hear it again. Anthrax. This is, by the way, by the way, this Let's... is his anthrax joke. So we're sitting, we're like standing next to each other, watching anthrax together at aftershock, and he just like comes up with this, <laughs> which it might not hit right now. I don't know if it's gonna hit because we're it moving might. it up pretty high. I hope, I hope it is. Oh, okay. What's worse, listening to anthrax or getting in the mail? <laughs> <laughs> I like anthrax, right? We've been watching anthrax. Dude, so hold on, while you're still here, I gotta tell you a quick story. I saw anthrax with Black Label and Hatebreed here in New York. Do you know they brought fucking Chuck D out to do Bring the Noise? Wow! And they played Bring the Noise man. live. That was the coolest shit I've ever That's seen in my life, sick, dude. Uh, Going to go to I, want, I want to see how he twists with that. Man. <laughs> I it was all right. I'll say this for real now. It was very cool to see. I filmed the whole thing, but I wanted me to say that to him to go. <laughs> That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I met, life, Scott, huh? I met Scott Ian in an elevator once. It was short. Yeah, I love you guys so much. Yeah, right, well, love, love you, you guys. Thank you, love you, 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 you guys. Hi, buddy. Love you guys. Wait, later, buddy. Later, later, man. Later, later, man. Uh, Why have to break uh, down? Leave so quick. How do I? I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Uh, you say goodbye. I'll remove them. I remember them. <laughs> I know he's like you fucking took 30 minutes to get in yeah 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 uh, and then he's i know uh, dude, yeah. dude that's, that's I, like, so, over here dude we don't i'll send you guys the video here. of that the whole thing <laughs> like 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 i like i've made i've made actually that statement to the rest of my guys i was like dude i saw anthrax and it was fucking sick and they were all like really <laughs> <laughs> because you, you know i feel like there's a point where certain bands blow up so big enough that like you don't expect them to be tight Oh, it's piss! Like, I, it's, I've it's, seen it's like a piss band like that. It's like a bad. Line. It's like it's like everyone like talks about them like, oh, yeah. they're the sickest. They got their but forty like, year fucking rugs out while they play guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're just like it's because they came up with it. That's a nostalgia for them. I think that's why. That's why it's a big deal to them. I don't think I'll it's give like Anthrax. Vivid. I'm going to give Anthrax way more credit right now. Do it okay. right now. And uh, there was a there was a random night. I went to I went to Duff's. Duff's in mm -hmm. Brooklyn. Duff's is one of my, it's probably my favorite bar to go to ever because you walk in, you expect to spend four or six dollars on a cocktail, nice. regular or double. It's just like, how far, how far is it from your house? Oh, it's far enough. You know what I mean? It's yeah, far yeah. enough that I need to take a train home, you know? Yeah. And, okay, okay, okay. But it's the fact that like, I'm in, I'm in the islands, so I'm right. in suburbs and that's in Brooklyn. So like, it's an hour okay. from my house, but I can take the train Damn. and it's about an hour and a half, but it's the fact that I can go there. Right. The, the, the here's how you go to duff's here's the plan there's a show in new york city or brooklyn area 
And nine times out of ten, if you go around long enough and going, everyone's going to Duff's after the show, you going? Like, oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> It'll spread this virus that everyone's just going to go to Duff's. Right. And then what I do is I then go to Duff's and I go, everyone showed up. Yeah. <laughs> it's I like I'm yeah. facilitating a party that no one knows is actually happening. So, the so after party is the bigger thing. It's over there. it's a, it, like like I've said this to friends that visit from out of the country. I'm like, if you think there's a show in this in this city, death metal show that you can't get into, just go to Duff's at about midnight. I promise you, in that area, at least half of us are going there. Yeah. You know, and um, I love Duff's. I love Duff's, dude. Four to six dollar cocktails dude for in new york city like new york yeah like, new york is expensive, expensive as fuck a regular yeah, yeah. cocktail is ten dollars yeah, yeah you yeah. guys shut it down at four instead of two four right? like yeah. but, they, but they come in yeah. short little glasses but the fact that it doesn't matter these bartenders are going like this yeah you want a jmo coke sure yeah, and yeah. done it's like what are yeah. you talking about a splash of coke yeah yeah, yeah. with 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 a with a jukebox that has Gojira and every death metal band you love. I mean, if you're if you're closing down two hours later than the rest of the country, bro, they close down want, like five hours later than the rest to be more affordable. Right? But this is what I'm saying: <laughs> they they close down hours after everyone else. Like they, yeah. they like New York is New York is a weird place where everyone says two or three or four, but it's like on the like if you live here you're like oh it's seven yeah <laughs> like but like there's not the enough cops there's not enough cops to patrol every bar you know like the they only way they can enforce it. it is they have to show yeah. up and be like oh i was told you gotta close it's like no one's doing that they're looking at yeah. railroad violence or they're looking at fucking street violence that, that, that's where they are they're not going to bars like yeah. you guys having a good time in here how about you stop right now you know, that's you know, like back in the day, like going to like when we went to uh, Vancouver and it was like weed was illegal there, but there was weed bars. We would just go there. Yeah. And, smoke, and they're like, well, there's, Shout meth, out there's new meth addicts. Amsterdam cafe. I'll never. Yeah, new, dude. Exactly. There's meth addicts running around like breaking into cars. But like, yeah. Well, dude, you guys smoking weed? Like, please smoke weed. Please, please keep doing like, it. <laughs> please. Like, calm down. Calm down. Bro, these how, fucking zombies are breaking into everything. Amsterdam how about cafe. fucking. We don't um, we don't sell it, but you can smoke it here. You know, the dynamo <laughs> in Switzerland. Uh, yeah, yeah. That so, festival. so I remember we played a show in the basement venue. There's a Dynamo, yeah. which is a big venue upstairs, and there's the regular small, like little tubular oh, venue downstairs. Okay. So, so we played the small venue with Suffo, and I remember, I remember seeing it with my own eyes. It's super legal to have weed there and all this in in Switzerland, but I watched cops show up and go, "Hey, can you do me a favor and just stand closer to the venue? That's all I want you to do." <laughs> like, like yeah, it's 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 Switzer Switzerland is at the point where the people have more money than the police do, so there's no like I'll arrest you tonight. There's none of that shit. There's none of yeah, it. Yeah. There's no like power thing where it's like, hey, dude, just like, it's you're logical. Gonna, you're logical gonna smoke like your you're weed. weed. You're gonna do it. There. How about you just yeah. do it right yeah, there? Yeah. Because if I'm not if, trying to be a big scene, and yeah, do all the things. it's it's yeah. like if you're over this line, that coffee pub is gonna be a pain in my ass tonight, and they're gonna call yeah. me, and I'm gonna have to then give you shit. Where if you just stand right here and just fucking do that, I won't ever come back. And everyone goes, yeah. okay, yeah, that's fine. And no one ever comes back, dude. We're doing yeah. we're doing double front flips off a bridge into their local fucking waters, yeah. and no one gives a <laughs> fuck. And they're like, "Yeah, let, let the people do what they want." Like that. That's what a town is supposed to do. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. it's crazy that like I'm from Long Island, where we have beaches everywhere, we have like bars everywhere, and then God forbid you you have the right mind of. Let me buy a bottle. Let me go to the beach and buy a fucking umbrella and sit with my friends. You have cops coming up to you like this. Like, where's the drugs? Where's the fucking meth? Where? What do you got? And I was like, can I just relax? Like, yeah. like I know there's yeah, like yeah. 2% of assholes here, but can we just fucking do the thing where we live yeah, yeah. to do this? You know? Yeah. I, and and yeah. that's a big problem in, in a lot of world, in a lot of the world. And I think that's one of the things I took home was, holy shit, like, when you're in Vancouver, even yeah, yeah, yeah. like oh, yeah. I dated oh, yeah. a girl in Vancouver and I would like just visit there and get food. And they were like, I, I like, I like to drink, but I, I'm a social drinker. If, we're, if I'm not social, I'm, I'm not, I'm sober as fuck. But yeah. it was the fact that like, Hey, do you want to grab 
two six packs and go to the tallest fucking mountain we have where yeah. the ski lifts are just offline right now, but it's open to the public. So we just sit there on the top of the mountain looking over like Vancouver Island and, and all of this shit. And it's like, oh, wait, we're not in trouble right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like she thing. This isn't like a fucking we're breaking the law right now. Yeah, yeah. No, you're just, yeah. I don't know, living yeah. your life and getting a visual <laughs> yeah. for a fucking few hours and then you go home. Like, I think you're breaking the law when you start breaking into every car in the parking lot. That's when cops need to show yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I think that's. That, and that's, you know, being in, you know, our current time and getting to know those cops that you come across that are saying, hey, just go over this because they even know too. hey, right. I don't really give a shit what you're doing, Gentlemen. dude, but if I, if I, this is my job, you got to be over this line. And there's a, I yes, like, I whatever. think there's a give and take on both sides. But I think a cop has to go listen. Like but even they know it's ridiculous, but right. they're like, you still got to do it just because it's protocol, you know? Right. And yeah, yeah. that would go ten thousand miles if someone was like, "Hey, listen, I just have to do this. You're in a yeah. bad place. Ten different crimes happened here yesterday. Can you do me the yeah. favor and just get to get to your car? Like, let's be humans about this. And then once yeah, yeah. you get that motherfucker, it's like, I got rights. Leave me alone. Yeah. Like, All right. Yeah, now yeah, you yeah. have to go on cops because now I dealt with this yeah. 20, 30 times this week and not once did they talk to me like that. Yeah, you yeah. know, so now it's now then you take the protocol. But, it's dude, you know what's funny? Those, those what a terrible job. That's a hard job. Man. Oh, dude, me and Wes, me and Wes watch a lot of cop videos when we're writing oh, I songs. Too. I do too. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> there's a YouTube account that me and him were watching and it was a lot of like, <laughs> it was, it was like, like woman with knife gets shot by three cops because she did this 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 and and, and every vid every it's it's always like cop body cam videos and every yeah. video you're going like Let's chill that, out that that could have been so easily avoided and she's <laughs> yeah. and it's just woman like I'll kill every motherfucker in here and bang 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 and you're like that's what was supposed to happen. Like if you <laughs> read that differently, you, you're not watching the same program as I am. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's no, just it's... crazy. The, we live in a wild world, man. We Look do. at us four people talking about we we play and love music that talks about like got the fucking guts and rip the head off and fucking kill your mother, rapey dog. Hey, 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 hey. I brought it back. Hey, you know. But that's Maybe. it's crazy the world we live in, man. We are kind of you know, you could look at it in a sense that we are in a comfortable enough place to where we can um address you know current <laughs> society around us and and write about it, you know, and, oh, and dude, say, dude, hey, so oh dude, we're in this we're in this fucked up crazy yeah. whirlwind of shit, you know. And that's why I can't wait for you guys to hear the new alluvial. Yeah, yeah. let's talk about the new alluvial. What the hey. fuck? Dude, I saw you at the fucking, <laughs> I saw you in the Atlanta recording and shit, and I was like, I was like, dude, are you recording? And you're like, hey, I don't know what's going on. You're like, <laughs> and you're like one of those fucking things. I'm like, you're yeah, fucking yeah, recording. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? I so like. Are you guys done? Are you guys done recording? Just tell me the fucking thing. Like, so you're here. I can't do 110. Uh, Hondo, I can't do 100 so feet. Boring. Because, yeah, boring shut thing. up, dude. Now, this is why you like you call breakdowns flippy flops, whatever the fuck you called them earlier. That's why you call fucking not announcing a thing. By a the fucking, way, I've we never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah we have an announcement, but it's not for you, asshole. <laughs> uh, God damn it, dude. I'll give you now, nine listen. dollars, dude. <laughs> How many? Nine. Nine? All right. Call seven. me later. Seven. Call me later. Call, se oh, seven? Even better. <laughs> Now I here's hear me out on this. It's like I I, I was I started saying this before the pod. Remember, remember yeah. we were talking about this before the pod. But uh, I am very proud of me and my guys. I I think this is the heaviest shit we've ever written. I think this is the best shit we've ever written. I think it's the fact that we want to make you hit it in the we want we want to hit you in the feels as well as make it the most violent thing you've heard. Like. We know there's so many things going on in this music world, right? Let's talk about the OSDM phase. Let's talk about the yeah. tech yep. death phase. Let's talk about like any any wave that's going around that we are so concurrently a aware of. We're going to hit you in a way that you're not expecting, not ready for. And it's just 
the thing that makes me want to be in this band forever is the fact that you'll never know what we're releasing. And that's my favorite part of this band. It's like, like I, I was saying to briefly before is, you know, when Sarcoma got released, everyone was stoked. Like we had a lot of really good press on that album. And I think it was a matter of a lot of people going, Hey, this was something like, I can't believe blah, 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 blah. But we got a lot of good press, but a lot of people heard it and went, this is something I know Wes put together and you joined and this, that, and the other, da, 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 da. this new shit we're trying to work on and, and, and kind of prep you for is going, Oh, Kevin and Wes are working together now. Like yeah, now, yeah. now yeah. they've joined forces. Like, like I, with my background of things I've done, like I have something to provide. Maybe like you mean you have the jokes of East coast ignorance, yeah, yeah, yeah. but West if you coast. can, Flappiness. I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> no, I listen. Flappy. I love like the, it, the joke is I will I will shit talk West Coast forever because I'm That's from the East I Coast. Yeah. But I love the West Coast more than I love East Coast in many oh, ways. Shut the fuck up! Don't no no, no. Go that dude. Road. Shut up! You know I've been nah, asking like me and you have been, me and you me and you have talked. Yeah, you can talk hard when your face is not in the fucking camera. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at? Where you at, motherfucker? <laughs> I'm Talk weird. to me straight, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, but my 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 honest my honest shit is like for for the music's sake. I if I'm gonna do anything, it has to be everything I believe in 110. percent I can't go up yeah. there and do someone else's gig. Like mm. and I like I was very stoked with the Suffo gig. It was something that I related with so and you, I wanted. Well, you to started do. with that. You started like getting into. I things started with, that. with the pirate. I started with Merciless, and then Merciless That's led right. to Pyrexia. That's right. And Pyrexia yeah, led yeah. to Suffo. We did the Carnival of Death and we opened. It was Internal Bleeding Pyrexia sharing the opening it was your, spot. It was your College of Brutality. And now like, Dude, you're ready to flourish and do your own thing. Big. Yeah. Right? I college, have literally yeah. the Long Island death metal resume on my side. You know what I mean? Like I did yeah. every little step I had to do. And, and I'm very stoked. And now we live in this time where the, like, the old school death metal shit is so praised. But it's a weird. It'll go away. It'll go away. Sorry. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> My point is, it's this weird little narrow scope of the old school death metal. Not the. Not there the, is. Have you ever noticed it's not the good stuff? Yeah, yeah. It's exactly. the it's the slow stuff. Like yeah. Let's say Bolt Thrower, for example, mm -hmm. is a yeah. decent band. They are an old school death metal band. Obituary, old school slow death metal band. Yeah. Like the anything first death metal in the bands. Yeah, but 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 there's so many before that that's still fucking clobbered, like Seance. Let's talk about oh, yeah, Gorguts. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about fucking like any of that monstrosity. Let's talk about anything with fucking guts. That's fucking yeah. <laughs> before <laughs> recording technology could even fucking figure out what they were doing. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my favorite shit. Mm -hmm. Wes's favorite shit is in the same caliper. And me and him like to fuse our brains. I'll tell you something. I'll, I'm not going to go into it deep. There is a song that starts our new thing that is legitimately a birth. It's, it's a birthday present to me. Hmm. What's and, your birthday? Huh? June 4th, your 91. Uh, oh. 32. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, so <laughs> I woke up one morning. Hung over. We went. We had visited our boys in Currents. They played a show in Atlanta at the Masquerade, and we hung mm -hmm. out with them the night before on June third. And then I we I got all boxed. I brought a I brought a bottle of wine. I drank a bunch of JMO. Boxed, boxed is an East Coast thing for getting wasted, right? Yes, boxed. I'm fucking boxed. Okay, okay. I've never heard yeah. that. So. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> It, it's a wine or something like that. Nah, it's just, it, I'm just yeah, fucking. Yeah, I'm put. I'm fucking put yeah, away, yeah. dude. I'm fucking yeah, boxed, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so we right. saw currents. We had a good time. And that night, I went to bed. Next morning, Wes's fucking awesome favorite thing that I love that he doesn't expose enough is that he loves playing Zelda on NES. Hell yeah. He will play Zelda two, and he'll beat it in front of you ten times. And then at the end of his playthrough, he'll be like, I got an idea. The riff on the second song, we should do this. And like, it, <laughs> like he's thinking while he's playing. And I'm like, I can't do that with anything. Like, for me, yeah. if I'm, I'm playing something, I need to think about what I'm doing. 
and I love him for it. And it, it, it makes me admire him 10 times more. And he'd be playing these so he'd be playing the game and just cut, stand up with an idea, you know? But me and him had these moments where I, he came down stay, it, where he, where he lives is where I would crash at and I'd be in the basement yeah. and, and uh, yeah. And he would, <laughs> I'd wake up and it'd be him playing link Two on NES, just doing the thing. And I'd wake up and I'd be all foggy. I'd look at him. And he's like, what's up, man? How you sleep? I was like, I slept all right. And he's like, what do we, th what do you think we should do for verse two? <laughs> and then I woke up, <laughs> I woke up with a joke. I was going, we should do like a, and he looks, he's looking at the game like this. And he's doing the thing. He's playing the game. And I say, put that in your voice memos right now. I was like, what? What are you talking about? He's like, no, record that right now. Like, I want you to do that. I was like, okay. So I did it. And one of our first songs starts with a fucking. Oh, fucking got a fucking leak right here. We yeah, that's, a, that's that. your Clip first that. take. <laughs> that's your first take. It's fucking no. violent. And because Wes, Wes is one of these guys that played. He, he learned guitar really late in life, right? Didn't he like learn like? I wouldn't like, say that. What I would say is he perfected it late in life. I think okay, okay. like from my experience, like. As much as he's one of my favorite people ever, he, 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 me and him share enough stories to go, Hey, when did you do this? And when did you do that? Like, he'll talk to me about vocal stuff. And, and he told, he tells me he wanted to play guitar before he was serving for the Navy and this, that, and the other. And I think for him, once he left the military side of things, that's when he really started to pick up and try to figure out where he was. And I think, same goes for me, but without the military side, fuck. <laughs> like, I, 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 I played in a few bands, and at the same time, we figured out we have something to do something. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why it's really cool for us to find each other in this point of everything to be together in this thing. And the way we say it all, all the time, we always hype each other up, and I love doing it. It's like, like, like I hope some of you here in this in this podcast are best friends where you can call each other. Like, do you believe we have fucking what's his name coming here from this band? Can you believe that? Sh like, I hope right. that's a thing. And I, yeah, yeah. for me, that's a thing in this band where it's like, do you believe we're gonna go to Europe next month? Mm -hmm. Like, hey, oh, like whenever our Japan tour happens, like, are, do you believe that this is happening right now? Like, it's it's yeah. the it's the band we wanted from high school that we never got to have. Totally. And we definitely get we get the that version of that with this show, no doubt, dude. Yeah, we of course. I'm it. I'm sure you do, man. Like there were there was times I was away and I would get the live notification, you and Diego on here. I was like, what the fuck? The president is on the fucking podcast <laughs> right now. <laughs> Rick Wiz, dude. Yeah. I love him, man. No he doubt, like Diego dude. for president all day. And there's like so many other heroes that we've had on here too, dude, and guys that we've never would have thought that we would have been able to pick their brain about one of the classic albums you yeah. know and uh, in our opinion yeah yeah, yeah 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 and but and that's yeah. what it is it's it's passion you guys have passion you guys have a yeah, yeah, you called it you called it this cali death podcast for a reason you didn't just say like oh death metal music show <laughs> <laughs> you, you called it yeah. the cali death podcast because you know what you bring to the table you know where you can provide and you know who's going to give to you and, and and you know how to deliver something something you know how to deliver something cool to people that really want to listen and Hell that's why yeah, i love dude. being here dude it's a fun time i'm not trying to get all fucking emotional but i'm saying yeah. like you guys are dude, gentlemen with you in my eyes bro like like you guys are experienced gentlemen and i don't think enough people give a shit in the spectrum and it pisses me off well, not about the podcast i'm just saying about this genre in general let me yeah. let me state that clear i think it's more like 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 what you said joel earlier about lorna shore this i was like yes i respect those dudes i love those dudes i've known them since everything in the beginning i wish them nothing but success but i wish one of them would go hey i heard about cali death podcast i heard oh, yeah, about yeah, yeah, this that and the yeah, other yeah like cool my fuck, dude. dude my favorite thing about being involved in death metal is my history and what i learned in it and i and i think i said this to someone recently i was like every everything i like video games music movies the root is the most important thing i think where it came from is most important more important than where it's at 
you know and i think there's so many hardcore bands that tell you that like bands like h2o where they're like like it's not about fashion it's about the passion like they do that kind of thing but yeah. they're not wrong like it's like they're, yeah, yeah. they're 50 year old dudes being like please give a fuck about what we created for you and right. then you get yeah. these new instagram kids that show up and make a band and then they're blowing up over fucking night and there's nothing yeah. of the past there's no credit no like, shout out no nothing yeah. nothing my my if, yeah, yeah. if if my if i started a new band tomorrow and it was just a hardcore band and my band blew up the first bands i have opening up for me is bulldoze mad ball fucking like h like i want all the new york goats showing right. up being 25 like 25 to life yeah no shut up <laughs> oh shit no way on your Who, no that's jersey vibe. poser shit no, ah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's miles away. He's like, no, no, no. Shit. <laughs> no. I was trying, no. Dude, at the very end, he of tried your like, best. No, I'm on your side. No, nope, I, I guess I'm not. I'm not. No, no. Twenty Five to, get, like, to a... Life was one of those memed bands where he would bootleg all the Anthony. bands around him. Shirts. Okay, I'm sorry, Anthony. I just... gotta know. <laughs> but no, no. <laughs> How about this? How about I'll back him and say he didn't know. That's not his fault. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's not his fault. Said to me as New he's just a rookie. At some <laughs> at some point that was fed to me as New York hardcore. I'm kidding, no, no. but they're from Jersey. That's the thing. I don't want to. I don't want to get emotional with this, but I think what we, we, we can all aspire to be is like what you're describing is. I don't want to be like get all weird and stuff. Get weird Trevor with Sternad. me, bro. Cry with me Tre right now. Tre Tre Trevor Sternad was the guy that would like bring bands that he <sighs> was like. Uh, he brought. Uh, I know to, not to like bring an easy. No, you're fine. Fucking sad thing, but like uh, you know, he brought decrepit birth. Like he, he was like, oh, people need to know about this band you know like he was like and they were already like fucking all, all the shows were sold out already when he had when he had us up he was like for the tour for the nocturnal tour he was like we want you guys to uh, play you know it's like why uh, like we're not gonna draw anything we're gonna draw like five or six people to you know we're like an uh, underground band coming out and like a lot of those people that are into us but like he was like no no this is like what needs to be heard you know dude and Trevor... having, that, having that platform to be like this is what I think needs to be heard. Like, I think more bands, there are, there are people that do that nowadays. I, I, I do see that where it's like, I'll see like a random, like obscure band in like a lineup and I'll be like, that's fucking cool. I'm glad they brought them out. I'm, I'm stoked. Yeah. That. It's respect, I, dude. Yeah, it's he's respect. like the one, he's like the, I mean, uh, uh, fucking Alex Webster is probably the goat of that, but like bringing out bands yeah. that was like going like, Oh, I'll bring out brain drill or bring out like animosity. Same, like, you know, like, yeah. 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 Just like, you know, these bands that no one have ever, like I've ever fucking heard, and then they're like, "Oh, let's bring them out, open up, to like you know, get four hundred bucks a night, whatever, fucking sell merch. You have fucking a thousand people there. It's all good, or you know, five hundred to a thousand. It's and actually like, insane what you're like, like what the 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 angle you're giving me right now is insane because it's like I saw that firsthand. Like yeah, me yeah. and Trevor were boys enough that like, I'm not gonna say he's my best friend, but he, he was a boy enough that every time I saw him, he made a point to say hi to me. I said I made a point to say hi to him. And then we'd we'd end up being each other's drinking buddies the whole night. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It, oh, yeah, it was yeah. just I've... like he called me it, his nickname for me was Kevy Metal. And yeah, yeah. uh he de we developed that on the 2017 Suffo Black Dahlia tour. And he was fucking hilarious, dude. And and like he was the first person like all right, like he he is an OG death metal fan to the point yeah, yeah. that i respect everything he gave an opinion on and dude on the very very last day of tour he gave me some of the biggest kudos i've ever heard and it was like nice like yeah what what pat was saying earlier how frank came in and did the ozfest set frank came and did a bunch uh, uh, that was the same year so that was the year, that was that same tour black dahlia did ozfest with us uh, they did it yeah, on yeah. the main stage we did it on the nuclear stage so um black dahlia did their whole thing and i remember them making a, sh a whole thing to get frank to do the shows and then at the very end of the tour i was I, every every night i ended up i was one of the only guys ending up on the dahlia bus drinking with brian drinking with fucking yeah, yeah. alan drinking with oh, all those right. guys yeah, yeah, and yeah. trevor was yep. just a blast and on the very last day trevor gave me these kudos of like dude you were the only one keeping up on social media. You were the only one keeping the old shit alive. And you were the only one trying to deliver the same product. Where like Frank, I love Frank in all my heart. I, I taught I saw him yeah. two weeks ago. 
and, and he's one of my favorite people. He's him Tell and Corpse Grinder like are my I'm biggest on the podcast, dude. dude <laughs> we can <laughs> set it up, dude. Uh, but like, do, dude, that my, that would be a an amazing <laughs> episode for me. My two cents of this though was he was a fan of Frank, never toured with him. One like they almost Black Dahlia demanded frank do shows before hearing me like they didn't hear me live you know what i mean they were just like if we're gonna like i was the new guy in suffo and they were like the only way stuff was gonna work is if we get frank on the shows you know and then i did the shows and then i did half and frank did some that was like the negotiation and when they saw me do the shows they were like you did the job mm -hmm. like like you did the thing that we were afraid we wouldn't get right yeah and in a nice way, Trevor was just saying the thing of like, you know, like you were the only one that was like digging, like pushing on social media, pushing on this, that, and the other, tagging us and every, because I think Trevor or, or one of them handles their Instagram and all that stuff every day. And I would take every day. I was like, we're, we got shows, we got tickets available. Da, da, da. And I was taking, uh, taking photos that I sculpted off Instagram from other, someone else's account and doing the thing. And that was my like role i felt in the band no one knew how to use the internet and fucking stuff and i was just like i'm gonna do this i'm gonna this is my thing i'm gonna stay up all night and i'm gonna repost every show we got coming up and trevor made a point to point that out to me and i and he kind of gave me the like i said the biggest kudos he was like dude not only did you perform on the internet but you delivered the show yeah. it's like we saw like five shows of frank and and like you did what was what frank did but better like it was crazy to see and i took that to heart for real and then f since then I, I i saw trevor on their last tour with rivers and uh whoever it else it was with it was with them rivers Re and revocation? was a revocation maybe revo yeah 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 because yeah, yeah. dude the, it was i missed that show i'm so pissed it's crazy big bunny naked chat can can tell can, can talk about it too it's like, it's like he was there he's he was our tour manager for the states for suffolk okay. And through that tour, got his gig in Black Dahlia. And it's crazy that now he plays... It, it's, it's great to see that you play such a big fucking part. BDM, Carnivax Rivers. BDM, Carnivax Rivers, but Revo didn't play... Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Either way, either way, either way. The Revo guys were there. <laughs> That's the part that makes it crazy to me. Like yeah, Dave I mean, was there and, and it's like we were all like and it, it was one of those nights that if you were there with anyone from New York, you would talk to everyone and go, It's weird. All the homies are here. This is weird. All the homies are here. This is yeah, crazy. Was, uh, all the homies are here. Oops. It was like a weird thing. Like a good yeah, I mean, though. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Trevor's like literally one of the most instrumental people in all of death metal. Like, I mean, there's Cannibal Corpse, there's, but the thing is, like, his nerdery in metal, like, he was so deep into it. He was deeper than, you know, the most nerd guy you know. Like, Bro, he was, I, can, I can hit you with he, one other layer. It, like, yeah. like, all right, so my birthday's June 4th. Hit, uh, Alex from Fallujah's birthday was June 3rd. I believe. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there was this party. Uh, shout out to the band, The Machinist. Shout out to my girl, Amanda. She's the front girl of that band. She's so sick. And she was like, hey, oh, yeah. we're going to Alex's birthday party. Do you want to come? And I was like, sure, I'm down. And I go, and it's me, Tim from Within the Ruins from way back when. Now he's got a new band called Blood Throne. Shout out. I'm doing guest vocals on the next shit. Yeah. And, and then um, it was... It was just one of those things that I showed up with Amanda to this party that I didn't know who was going to be there. And sure as shit, right away, Trevi is there. Just fucking arms, shirt off, like Harper and Tattoo. Just, what are you doing? I just give him the biggest, sweatiest hug. And, and me, him, and Tim put down some of one of the biggest bottles of tequila I've ever seen. <laughs> and it was funny that, like, me and we were all just, he kept giving me all the biggest and nicest praise of alluvial and <laughs> and i i just keep laughing to my in my to myself because alex had some like pandora channel on the tv of death metal and i was like ooh, like if i caught something with my ear i don't like a lot of stuff and i was like who the fuck is this 
And he was like, oh, that's a Turkish death metal band called blah, 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 blah. They're from this, oh, yeah, this yeah. label. Okay, and yeah. he had it for me within seconds. And I was oh, just like, that's the dude. Insane. That's yeah, yeah. the guy right there. And he, he had it. He had it ready and locked and loaded. And, and all it, the genres. It wasn't just like one style of death metal. No, it was like dude, all, all yeah. the styles of death metal he had like dialed. You know, Gentlemen. Like, straight up yeah. locked and loaded with stuff. And, 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 and he, he delivered that same... That's not even I'm not even getting to into the friendship part. I'm just saying how sick of a dude he was on the outside. But like oh, man. that whole no. night, he was just such a fucking fun ball to be with. And if if you if you dig on my Instagram, you'll see a picture of me, him, and Tim just arm in arm, like shirtless, like doing the thing. We're 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 both pinching oh. Trevor's nipples, dude. And it's just like oh, yeah. it's just a fun, fun time. And 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 sadly, that was the last time I saw him. And it's crazy yeah. that like I saw his well, last show and I saw his last time out, well, like, last time out with us, you know. And it was just like it's fucking I, I, wild. I know I was like literally trying not to get in it because I'm getting like emotional now. Ah, I know, well, dude. It's no, hard. It's, it's hard it's not rough. to. It's no, hard. No. It's hard. It's like literally one of the most important people in in metal. I would say here's like, one of my favorite most... posts right here. Hold on. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Me I and think us and the boys. It's cool <laughs> yeah. and accurate to say that most of us have rad last memories with him you know? dude this is this yeah is eight this is eight posts before ours nice oh man and, and it's yeah. like hold on he was the picture i'm talking about is this like... hold on let oh, it let... Oh, hold it hold it for a second <laughs> it's me tim and him that's the, that <laughs> bottle down? that no no it looks <laughs> no, like it is but that bottle that big glass fixture is the yeah. bottle we all put down dude and it was it was the best time. I remember texting him the next day, like, dude, let's do that again. He's like, Yeah, I'm fucking down. And yeah, dude. And, and then and then the crazy part about it, the whole thing, and I I don't want to get too dark into it, but that the day it happened was the day before we were supposed to see him. He was on our guest list for the next show. And wow. I remember going outside to meet like an Uber driver to get my food. And then I came inside and everyone was, it was at that venue in North Carolina. I don't know the name of the fucking place, shithole. And it was like, everyone was on their phones like this, like, no way. And I was like, what happened? And that's how I found out. Mm. You know? It after, sucks. I, after, after the burial and uh, a couple of my friends' bands, uh, what's the Australian one? Shit. Deathcore band? It's a big one. Australian? A uh, Thy Art? Uh, the heart murder and like other bands were like coming in like one of the dudes from the bands hit me up like hey come hang out and i'm like cool blah blah is a cool if i, I was like because i was like it was a weekday and i was like is it cool if i get a plus one or something because like i, I want to like a driver sure, sure, sure. <laughs> basically it was, I was i was thinking about and i remember like i squared all that away and then like literally it was rob marmonte he was in all shot parish shout out to rob i'll drop the boy yeah, rob. yeah yeah he was like, come on, come out. I'm like, he's like down the street from me. I'm at work. And I'm like, fuck yeah, you're in town. What the fuck? So um, I, uh, yeah, I remember he was like, come hang out. And then like, literally, he's like, you're on the list. And then like, fucking four minutes later was the news. And I was like, I don't know yeah. what to do right now. And I, I left. I told my I work. I do my hands. I'm out. I know. I told yeah. him I'm, I'm out. Of, I can't work anymore. I can't. This is insane. So I was like, I didn't know like the emotions that were hitting me were. And I was like. I left and I just hit a, you know, knowing Joel, I had a liquor store immediately. It was like <laughs> on the way home, just hit a liquor store and I put on, you know, I put on uh, the Black Dahlia uh, See, Majesty. I'm different than you, dude. Uh, I, can't, I, I had a hard time I listening to Black Dahlia for a long time after that. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't yeah, even yeah. touch it. I couldn't put on anything. Well, that that came that, that that came later. So for me, I was like at the time, I was like, I just want to see all the the DVDs and stuff and watch Trevor and like, it, and then I just started. Uh, basically, I was like exposing myself to the thing I didn't want to see, which is him being stoked and happy and yeah. living and stuff. And I was like, yeah. I, I was like, I just want to watch all that. of it right now. Like, I want to see him laughing. I want to see all the things. I want to, the good times. I want all that right now. And I just sat yeah. by myself in the corner. And just cried my ass off, and just and then Damn. I had and there I come to the show, and like I was like, if you guys will like support me, I'm gonna be a fucking mess. And all <laughs> like uh, like all the guys like there were just fucking in arms and crying. It was like a fucking gnarly. Yeah, it was a, dude, it was a crazy. Didn't understand. Yeah, that was a fucked up. It was a crazy day. day of us on tour, bro. Like like it was crazy that like I think all of us 
not shitty to say this, but I think we all had a like like Trevor hung out with Wes right before that tour, and they got like ramen together, and they were chatting up about stuff, and he was giving Wes big praise of Alluvial. Like I said at the party, he was giving me big praise of Alluvial, and then he saw Wes, and he was just like, "This it's like my favorite team of underdogs, like doing the thing," and I'm so stoked to see it happen. And then like literally, like we're like, "Hey, are you still good for guest list tomorrow?" And then we found out like two hours later that something happened. And it was just like, what the fuck are we supposed depression to do? Depression right is a hell of a thing. I know, I know he's been fighting depression for a long time and stuff. And yeah. I know that after. And it, 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 it's sad when you. It's, it's one of those things that beats you up when you look back. When you look back, you're like, the signs were all fucking there. Why, are, why is no I one. I mean, kind of. I, I think after. Uh, this is probably too personal, but after his mother passed, that's sure. when like, he started kind of sure. displaying behaviors that were a little different than what i knew him like to have so i was kind of like huh like he's making these big changes moving places and stuff like that and doing like like you know these big extreme things and sure I was sure like, sure it's big I was like yeah yeah and i was like huh this is not the what's going on i was kinda, like we oh, know him but we don't him. know about this move <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 exactly you know? it wasn't it wasn't like a, a a move that we would expect so right. we were like okay what's going on here you know right and then There's to find that out it's like jesus christ Christ, like that was when we, you know, we should have like, but we're not like psychologists. We don't know no. when these extreme changes happen. But at the same time, like, and a lot of, and a lot of people like see these friends have extreme mood changes and stuff, and and make these crazy moves. It's like just pay attention to your friends. So I'm gonna, dude, say. I'm like, the guy that's going like, give me the crazy move and let me go to San Diego right now and be with my friends. Yeah, 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 <laughs> like, yeah. Like, bring me to Pacific. Exactly. Bring me to Pacific and I'll be with my boys. There extreme depression is gnarly though i mean I, I suffer from it a little bit but like you just get like fucking like everything's like fuck it i don't care anymore but it's like the, a, i think the thing that i think the thing that's important that makes it crazier for his case is that he was so well known for being a dude that to be open about happy. like i love this i'm happy about well, this you know this most is where most i am most comedians most comedians right of, of course we can have that conversation people that have had like you know like they've had like shit happen to them or they've had like you know trauma you know trauma but like things yeah. that have happened no, to them of course and they're like they're they're fighting it with like happiness and and but it's like hard for us to tell as like human beings like you can't tell the suffering you can't you can't find the right suffering, it, you, know you can't I mean? you can't say you make me very happy and they're like yeah that's great what about me like that's that's yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. how it goes but i totally. but what i what i think is it's it's sad that that's the reality that we live in and all I can do is ever like wish that whole group, that band, anyone that works in that camp, the best of yeah, luck and much. sorrow and and, so and, and and anything. And, and like shout out, like I said, my friend Nick is their tour manager. He he's the he's the ape in the suit. Like he's the man. And, yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. And and like, but Brian and Alan and and all of them and Max and like and Brandon, I I like. I can't imagine when it not I don't want to put it in like a selfish light but I think it's like you have to think about that perspective. Yeah. How how insane is it that like you put your life into this and something happens and now you have to like pick a, you, you have to tie your boots and make yeah. this the sickest thing that ever happened and like you get these fucking fans that are like if it's not him it's not I'm like get it, like shut the fuck up. Not okay. that I think now, I'm yeah. thankful that not there group has that i don't think they have that energy because yeah. they, they know no, the situation it's, it's not a pantera yeah. thing where he's like he left it's not a fucking uh, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but i but it's like what a what a, i don't i couldn't imagine a nightmare like like if if tim tomorrow or zach tomorrow if me tomorrow and then wes has to deal with it like like i think about that and it's just like no one wants those boots to fill and brian Pretty, taking yeah, the oh, steps brian. he's doing I brian know, taking Jesus the steps Christ. he's doing to Put Love down that. the guitar and pick up a awesome. microphone and do exactly what his best friend did. That makes me emotional. Like, imagine... They sat, they sat into a room together and they wrote these things together. And dude, they, oh, Jesus for how Christ. long I now? Know. Imagine, I know, I know. like, imagine if I did this for fucking 10 more years with Wes and then I fucking was gone. Yeah. And then Wes has to pick up my microphone and do the thing. Yeah. In Wes's eyes, that's a fucking nightmare. Like, you're nightmare, seeing yeah, yeah. my reality... Going. And that's so insane. And and I I will say this at the metal and beer fest with Gorgas, I got emotional. I cried during their yeah. set because that was the first time I seen him without Trevor, and I was just like, ah, oh, this is so fucking hard. <laughs> so I was like, 
Uh, we, I was with I friends should, we, at the show, yeah, and I was on, just like, this is crazy. I was just like, I need... They're like, hey, you're going to get a drink? I was like, give me five minutes. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, yeah. I'm gonna watch this. You know, because they mm. played the old shit. They they did yeah, the... Yeah. It's not that they just played their newest stuff and, like, premiered. Yeah, yeah. They were just doing their thing. I was like, God damn, this is insane to watch. Like, yeah. you know, fuck a DVD. You're watching the yeah, realest shit DVD, happen in front of you. Dude. It's yeah. like, a, you know, uh, what's... Uh, I mean, it's a nerd band, but Rush... Like the the drummer sure. brush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He lost his daughter, or no, in a car crash. Yes, and then like four months later, lost his wife on uh, for cancer. Like, dude, and the, he he just left on a motorcycle, was gone. Yeah, you know, he was like, "Fuck this, I'm out." Yeah, and and one uh, Getty Lee made this really impactful quote because it's like it's kind of like when people give the thoughts and prayers. They go thoughts and prayers. He's all we didn't want to do that because like. We're, we're just serving ourselves when we do that when we when, sure. we, when we tell people like because so that's when i like when when it happened when i didn't reach it's out like to saying, brian don't bless you when you sneeze we don't believe in god what are you saying yeah yeah well it's just like it's like also like bringing it back up it's like hey let's bring yeah. it back up for, for, for my sake Can yeah, you bring yeah. It back i want to feel good like, to say yeah, that yeah, i did my piece i did the, my good thing yeah exactly right, so right, like right. when he said that i was like damn dude we all do that we all like want to go up and like bring it up to them and for me whenever i go to funerals and stuff of friends that died i don't i do not I do not say any of that shit. I'm just like, I love you. You know, I I, I give them I give them love. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not trying to like to bring it up, going like, oh, I'm so sorry. I, my condolences, and I'm I'm not doing all yeah. that shit. Can like, we get a picture together so I can post it on my story and let people know <laughs> yeah, that I yeah. feel bad for you? Like, it's no. such a per it's such a like a selfish thing. I think to, if like, something like that happens, like, I usually yeah. wait until the wave of all those people happen. Then I'm just yeah, like, yeah. Hey, you know, thinking yeah. about you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, like, thinking about you. That's like, great. Like, That's great. Like, like I gotta say this. Like, when we played Detroit, Alan and and Brian came out to our show. It, it, uh, when we did with Revo and um, who's Austin Revo and uh, Jesus Christ, my brain's blanking right now. But anyway, we did that tour, and mm -hmm. uh, it was it was awesome to see them come out, and and me and Alan got to talking and having a few drinks, and just. He was telling me about the upcoming tours, and I was just like, "I'm so stoked that everything's going positive. It's not a, it's not a thing. We did not tour with White Chapel, motherfucker, <laughs> Ian. You've <laughs> been wrong zero times. So one <laughs> it was, it was, it was Revo, uh, cr uh Chrisian, and us. Chrisian. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Yeah. There you go. It oh yeah, was, no, no, it wasn't when you guys played came the sanctuary, here, sanctuary, and in your Detroit. goddamn van broke down. Was that was like, that was the day. That was the day. It was my fucking birthday. Not even kidding. Oh that was my, my birthday, God. June fourth of last year. It was. It, oh it, like, I woke. We woke up, and you know. You know what? I'll tell this. It's funny on the story. <laughs> it's it's funny on the pod. It's. I got blamed for it. It was my birthday, and what happened was, you know how many shows we play where they're like, oh, these, this is your thing, and this is da 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 da, da. and it's like we ended up with two merch tables at the end of the night. And then I'm like, oh, what? I stole it. It's mine now. And it's my fault because I, I thought we packed our, like, I didn't know we packed ours up. And I grabbed another one. I grabbed the one that was near our shit. So then it's like we stole a merch table. And then the karma was my fault. And then our tire blew out because we went 20 miles over the fucking speed limit over the goddamn U Haul. And the U Haul wheel blew out. And then I get blamed. <laughs> it became a whole thing. I was like, you guys are out of your mind. And then it became a thing where we had to sit and wait. For a thing to happen, and I'm I'm just laughing because we're at a rest stop on my birthday at a gas station of an old lady going, <laughs> "Can you move your truck? You're blocking the customers." Meanwhile, there hasn't been a fucking customer in like four hours, lady. <laughs> like we're in Boondocks, fucking nowhere. Like yeah, yeah, like yeah. it was just hilarious. Vacaville. You guys were in Vacaville, I think. When you yeah. Yeah. Like a, a, you sent me a video of I was like, are you guys coming over? And then you sent me a video of your car getting a, like lifted. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing over the fact that I've never yeah. heard anybody say this statement right here, which is, we ended up with two merch tables. I don't, I don't I've never fucking heard that statement. You never, never. Life. On, on any is it, is it, is it a merch table? On. It's like a, you guys get the normal, you guys get the same brand every time. Is it it's the, just that white motherfucker table? folded up on the wall. I'm like, I think that's ours. And I just like, like, how about this? If I'm the only, how about this? I'm the only drinker in the band. 
I'm the only one that goes and gets a few drinks. I do the I do the social mumbo jumbo. I love it. Yeah, it's my yeah. favorite. Yeah, yeah. It's my favorite part. Look at me. Look, I'm doing it right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 it's my yeah. favorite oh, part. Oh, I love to talk going. about the thing I love to do. And if you pull me aside and you're like, you guys are my favorite band. I want to just ask you, what was it like in the studio? I'll tell you everything it was like and then i turn around and the merch is all of a sudden packed up gone (laughs) and in the trailer i'm like uh shit uh (laughs) what the fuck someone did my job and i'm i'm gonna get in trouble Uh, so i see a folded table i see a folded table that must be ours it must be ours let me help and i grab it put it in the trailer and then the next day we have two fucking tables (laughs) (laughs) and then the menu before is like what happened we're missing the fucking thing i doubled them i i doubled them i don't know it's like i fucking don't know what the fuck they got and my fucking fault you didn't take no fucking inventory (laughs) no table no problem that's what i (laughs) said No, but uh, <laughs> damn, man, you just start your own goddamn podcast. You this fucking, is what I've been saying, you're all man. Still sniping and shit on Yo, fucking. Get me, on get me involved people. in this Jesus. thing. I'll just, I'll, you there guys you be like, I love your band so much. I'll be like, we've, we've so where's the good song? You every day of my life. No, check this out. We've talked about Cali Death Podcasts or Cali Death Productions. Maybe that might be a thing. If it, you might be the first podcast we put underneath this umbrella, dude. We should do like a, like dude, a, you know, like J- like a Jake Paul thing. It's just all like Joel versus fucking Kevin, like fucking like. Oh, a, we should do West. that. It's like, fuck you, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I, that's what I, that's what we wanted for this one, but we got too sentimental. Yeah, that's yeah, what we wanted. Good, but we're, we're boy, I, I think this was necessary. But Nick yeah, has good. a point. We left, we did do that, Nick. Do you know what's funny? We left it at the next venue, and the next day, someone was like, hey, we, there was an extra table at the end of the trailer section. Did you leave this behind? We're like, yeah. leave that behind! Don't give that to us! <laughs> that's it's like not golf. ours! That's like when you're on the cock, golf course. Cock, cock. You're on the golf course, somebody <laughs> leaves behind their fucking club, you just leave it on the next hole, dude. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> it's like That's the whitest but, thing I've ever heard, dude. Well, <laughs> it's just like, I can play golf. It's like when you're on the fucking... We're in the golf cart. You know what it is? It's like the our battery's too full and there is isn't so we say come on in dude we have all the schnapps in here <laughs> all right, that's what all right. that's what it's like when you're on the west coast huh over here right, we're just cold right. shoveling so our fucking driveways it's like the fucking golf sandwich, line you know? is huge dude <laughs> I, <don't wanna> get... <laughs> I told myself right. tonight i was gonna drink two of these and i drank three and now i'm about to open the fourth we're gonna let's Jesus, wrap it up Oh, I, I like that shit. These are eight percenters. Yeah. Eight percenters. Yeah. Mine are. Hold on, wake up. I need you to. Hey, these are way he's less surgeon, than mine. He's surgeon. Oh, hard, those bro. are thirteen percenters. Thirteen point two. These are cocktails. These are not beers. I fucking love you. I, uh, <laughs> I'm three down, baby. Yeah, you don't. I'm puffing ninety-seven uh, percent. Uh, they say ninety-seven percent THC. I don't believe them. All right, here's They're what crazy. I need. You guys, I, you guys, give me the wrap-up speech. And I think what needs to happen is we need to schedule the third. <laughs> yeah, why yeah. not, dude? I I'm think let's down. do something once we release our shit. Okay. And, well, let's let's get together either right before we're about to go on or, tour, oh, or, yeah. or right after. Slow down, dude. I mean, when I got well, you guys I'll on the first you. time, I was like, I was literally like, this is my favorite band of the year. Let's get them yeah, dude. on. And then I was like, I was like, oh, Kev's the fucking vocal. Oh, Kev's vocalist. That's right. Well, uh, I was like, let's get him on. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm, I can't do the vocal. 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 <laughs> yeah. But like, uh, no, man, I was like, I was like, literally, I had Dan Kenny hit me up. It was like, do you want a Luvio on? I'm like, it's like the only band I'm listening I love to Dan right Kenny now. That'd be, so much. I was like, it's the only band I'm listening to right now. Is that possible? Like, <laughs> and like, it started from there. And I remember, like, I remember giving you guys like, at 7 p.m. Pacific time, and you guys logged in at 7 p.m. Eastern time, and we're like, where are you guys at? What's going on? And I was like, oh, brother. I, and I was like, that. get it going. We learned a big lesson from you guys, because we were like, all right, so it's 10 p.m. <laughs> Eastern time. <laughs> like, yeah, like we, we, we Last week was uh, Australians. So we're like, I think, right, I so think that, that time was weird for us. 1 PM, that's 1 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> like, that, that time was weird for us because we were, not to flaunt any bullshit, but we were doing a bunch of like other Whoa. smaller podcasts okay. and we, we were <laughs> and we were c- 
constantly like, oh, I, I, this one's next. And I, and I was like, oh, this one I'm looking forward to. Let's get going. And then we yeah, hit yeah, go. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's way too soon. <laughs> like, <laughs> like <laughs> everyone was like, we were following their times that yeah, they were yeah. giving us. And then you gave us the one that made us do math and we didn't. And we we're like, oh, yeah, let's do that one. Yeah, I'm ready. This is the one I want. <laughs> you know? And then we're that like, was awesome. oh, fuck. I love it. It's I crazy love it. uh, booking people from all around the world. Like, I booked another one where we have to do 10 p.m. because it's 7 a.m. There. Yeah. Time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just so like, are you guys down to wake up, like, and fucking have some coffee and fucking hang out while yeah, we're Yeah, I had to wake up at 9 30 p.m. tonight to get this fucking call going. You know what I mean? It's hard. <laughs> yeah, it's hard yeah, for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, well, dude, fucking up, dude, you're rad as shit as always, dude. And and for this part two and talking about the part three, I'm excited for that next one, dude. I had a great time tonight, dude. Dude, this is my favorite shit. Like I said, this I wanna, is my favorite part. I want to argue with you Hell anytime. Yeah. Can you can you on your podcast? Can we like argue or something? I don't like, even I'm think. Like, no, I think there was too much love tonight for you guys to actually argue. Nobody actually. Yeah. Got it's into fun. An it's there fucking East love, Coast, dude. dude. Arguing is love, dude. Well, arguing is love. That's a, that's a love language. West <laughs> versus East shit, but in reality, it was all love, dude. That's really no. It's what like I for me, it's like fun. It's like sports. It's like oh, you like this team. I like this team. Let's go fucking the battle. Oh, you like men. <laughs> well, I think honestly, we're gonna talk Fuck about yeah, West versus Fuck East yeah, tonight. You with your fucking bullshit thing about breakdowns and flim flams. I never yeah, that was that crazy. My life, you guys bro. are you guys are nuts. You You're guys, insane you guys, for thinking guys, anyone called a breakdown a flim flam. Can we say? Can you say it for us dude. so we don't sound we, stupid? We call Terrence. call Terrence Hobbs what he called it back when back in the day. So for the lying already. You, he called it a breakdown in 1995. Yeah. What did you think? No, 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 then it's a flim flam to you now. It's not a breakdown. I think you're you wrong. Just, I think you're wrong. I actually think you're wrong about I this. I think breakdown. That's like, I'm, all right, how, how about this? Tomorrow, uh, I'm metal. supposed to be, I'm like, I am wanting to really badly go to the Connecticut show of Suffo, Hey, Breed, and Internal Bleeding. Oh, my God. That's yeah. the most East Coast oh, show there ever was. And, and I'll, I'll, what, do they, what do they call it back in I'm the day? I'm going to video me and Hobbs saying, hey, what did you call the breakdown no, in ninety five? Influence you don't influence them. No, no, with your that, shit. I'm gonna say what the fuck. I, see, he already oh, yeah, yeah. he's already not trusting me, which tells me all I need First to fucking all, know. I feel like no, we, no, no, we no, no. look alike. We're kind of like related in some weird way, but we'll figure out our mothers don't later. Be my enemy and try to be <laughs> my fucking bloodline. Don't earlier. fucking put yourself here. Are you Why out of your you mind? Say the one thing that I wanted to say earlier. Which yeah, is, I get it. With your flim flam shit, Joel. Yeah, I just yeah. gotta take. I gotta take opposition to that. That backfired so hard. I want to take the side. Flim that flam? The, you guys, that's, that's the what you said. Thing I've said tonight. That's the easiest was, thing I've said tonight. You called a breakdown way called. later on. No, but listen to me, dude. I'm he's, saying he's the word breakdown so is boring. so, so boring. <laughs> the word breakdown definitely per, it goes before death metal. It's like Mozart metal. shit, dude. Yeah, dude. Right, cool, cool. Do you want to call staccato a fucking is a, is a tremolo riff? Like, what the fuck are you talking That's about? That's fine. That's you fine. are absolutely wrong. I mean, actually, he's you're sour. Side. He's sour. He's sour. He's sour. No, sour ca is called right. Is sour like a synonym for right? Dude, you said right a little too red for me. Yeah. I think we both have to, you are hey, hey, my, Alexa, really make my lights blue. Alexa. Your face is matching your background <laughs> so hard blue. right now. I'm blue. I'm blue now. <laughs> oh I don't know what you're talking God, about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. You're uh, out of your mind. Kevin, if Kevin starts to crip rock right now as an outro right now, I'm going to be so fucking <laughs> All I was saying, if I can make my last point, all I was saying is that when they were writing that music, they did not say, this Bro. is the breakdown. That's Break not down what they said. That, bro, I think, don't interrupt, I me. Think don't interrupt, don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. I'm oh, saying they did not say this is the breakdown. They then hardcore went to the breakdown, and hardcore is like breakdown. No, I think and you're that's, wrong. That's, first of all, I think you're wrong. Interrupt me, motherfucker. I think you're. I'm interrupting you because you sounded. Like I'm trying to save my best side. friend from being Break stupid down. sounding. That's not what they called it. Every, all the people. 
death metal people when when hardcore was flourishing death metal people hated hardcore <sighs> and said it was the dumbest shit they've ever heard and mm. anthony wasn't one of them that's but, why I mean, a lot of people so were <laughs> but the everyone this reference was before all of what you're talking about before all of breakdown that's <laughs> way before <laughs> it all <laughs> yeah all i'm saying <laughs> it, it, it's okay Okay, I'll concede. It's a breakdown when they chunk, <laughs> but they did not call it that. I, yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna stick to this. I'm gonna be the anti, and I'm gonna say you're fucking dumb. You have a Yankees. I'm gonna. Hat on. I don't yeah, know the fuck what you say. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna say a what it camo is. Camo Yankees. I, I think, where the fuck are you gonna get camouflage in the fucking like, urban what do you have, jungle, bro? Up on next? Like what the urban fuck's jungle? gonna happen? You're gonna fucking yeah. urban jungle. I'm just in my bro? apartment with a Glock. Like I'm blending in, <laughs> ain't I? What? Oh Come God, on in, motherfucker. <laughs> No, uh, I, I, but I'm I saying this, this like I, I think, dude. Yeah, this is segment three. We this start is the like fight. This. this is the fight. Bang, bang, bang! Fight. We gotta start with some bells, like <laughs> just fucking going, and then we I just I go. I need sound it. effects. I need a board. Jesus Christ! Yeah, it's just right, anyways, I, I got a done. board. I got a board. Fuck! 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 I'm trying to make it look <laughs> fake. If anyone knows that reference, I'm you're my best friend. This is what part three is gonna mainly be. Uh, yeah, it's gonna, gonna be a lot. What's of... happening right now is part three. For That's sure. what yeah. I was trying to do. I mean, I've been actually hitting up Kevin after the first episode. I was like, dude, fuck you. Let's go. Okay, so head let's to do head. this. All right, so Kev, here me. We can do two episodes before we put out the show. No, I don't give a, I'm down to come. I'm like that honor. I'm like the Chris D'Elia to fighter and the kid. You know what I mean? I want to come back yeah. anytime. Like, hit, up, hit up kids like. Like Hold on. Like, don't, you know, I knew I said that out loud. I knew you guys know your comedy background, so I was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> I love, I love Chris. Lee. He's like one of the funniest motherfuckers. Mine is the last special, but yeah, 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 yeah he's yeah, very yeah. funny. Dude, I don't special. think his specials very, very are funny at all. I think his com his podcast comedy is great. Yeah, yeah. his like crowd his work oops. and like, oh yeah, yeah, oops, oops. oops, shit. That shit is great. Oops. We could have his all uh, night, his, dude. I, yeah, we could have oops him seventeen his times. Eminem freestyle in the car, dude. That's I think a breakdown should be called the flip. Oops, <laughs> oops. <laughs> um, oops. <What> you think? <laughs> <laughs> all right, now we're doing that next. Now we have ammo for episode oh three. My God. No, but Jesus Christ! This is this I is for, so maybe next time for part three, what we should do is like an hour and a half pre-pod. <laughs> for real. Even though, even joking. though we, I know you're not. That's why it's funny. It's because we joking. did, <laughs> we did like 20 we minutes warm, of it, and we were scared of what we said up. and what we didn't. It'll warm us all up, though. Uh, yeah, all no, you iron. No, we should do some bullshit like Jake Paul versus fucking Mike Tyson. Jake Paul, Mike all Tyson. Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. Anthony, Jake Paul. <laughs> I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I, we need to have a few. Jake we need Paul? liquid courage, my friend. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. Fucking stony motherfucker. You could have crushed us tonight. Dude, Anthony, I'm didn't. not crushed all of you guys. I watched. I, I watched. Killer. You don't I watched your left eye leave us like 10 <laughs> times. <laughs> Seven times. Okay, sorry. Guys. Maybe I should Seven. drink the next one. His left all eye right. goes. I've had, a, so, I've had the longest tell me. time away from alcohol that I have in a long time, and I felt good no, about it. No, you had it. Hey, no. listen, listen, listen. I Again, everything I he say is with a grain of salt. Putsy. See? <laughs> All right, Joel's I'm, an I'm, asshole. He's the one. He's That's why he's red and I'm blue. Hey, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I always was. That's why he's in control of fucking cameras. You know what I mean? I that's, he wants full power. <laughs> Snoop Dogg made me want to sea walk all the time, dude. <laughs> dude, I have to pee walk pretty soon. I have to piss, but right. we should. Uh, <laughs> but hey, ah. do it, do it dude, I love you, Kevin. You're, You're my favorite. Right, it's such a fun time like, tonight, guys. And Thank we're not going to be able to ads again because it's too long. No, dude, just just copy paste that shit, dude. Everyone Battle knows. Force. Battle Force. Cal Cali Death Podcast, Cal Alluvial, Cal all those things. Oh yeah, alluvialofficial dot com. Uh, we got Alluvial on Instagram, Alluvial on Threads, Alluvial Metal on Twitter. We got we're, we're, Kev Muller on Twitch. Come hang out with me and fuck you. Find out what Bobby's all the f*** about. You know what I mean? God suck this. It's Joey Diaz, but more can intense. You, can, you ex can you explain Threads to me? Because I'm new to it. It's what Joey it? Diaz it, when he was it's actually Twitter. on cocaine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, Threads it's Twitter is Twitter with, with, with of, all the freedom Instagram. and all the fun. Twitter okay, okay. is fucking wild right now. Twitter is Elon Musk's like pride baby where everyone's like, I don't want to be a part of that. And threads is from Instagram's company, Meta, uh, Facebook, whatever. And they were like, hey, guys, we just made Twitter and it's way cooler. And it's the one you wanted for years that you've been asking for. And then they no, just came out with it overnight. 
and it was done. So they made they made threads overnight, right? Not yeah, Twitter? thread threads is the Twitter okay, com- okay. Uh, competitor, and I okay, think okay. it's better. But they just got a cease and desist from Twitter. I read this yeah, morning. Yeah, let's see how long that lasts. Let's it's, see. It's, how, yeah. It's one of those things that's like, oh, you're copying me. And then it's like, well, you weren't doing it. And then let's see how it pans out. I'm sure it's all well. My username's at 172357897. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At Kevin Muller, at Alluvial, at At West House. Let's get all there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Where's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Devourment. Oh, Devourment. I shout out Devourment for this episode for being, I got the most metal number on this podcast for 138. I got I'm going to text uh, Brad three, tomorrow three, from three. Devourer and be like, I got episode so 138 and, and you Sasha, didn't. Me and Sasha text each other every day like about sports shit. Like, whatever, dude. dude your Sasha's team so sucks. Sick. I know, I know. He's like, dude, it. you're like, out of your mind. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I would love to have him back on because he like he has like yeah, very fun. funny opinions. He'll bring yeah. us both together. He's That'd be fun as fuck. Give a fuck Canadians. You know? Yeah, but he's is 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 he Canadian or, or is he Canadian? He's Canadian. He's Canadian Vancouver. Fuck. Oh yeah, that's oh, not really yeah. Canadian. It's like a Californian extended. You see what I'm saying? But he's all <laughs> yeah. hockey. Uh, yeah, hockey yeah. Out. yeah, dude. Oh yeah, bro. Like yeah. Our last Jersey show was so good, bro. Was it was so nice. It was so much fun. No, no I, I love his like honesty about shit. He's just all no, dude, because he's like he he basically says what I'm thinking, but I'm like I don't say it out loud. He's like, oh, it's kind of like not as sick. Because of the dude, the I know over. he's. I know he's listening to this. That's why it's fun. <laughs> because know, he yes, messaged yes. me saying he was one of the guys. Like another one, fucking comeback show. Yeah, <laughs> he's like <laughs> overdo it. I'm like, yeah. And now we're talking about it. And I'm like, I love that guy. <laughs> we literally send yeah. memes like daily. Like yeah, to, like shit on each other. And it's like, <laughs> oh, your team is dumb. My team's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> your team's dumb. <laughs> like I love that guy. I, lo- I love that kind of sports. It's like fun when like you know that to me that's yeah. like fun camaraderie of just like eh, talking shit but then there's these professionals that have to like win it out on the field <laughs> and then, and then, like, and they don't know who the fuck we are they're like yeah hey, pussy what <laughs> i'm just getting all fat and just going like dude whatever dude my team is like less fat than your team dude <laughs> <laughs> uh, i saw your fan base on the other side of the fucking stadium you read more fries than we were dude <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck I, it, I, Kevin, I love you so much, it, dude. But I, I uh, just can't. I can't do too much. Of I was trying to do the goodbye, but I'm all I hung up. I'm yeah, sad, no, to, no, I'm I'm sad to hang up. Actually, I'm the non-sports guy that wants to continue the. Sports I'm not. I'm not a sports. He's talking to no one right now. You know what I mean? He's yeah, just going. We're in sports. Fucking. Oh, I'm too. No, you'll <laughs> just get mad because I, I talked. He's second. like, you fucking told me. Fucking like words to say. All right. I love you guys, dude. Love you. Battle Forge Coffee. Dude, Kev, this was so fucking rad, dude. Yeah, Thank I you, love brother. You, man. No, Thank you, brothers. Real. I'm stoked that we favorite. got PK on the stream. Next time we'll get DK and Sasha on the stream. We'll get a let's whole fucking all. thing oh, going. Yeah. Let's just do a like my birthday's down, coming next weekend. Down, so dude. or next week. So maybe I don't is there a, is there it says Chicago right. Death Fest on the on the whatever the pamphlet for our the nomination fest? I don't know. That's in the nomination background. fest. Four and I was like, cool, dude, everyone gets a birth- I want my birth- it's landing on my birthday. So I would like a birthday episode. Let's do it, dude. All right, okay. here's what I'm demanding from you guys. I'm going live Demand on Twitch. It. So raid me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Raid him. I love you guys. I love you too, brother. Are you, and, are you live? Um, no. Joel, let's give you a birthday <laughs> p- birthday party, dude. I don't even know that Oh, yeah, it's my it's my engagement party. Let's do that too. <laughs> dude, what? You got so many cool things going on that we he need to celebrate. What do you mean? Cool things, he th- dude, he, I don't even. I can't even get like a sick boner anymore. He's such a cool guy, dude. But, uh, you just gotta listen to new new alluvial when it comes out, dude. I mean, oh, that's the boner so, music. First of all, you guys were album of the year already one year. It's gonna be another year probably, unless you fuck yeah. up and make it all dumb and like <laughs> too East Coast for you, huh? <laughs> Joel's gonna. Uh, have his wife oh, yeah. Let me re- down the go, go live, brother. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, Bang. I calling it right. the post podcast stream. Boom. There it is. Dude. I can... Shit. I clicked the wrong button. Hold on. Uh, can't I, dude. You. First of all, because they say go, they go like backslash raid and it has never worked. I don't think you've so ever like, perfected I just don't think you understand that. how that works. That's all. I don't you see how my lights went red? That's how you know it knows. He always has an excuse at the end. First Dude, of all, you know what it is? It's the drinks, bro. Let me be an all, admin for you guys. I'll, I'll fucking help you out. Of all, I'm surging, no, first man. of all, I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. I'm having. <laughs> Got my backwards adjustable cap. 
<laughs> well, first of all, I had to stretch this adjustable hat cap because my head is too big. It? My head's too big How for these. For... What, you you get a okay. Right? So that's quick. That's what they all quick, say. Quick, quick tip. No, you get a you get a pot like one of the pots that you put on that you fucking boil your fucking water with, and yeah, then you yeah. fucking wrap it around, and then you fucking put it above another pot that's got boiling water on it, and okay. then it steams it, uh-huh. and then you fucking let steam. And then you yeah. fucking can grab it and stretch it and pull another thing, and then you let it hold. And then you put it in the freezer, and then it fucking stretches your fucking head. If you have any big heads, what out are we there, talking about right now, I don't dude? Know, fucking small head, just fucking well, whatever. How, are you, how many, are how you many, putting your dick in the freezer? What are we talking about? First of all, what are we making all, bigger? Many, okay, uh, Joel, how many? How many? How many, how many yeah. notches do you go on the back? Notches? You probably, you probably have like all the notches, dude. Oh, yeah, you got a, you got, get... Oh, you got a big head. Nah, you guys are all, I got yeah, knowledge I in this slide. fucking cocksucker up here. Dude. Look at this. Look at this. I got, I'm on my last one right here. Look at this. Last one. <laughs> you got that, look at this. You got I that got the duck v. wing fucking bat v. wing shit going on? You got this? Yeah. Joel's on the duck mutant duck. head. He's on the biggest head out of all. Let me, let me just be Joel for a minute. Here's Joel roleplay. What's up, man? I want to come to a show. <laughs> you guys got a plus one for me or what? <laughs> dude. No, no, Joel, I, don't, I don't like this one. Joel, you probably are like a seven and uh three quarters no yeah, way bigger what the what? fuck are you talking about really? you give me credit i'm not way bigger it's the next oh, it's the next three? biggest size it's seven and seven eighths oh my god dude that's crazy. i know i get it i got a big head dude i get it dude, i've heard it dude it's not my <laughs> penis i get it <laughs> three eighths is big on my head bro seven and three eighths hold on is it not creator head. dashboard oh my god you're blowing me i'm not blowing you dude i wish you were how what? tall are you? Weird, dude, that'd be a weird. That'd be a weird experience. Oh, here we go. What, how, tall are, how tall are you, Kev? I am a good. Fi- I, I think I'm in that five nine, five ten category. Okay, so you're just over me. All right. Well, so our hug will be pretty even. Dude, our feet. hug will be so sick. I, I well, like we do that. We do that cross thing. Like I get yeah, under one it. arm, I'll and you get, get the under the other dude. one. Yeah, I'll do that for sure. Yeah, Joel will be like hugs my head and doesn't let me be a man or I something. Just let you guys, <laughs> you guys just suck it. Yeah, like. Both of you guys suck it like yeah, together. We do feel that as <laughs> shorter people. It just whatever emasculate us. Uh. Oh, 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 oh my god, I'm getting an I'm getting a raid right now. Holy heck. Dude, you're live right now? It's not you're yeah, I did I did the thing. I set it up for you, baby. CDP, what you wanna be, B O B. Hold on. Anthony, shut the fuck up. I have to do this. Oh, sorry. Chat on live on a goddamn podcast. What do you think about that? Kevin, what was your name? My name is Kevin. <laughs> is that what you wanted? Why is it not showing up? Kev Muller. Dude, all right. So in chat, all you have to do, what like what they go told you, you was right forward, okay. forward slash. I've done it before and they Ke- said it didn't work. Forward oh, slash raid space at Kev Muller. Uh, can I copy and paste it? Because so Was I that too much right? text for you to yeah. handle or what? what are you? No, Kev yeah. Mueller's. Kev is Mueller, won't, won't work. Mueller, Mueller, Mueller is what I said. Mueller. But... Oh, is that, is that, oh, East Coast stuff. Sorry. Oh my God. Um, He's racist against slash... Germans. <laughs> a raid has been created. It says. There you go. They gotta give it maybe ten seconds. And then fuck you your mother. <laughs> and then go fuck yourself, <laughs> asshole. I don't know what to fucking tell you. <laughs> Kevin, I love you, brother. I love you, man. Dude, this is so fucking sick. Dude, this is always a good time, man. It's like, like I don't like doing the fucking Joe Schmo fucking gabagool goddamn podcast. But like, if I know the gentleman and I just have a good time, like that's what it's important. Exactly. I just want to leave you on the message that the new alluvial shit coming out is gonna blow your fucking socks off. I already know. And and we're gonna have fun. We're gonna we're gonna have a great time. We were okay, very brother. excited about uh, your previous effort, and I'm very confident in uh, your next effort. Person. It's already recorded, brother. It's fucking. It's gonna be nutty. Long you're gonna, that one. You're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. Sick, I had up Kevin. I was like, "Oh, you're in Atlanta. What's going on over there? What are you, what are you doing? You're recording." He's like, uh, "I was like, ah, shut your mouth. What do you? Uh, what do you think about that?" <laughs> yeah dude. no we're stoked at it all dude and i'm stoked on you dude i'm i'm super happy that you're you're uh different yet the same you know we get to did you get rated 100. did you get rated i i got one rating and then not for not by you not by you guys <laughs> see and it's right in progress yeah so but you have up. to hit you have to hit the thing it's there's a button that says go 
on your uh, chat, on the top of your chat. Classic. Remember, it's the double time. Thing. Hey, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you Ghost of Light. In fucking minutes. Dude. Uh, but for real, like, it's almost been two years, bro. Uh, you if you think about it, 100 weeks is almost two years. Uh, you it's crazy. Oh, it's, it is two years. It's been two years. Uh, you and here we are. Partying, it's fucking dude. nuts, dude. And I, lo I love that, dude. And I'm, I'm so glad to... Have did it work? Did you get one-on-one yes, one person? It did. It did. No, okay, you guys okay. you guys were in it with 18 fantastic viewers. Boom. Nice. All, All right. right. I love part, you, buddy. Part have three is coming soon. Kev, we love you, bro. And, I love uh, you guys more, and I can't wait to do the next one. Hell Fuck yeah, yeah dude. And we love the Twitch fam. We love all you uh, people that have been live. If you were listening the next day, that's all good, too. Subscribe everywhere you can. I'm, I'm about to have four Long Island ICs because you assholes. Boom. Keep drinking. Yeah, I've already bro. had nine, eight <laughs> percent things. In yeah, mine are four, almost 14 percent. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're sleep, sleeping them like a pussy. <laughs> oh! Uh, my, my, uh, coffee at BattleForgeCoffee.com. BattleForgeCoffee. Uh, uh, that Cali Death Battle Podcast. Forge. Shop, Nick, you, Cartel, right. you, know, you know, I'm on one. You do. You do. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye. Later, brothers. Rock on. Uh, uh. Hey, fucking...